whatever. I'm gonna try and decorate my entire house for fall. Starting with the DIYs, wish me luck. First floor map. This one should be easy. Draw my outline. This isn't working. Maybe I need more paint. Next eyes. I'm trying to make it look like it's holding a pumpkin. Okay, I did it. Oh my- I'm DIYing my doormats from now on. This is so cute. Next, I'm making mini blanket ghosts. It'll make sense in a minute. Toothpicks first. So far, so good. Now, I'm gonna put these pieces of blanket on top. I made eyes. I have to glue them on. I'm also gluing these on. I found them at Target. It's gonna look like it's holding it. I put them on my stairs. These things are so cute. Little pumpkin. Oh my god. This will dry white. It's gonna be so cute. Next, I'm decorating my house with everything else. I'll see you in part two. I don't know why I bought this, but here we are. I'm actually really excited. Toppings go here. First, m &Ms. I was so close. Sprinkles. <laughs> Much better. And crushed Oreo. Moving on. Now I'm gonna make the base. One cup of whole milk. Cup of heavy whipping of the cream. This reminds me of my recipe videos. I was cut off. I don't think I'm supposed to whisk it, but I have no other option. It's bad. Now I have to pour it all in that bowl. Okay, well, here goes nothing. I have to wait 25 minutes. Love that this is happening at 2 a.m. My clock's wrong, I swear. Okay, here we go. You're supposed to pull this down. It's working, kind of. Some sprinkles. They kind of go everywhere, but other than that, this is the best thing. So cute. Yo, what up? I'm finally gonna redo my entire office. And this is why. Please help. First, I'm taking everything out and I'll deal with it later. My noodle arms can lift anything. I'm so excited for the new table. Almost done, just need the closet. This is really heavy. Okay, it's all empty. Hear me out. What if I turn this room into a giant closet? Just saying. That would be- I'm kidding. I really want to, though. Talk me out of it. Now, I'm gonna try and build these very heavy drawers I got from Ikea. What is this? Why? Just why? So excited to build this. There's so many pieces, which is my favorite. Step one. There's already a problem. It doesn't fit, so I'm gonna have to return the other two. Okay, so I found these. I'm gonna go build those now. I'll see you in part two. Part two, this is everything I have to build. So excited for these two. This is gonna take me so long. Well, please enjoy this day tomorrow by Honey Bear. Look how cute these cube drawers are. You can put them anywhere and the drawers just pop out. Ow. I'm gonna put them on this shelf. This is what I was building. Way better than the cube thing I had. This always happens to me. I was trying to save my laptop with it and now it's stuck. Got it. Found this at Home Goods. It's so pretty. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but it's going up here. Ta da! So pretty. Okay, and this is my new desk. Got it from CB2. It is my dream desk. It's so pretty. I need your opinion. Should it go here, here, or there where I had it? Next, I'm doing a haul of what I bought for the office so far. Then we'll keep decorating. I have to fill those drawers. I can't wait to organize them. Not excited for that, but when it's done, it'll be worth it. Part three, guess what just. That didn't look good. Anyway, guess what just came in? My chair, those poor dogs. Please tell me this will be easy. Okay, almost done. Oh my, this is a lot heavier than I thought. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. I have no words. I'm also filming a YouTube video right now. This is the prettiest chair I have ever seen, and it swivels. Love that. Also, it's really comfy. I'm gonna link this on my storefront under office. Everything else is from Typo, like these pens. Like, I don't have enough. I don't have any neon ones, so that's going in there. Next is laptop stands. You can use it like this. When you're done, you can display your laptop like this. It looks so aesthetic on my desk. Definitely my favorite thing. A mushroom lamp. I love the color. Aww. It's cute. A Barbie candle, of course. It smells so good. Also got this one. I like to keep affirmation cards everywhere, so I got these. This everyday notebook to keep on my desk. I love that it's not dated and there's a mood spot. Check. I'm craving coffee right now. I don't know why I do this, but I have all my notes on my laptop, but I also had to write it down. This flower pen. I'm getting an acrylic calendar, so I got these erasable markers to go with it. Paint set because I'm DIYing some of the wall art in here, and I love the colors. This chunky mug. Lastly, this acrylic clothing rack. Makes me a little emotional. Guys, I got this for something I'm currently working on for you guys. Can't wait to tell you. Let me know what you think it is. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and organize my jewelry. For obvious reasons. It's bad. This took me an hour to untangle. Basically making my own jewelry closet. Okay, first this mess. Must done, just need this. Finally done. I forgot about a lot of these. Putting everything on this shelf. Earrings. These are so cute. Next, bracelets. Now I'm putting my rings on these stands. I couldn't fit them all, but these are my favorites. Also, why? Every time. Still need to figure out the rest of my necklaces. I was able to fit everything. I think it's so cute. Now I just have all my accessories and then my jewelry. Love this so much. Especially this part with the hangers. I should probably organize my perfume next because... And this entire room, honestly. Who put me in charge of snacks? My mom. My niece is turning two and I have to be there in an hour. First on the menu. Dolphin and friends, just wait for it. Drawing on the eyes. Grape goes in here. Now I'm gonna put the fruit on the tray. Same thing on this side. So cute. Now I'm gonna make the sea turtles. That's the process. Why am I shaking? It looks so bad. Hold on. You can see the toothpick, but it's fine. Next, the seashell watermelon. Using this to make the pearls. Now I'm gonna put them in. Okay, something easy. This is coral. We also have... Thank you, Pinterest. This is my favorite one. Now I'm making seaweed. My mom just called. I'm supposed to be there five minutes ago. Last one. Goldfish. Almost forgot the sea cucumber. Okay, that's about it. Everything is so cute. Get ready without me. Okay, I'll do my makeup there also. Okay, everything made it. So, what do you think of the snacks? Absolutely delicious. Just got back from traveling. Let's reset my house. It's so bad. I brought a lot of clothes. First, I'm using Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. I always start off with these because it's the easiest way to get out tough stains, like on my luggage and my shoes. My shoes are so dirty. All I do is wet it, and then it just works. Like, I don't know. This is my favorite thing to do. Look at that. It's gone. Look at this. My poor luggage, but watch this. Ta-da! It even did the fabric. Let's do my shoes now. Look at the difference. Um, Next, the kitchen. 
All done. Look how shiny my sink is. Last thing I want to refresh are my glass shower doors. Do you see how bad this is? I always keep one of these in my bathroom. Works on so many surfaces, especially these hard water stains. Might as well clean the shower. Um, ew. Okay, it looks good. The sponge does not. Trying to give it CPR. It's been through. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm moving again. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. Can you imagine? Anyways, we're opening PR. Okay, I'm doing the colorful one first. <laughs> watched that back and realized I need lotion. Oh, I have a good idea for a flavor. I can tell you an honest thing. I don't like grape soda. It gives water that was left in the car in 100 degree weather, but it's the only thing you have to drink because you're choking on a piece of chip. But if it's from Poppy, if you like grape, you would love this. This is my flavor. I drink this multiple times a day. Thank you, Poppy. Taste five, the only phone case I use. They let me pick these out. So cute. Thank you. Char charms. I buy this stuff anonymously. Yeah. Charms for your cups. Look at this one. Oh, I forgot to press three minutes. I'm not used to it. Anyways, I'll see you in part two. Yo, what up? I don't think I've ever- well, this can only go two ways. I'm scared. Matches my nails. Okay, I got this. Let's plug it in. It's spinning. You're supposed to wait five minutes and then pour the sugar in. Let's do blue first. Turning it on. Look. Okay. Oh, I don't want it to catch on fire. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's smoking. Uh, trying again. <laughs> I'm gonna try it one more time. Maybe I need a new coat. <gasps> what am I doing wrong? Oh, it's working. It doesn't sound good. <laughs> this is good. I'm happy with this. Soda. <laughs> Pause on spring cleaning. Let's go shopping instead. I get easily distracted. Found a cotton candy machine. Blue raspberry and pink vanilla. Pink prime. Yes, please. Home good. This is so cute to put homemade drinks in. Hazel's getting a s'more and campfire. This is cute. Found this. I really need it. I'm at five below. Look how cute. Yep, getting this. Pinata for Hazel's birthday. I went to Ikea for new sheets so I can do this. My bed's pink now. I love it. Also got this new stuffed animal. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Doing another giveaway, so that's what everything else is for. Still have to get a few more things. So I'll be back in the morning or tonight, depending on if I can find everything else I need. But anyways, I'm so excited. I'm gonna give you a tour of some of my favorite things in my house. There's my DIY mirror. I'm so proud of myself for making it. It's so tall. And it's cute for pictures. The voice is so raspy. Don't mind the hair. Next, my YouTube plaques. I still can't believe it. I can stare at these all day. <gasps> I wanna hang them up, but I don't know where. This neon sign my brother gave me. It says my name and it's Love colors. He did so good. My guest bathroom rugs. I don't know. really need to put stuff in here. It's so empty. Next, my entire bathroom, especially the closet. I just love being in here. It's kind of messy, though. This did not last. My office chair because Hazel likes to sleep on it. I woke her up. This mirror, I might buy another one for upstairs. And of course, all my cups, but this cabinet especially. Lastly, my kitchen island. Never had one before, so it's nice. Oh, and this ghost pillow. Anyways, that's it. Spring cleaning my entire house part two. The pantry. First, I'm taking everything out, which won't take me long, because all I have is seasoning and cereal. Really? Wow, looks the same. Now I'm going to wipe it all down. Should I? No. Yes. I shouldn't. My whole house is glowing at this point. Now I'm going to plan everything out. I really want a pasta section. I don't even know how to make pasta. Just kidding, mom, if you're watching this. Cereal. I'm going to put all my spices on this thing. These are going here. These bucket things are going on this shelf. I'm also putting these tray things on top. Rice, flour, sugar, pancake mix, a refresher section. Lastly, these buckets up here. Now I'm going to stock everything, but I need to go grocery shopping. I'm going shopping tonight, but can you guys help me make a pantry grocery list? Tag me, DM me, whatever works. But I need help. I'll be right back. See you in the restock video. Yo, what up? I'm going to try and make a that girl igloo. I don't know how it's still snowing in April, but look at this. <laughs> I did that. Okay, so first I'm building the base. I've never done this before. Maybe I should look it up. It's going good so far. Okay, I think I'm giving up here. I'm gonna try and make a giant snowball. This is what it looks like so far. Now I'm gonna make my niece push it around. Just kidding, she's making me push it. Taking a break and going upstairs. Just gotta clear <laughs> the last one. Okay, we made it. We're on top of the pool. We gotta be this big. This looks good. Oh! <laughs> Get my hair. <laughs> oh, come on anymore. Sit on it. Whoa, look! Yes, Paul. Okay, I told my mom not to watch this. Trying to make her a gift basket for Mother's Day. This is also a giveaway, so everything I got my mom is also going to one of you. First, a blanket. Lush bath bomb set. Sol de Janeiro radiance cream. Tree hut sugar scrub. Glow recipe fruit babies. This candle, it smells so good. Found this ring holder, it's so cute. She loves gold, so it's perfect. Makeup headband. Satin pillowcase. Waist scalp serum. Laneige lip mask. Drunk elephant moisturizer, so good. Next reusable under eye patches. I tried these and I love them. I also got the Florence ones. Skin gym gua sha. Sorry if I said that wrong. Heart eye brightener. I got so many compliments when I use this, so. Moon lip treatment, also really good. This bracelet set. I love you more bracelet. Vlogilotti's high ponytail hat. It's so cute. Just in case you want to gift anything, I'm sending you these really cute gift bags. And that's pretty much it. I'm so excited. All the info to enter will be on my Instagram. Good luck, guys. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and make a get well basket for Courtney. She's sick and since I can't be there, I'm hoping this helps. First slippers and a blanket. She wrote out notes for the last gift she gave me. So of course I'm doing the same for her. Next a mug and tea. Okay, but this mug is so cute. <laughs> the notes. Next a candle. And a key plan to keep by her nightstand. Courtney loves coffee, but what if it was delivered? Things that help me when I feel sick. This one, she gets bored. Got one too, we'll see how that goes. Goldfish, her favorite snack. Thought everything would fit. I'll just put everything else in the box. Stuff I thought was cute, but also funny. <laughs> Lastly, she does mystery unboxings. That's what everything else is for. She probably already has the mystery stuff. We'll see, maybe not. Just decorated the box, it's so cute. Now I'm gonna send it to her, and yeah. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and make a get well basket for Courtney. She's sick, and since I can't be there, I'm hoping this helps. First slippers and a blanket. She wrote out notes for the last gift she gave me. So of course, I'm doing the same for her. Next, a mug and tea. Okay, but this mug is so cute. 
the note. Next, a candle. And a key plan to keep by her nightstand. Courtney loves coffee, but what if it was delivered? Things that help me when I feel sick. This one, she gets bored. Got one too, we'll see how that goes. Goldfish, her favorite snack. Thought everything would fit. I'll just put everything else in the box. Stuff I thought was cute, but also funny. Lastly, she does mystery unboxings. That's what everything else is for. She probably already has the mystery stuff. We'll see, maybe not. Just decorated the box, it's so cute. Now I'm gonna send it to her, and yeah. Yo, what up, I'm back from Disney. Uh, yeah, and I also, yeah. This one's a core memory of all the churros I ate. This one looks like a mango, which is my favorite fruit. The lid opens on this one, so I'm doing strawberries, because that's all I have. Kind of cute, kind of not. Dinosaur egg. I also went to Vegas, and I found this cup. Yeah, I love it. This one's really cool. It's, like, reflective. I didn't even know this one existed, but yeah. This one is so pretty. One of my favorites, but I feel like it should have been released during Christmas time, because don't they look like ornaments? Just say. This is the most aesthetic cup I have. It reminds me of that little circle thing. This. Got this one, too. I like it more. Color-changing mystery cups, and I'm trying to find all five colors. I don't any ice but chicken bakes are working just fine. oh my gosh yes the only one i need to find is orange because i got two reds it's actually not 3 a.m so i can try these they're sun activated cups i don't see an aubrey effect but maybe with a drink in it you know what i'm saying like that does not look like that but yo what up i have a problem <laughs> don't remember what half of this is but that's probably the half i bought at 3 a.m let's start with road i actually do know what's in here everything was finally in stock so i bought it without thinking these are so cute i'm really hoping these are actually good if not i kept my receipt next pack sun saw charlie d'amelio wearing these and i thought they were so cute so much better in person. These are so cute. No idea what this is, but watch what I can do. I discovered I can open packages with my nose. <laughs> I forgot about this one. It's an ice roller, a peach fuzz remover, and a sleeping bag to hold everything. How could I leave this in my cart? Lululemon. Is it just me, or is this bag really creepy? That's going back to Lululemon. What is this? Love the new mod perfume, so I got the travel size. This is one of my favorite skincare brands. I'll probably use this for the rest of my life. I got some new things, but I'm pretty much just restocking. Flared leggings from Pop Flex. Every piece I get from them is such good quality. White Fox, of course. Look how cute this set is. I have an addiction to White Fox. I can't help it. Their stuff is so cute. I'm wearing this set tomorrow. Wonder what I got, Hazel. Heart shaped pants. Cakes. Food scoop with a clip. See you in part two. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and turn my new bathroom into a Christmas glow spot. It's time! That's when I stopped the video. Anyways, paint. First, I'm painting my shower doors. Hopefully, this comes off in a month. Just kidding, it will because TikTok told me it would. <laughs> Help. Okay, what do you guys think? I try to make it look like snow in a window. I also got a mini Christmas tree for the bathroom. Let's decorate it. Please enjoy this ASMR body. Simple but so cute. Time for the lights. Okay, ready? The best thing about these lights? They change color. Can't decide. Tree skirt? No tree skirt. They both look good. Found this mini star. I don't know if it ruins it though. Star? No star. Yeah, no star. Now I'm putting rope lights above my mirror. Changing out the stuff. Okay, so far so good. Next I'm working on my shower and dealing with this closet. See you in part two. Part two, I'm gonna restock and decorate the shower. First I'm taking everything out. Also I broke a nail, so don't mind that. I tried anyway. So clean. Finally, now I'm gonna put these clear shelves up. You guys, it looks so good. Let's put my stuff back. Top shelf's gonna hold shampoo and conditioner, hair mask, hair clip for the hair mask, for shampoo and conditioner. Next shelf's gonna hold body conditioner, body scrub. These shower gels are my favorite. They smell so good. Look at these mini tree hub body scrubs. They're so cute and they smell amazing. Lastly, candy cane shave oil. Last shelf's gonna hold body wash and body conditioner. Also, I bought this thinking it was candy cane body wash, but it wasn't. It's conditioner. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that right here. I'm also gonna put a Christmas tree here and this. I don't know, but it's festive. I put up these acrylic hooks to hold my loofah, and my razor. Oh, nice. I'm running out of time. See you in part three. Part three, I wish I could scream. I'm so excited. Finally gonna decorate and restock everything, starting with my DIY bath cart. For the first shelf, I'm filling two jars with lavender and eucalyptus foaming bath. Next shelf is gonna hold bath flowers, and I'm putting them in these cute little jars. Also, I put sugar cubes in this jar, and that's going in the middle. Last shelf is holding cow print face masks, white bath bombs, and then this. I thought they were fake roses, but it's actually soap. <laughs> Couldn't find cloud shaped bath mats, so I'm gonna make my own. I can do this. I just cut it in half. Now I have to make those two look like that. Poof, ta da. Now I'm gonna wash them and see what happens. How does that work? I thought it was gonna fall apart in the washer, but it didn't. Oh, normal house, and then bam, portal. Last thing I have to do is restock my shower shelves, normal shelves, and my drawers. I'll see you in part four. And no, it won't take three days to stop. Part four, I'm gonna restock and decorate my whole bathroom, starting with the shower shelves. First shelf is holding hair products, so we have my shampoo, a hair mask, and scalp scrubber. I'm gonna use the hook to hang this fake eucalyptus plant this one for my razor. The shelf below that is going to hold shaving products like the shaving oil, shave butter, and coconut melt, sugar scrubs. This one smells like real orange, like freshly peeled. I'm, I'm in love. How do I only have two shelves done? This one is for shower creams, body oils, and body masks. Last one's for body washes. Yeah, day, night, and whenever I feel like I need more collagen. I don't know. I feel like I'm in a dream. Also, I linked the shelves on my Amazon storefront in my bio. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to decorate the main shelves. Top one's going to hold body brushes. Skipping to the middle, this one shelf is the reason why I redid my entire bathroom. So yeah. I found these at the container store. I'm using them for bath salts. This one's lavender, lemon, eucalyptus, and mandarin. I may or may not need a part five, but every video has been good so far, right? I'm so close. Also, it's almost 4 a.m. I'll see you in part five. Part five, I'm gonna hang eucalyptus onto my shower head with a hair tie. Why haven't I done this before? It looks so good. I've also never put a tray on my toilet before. It's 4 a.m. Haha, ha. why do I do this to myself? Um, at least I have a cute bathroom. I just filled this with lush bath bombs and I'm putting them on the shelf. I got this candle at Home Goods. It says, Cupid, you're fired. I had to get it. The last thing going on the shelf is this book. And it's random, but it's so cute. I almost forgot lotion. I'm putting that on top. I feel like I'm in my dream bathroom. Almost done. Last thing I need to do is restock my
my gosh, I'm finally done. Now you know how to make a glow spa. Good night. Yo, what up? Remember this mirror and how I thought I could carry it up the stairs myself? Well, now I need an MRI because my back has never been the same. Come with me to get my first MRI. Forgot I had to remove my forever jewelry, so... I'm so sad. My brother's taking me because I'm so claustrophobic. And they need to give me extra stuff so I'm not claustrophobic. We're in the waiting room. I get my own locker. And you're ready. We'll just have you come right over here. Okay, thank you. I'm scared. Apparently, I have to be in the room by myself. Just me and the MRI machine. I'm scared. My brother just said he wants to watch to see if I freak out or not. They let me. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, can I stand right here? <laughs> It's messed up, man. It's my turn. I'm back. They give you like a squeeze emergency thing. I wanted to squeeze it so bad, but I didn't. So, a win is a win. I'm going to treat myself to Target. Come with me on my first brain trip with Too Faced. Sorry to hear, by the way. I just forgot to film the beginning. Okay, we can start now. I wanted these for my house. They're so cute. Just got some permanent jewelry. Thank you. <laughs> Look how adorable this is. All the flowers, they're everywhere. I'm about to go inside, but this is just so cute. Okay, I'm going into the room. You guys are going to get my initial reaction. It was pushed. Um. <laughs> oh my god. You guys. Is this real life? It's real. Give you guys the grand tour. Here's the bathroom. Look at the mirror. It's so pretty. This is my vision board, but in real life. They went all out. Look at the tray. I wonder if I can take that home. That would be really cute. More stuff on this side. I'm going to do a haul later to the bedroom. Da -da -da. Telling you there's flowers everywhere and I love it. But I say they went all out. They went all out. I even got my favorite snacks. Rice Krispies. I have to hurry. I'm going to dinner with Toothpaste in 20 minutes. I want to wear one of the dresses they got me. Should I do one, two, or three? Just going with option two. Look how cute this is. Literally. I'm wearing this one right now. I still something on my dress. So much going on tomorrow, so I will see you in part two. Hi guys, so today I'm trying the Grimace shake. I've been seeing it everywhere and I'm so excited to try it. So here we go. Happy birthday, Grimace. Whoa. That's some good stuff. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> so good. Wow. Let's restock the guest bathroom. Skincare first, I'm putting it on this thing. This is gonna be the shower bar. Sol de Janeiro. And Frenchie. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Next shop's gonna have Olaplex. And way. Last shop is kinda random. Yeah, moving on. Found these drawers for under the sink. Extra hair stuff. Stuff to shave with. Makeup, you never know. Lastly, dental stuff and more skincare. This is kind of how it's going to be laid out. Perfume in case they forgot. I'm also putting these bags here in case they want to take any minis. Lipstick, deodorant, pre-hut scrub, mini bath salts, how cute, loofahs, and bath bombs. Let's ignore the no decorations or shower curtain. This looks so good. I'm so proud of myself. This looks amazing. Okay, I told my mom not to watch this. Trying to make her a gift basket for Mother's Day. This is also a giveaway, so everything I got my mom is also going to one of you. First, a blanket. Blush bath bomb set. Sol de Janeiro radiance cream. Tree hut sugar scrub. Glow recipe fruit babies. This candle, it smells so good. Found this ring holder, it's so cute. She loves gold, so it's perfect. Makeup headband. Satin pillowcase. Waist scalp serum. Laneige lip mask. Drunk elephant moisturizer, so good. Next reusable under eye patches. I tried these and I love them. I also got the Florence one. Skin gym gua sha. Sorry if I said that wrong. Tart eye brightener. I got so many compliments when I use this, so. Moon lip treatment, also really good. This bracelet set. I love you more bracelet. Blogilates high ponytail hat. It's so cute. Just in case you want to gift anything, I'm sending you these really cute gift bags. And that's pretty much it. I'm so excited. All the info to enter will be on my Instagram. Good luck, guys. Yo, what up? I'm back at Disney. This time I'm doing two bags and giving it to two random people. First one's gonna be Halloween themed. Look at this bag. It's so cute. I have to get them this. The candle. I kind of want one. Candy corn bucket. Mickey pumpkin ears. Oh my god. This won't fit in the bag, but it's fine. Rice Krispies. I found this light up necklace. Yes. I just found this bag. I'm getting it for me. Second bag is my favorite. Look at the front. Hopefully I can fit everything in here. First this candle. It smells like apple. My favorite Starbucks cup. It's beautiful. Not gonna close. A wallet. You know. Socks and a matching hat. Little Pluto. His collar matches the cup. Rice Krispies. This light up pen. I don't. And chocolate coins. These are so good. Okay, the bags are done. Let's go find people to give them to. Hi. So I'm. Next Pluto, say bye. Bag and I want to give it away. And I just want to give this. <laughs> bye, Pluto. That was so much fun. Oh my gosh. Definitely doing more when I come back next week. Parts here, we're touring the Pink Palace. That's what they call it. It's so cute. Look how cute the wall is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Going into the studio. <laughs> Look at this. This is insane. We're going to do a shopping spree right now. What? Fill to the top with every shade of every product. Thank we you. Here for a little cutie tour. Oh my gosh, this makes me want to do a restock video. Mind if I do? How cute this is! Love these lashes. So, these are so pretty, and we're opening up a new drawer. Bag number two. I don't even know where to start. Using this right now. The original eyeshadow primer. Oh my god, look at this room. About to get shade match. Tone. 
been on a yacht before. This is crazy. I didn't know they had upstairs. It was so crazy. Anyways, look at the view. Oh my god. Okay, this is insane. I'm already back home. I'm doing a giveaway for when I hit 10 million, so majority of this is for you guys. Also sharing with friends and family, but this is literally insane. Huge thank you to Too Faced for taking us on this trip. It was so much fun, and I will never forget. Get ready with me for the day. I'm running errands, so I'm going for a more natural look today. My skin is so dry, so I have to do extra steps to revive it. It's a pain sometimes. Too Faced sent me their Born This Way Healthy Glow Skin Tint Foundation. First time I tried this, I was in awe of how glowy it made my skin look, so I very much need this today. I'm using shade Natural Beige. The errands I had to run today are actually fun. Are we seeing that? beautiful literally looks like my skin there used to be a pimple there i'm redoing my entire office which you guys will see it's gonna be so good sorry pause are we seeing this it's like i have nothing on but it's on and there's coverage that's why i love it, it has SPF. i already bought a plant for it a fake one because i'm terrible at taking care of plants I'm getting the furniture today so wish me luck with that this is the finished look i like it time to do my hair Yo, what up? i'm bored so i'm gonna try and set up one of those really cute flower photo shoots it's between this or cleaning my car some setting up the flowers Half of these are fake. Okay, they're all in vases. Now I'm going to position them. This is going in the sink. I'm holding this one so it needs to go right here. Supposed to look like I'm filling the vases with flowers. I don't know. That's pretty much it. Now I'm going to set up my lights. Okay, but the lighting. Wow, it feels so professional. Okay, this is my outfit. Just got back from the grocery store vibes. I brought flowers home, you know. Time to fix my lips. Two face. Do this one spicy. Fenty heat. Let's it burn. To go bite in the middle of the night. My lips. To top off. That's the lip combo. It's so cute. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm posting them after this video, so let me know what you think. Yeah, I'm excited. Why do I do this every time? I just need to not open Amazon after midnight because it shows me cute things like this. These coasters look so cute. I'm in love. I think I want to buy two more. Purple matches. Govi sent me this. It's a cylinder floor lamp. I feel like my living room needed something unique, so that's where this is going. Um, this is really cool. There's a bunch of different animated patterns. My favorite is this one. And this one because it's a fish tank. I'm getting another one for the other side, but it looks so cute. Next, these pink and purple cups. Came in this really cute box. Thought they were gonna be glass, but they're acrylic. It's fine. Look how cute this cloud tray is. I can use it for my rings, but I'm gonna use it as a spoon rest. Just imagine you're cooking. Oh, where do I put my spoon? On oh, my spoon rest. <laughs> Moving on, more cups. These are different. You can use them with the straw or without because it closes on the top. Somebody take my card away. I'm gonna put all of this on my Amazon store under things I recently bought. And I'll see you in part two because I bought some more. Part two. But hazel. Jump charms. Hazel's trying to eat them. Hot legs. I was sitting too long. <laughs> they sent me so much. I'm so excited. This is my favorite cup. Charm goes on the cup. Hearts or stars. Why not both? Charm charms. <laughs> Thank you, charm charms. Flex. <laughs> I love them. I love they got them. I love the Adam's wedding. Love the little personalized note. I'm going to keep this for the rest of my life. There's so much in here. To the fashion show. I'm going to live in this. You can also wear it like this. Bam. There's a lot back. It just, it's gone. It's gone. Where is it? <laughs> Thank you, Pop Flex. Kills. I can't open it. Thank you. Powerful strength, line reducing, and dark circle diminishing vitamin C eye serum. Hyaluronic acid. Excited to try. Thank you, Kills. Typo sent me this candy dispenser. I love them. And these bags. Thank you, Typo. That's it. I'm going to give you a tour of some of my favorite things in my house. First, my DIY mirror. I'm so proud of myself for making it. It's so tall. And it's cute for pictures. My voice is so raspy. Don't mind the hair. Next, my YouTube plaques. I still can't believe it. I can stare at these all day. <laughs> This neon sign my brother gave me it says my name and it's Love Island colors. He did so good. My guest bathroom rugs. I don't know. I really need to put stuff in here. It's so empty. Next, my entire bathroom, especially the closet. I just love being in here. It's kind of messy though. This did not last. My office chair because Hazel likes to sleep on it. I woke her up. This mirror, I might buy another one for upstairs. And of course, all my cups, but this cabinet especially. Lastly, my kitchen island. Never had one before, so it's nice. Oh, and this ghost pillow. Anyways, that's it. Part two, I'm putting in all the lights now. There's a lot because it's kind of creepy when that's the only light on. So hopefully these will help. First, I'm putting these rope lights along the edges. First shelf is done. It already looks so much better. Now I'm doing the middle shelf. It looks so dreamy. Let me show you the potential. Here's a random purse. Look how it glows. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna put in these puck lights. I think I got too many, but we'll see. So we're running so good on time. It's almost 2 a.m. I'm gonna cry. I put a closet like this on my vision board right there. But here it is. Vision boards work. I'm gonna finish putting the lights up. I'm doing two in the bigger section. I was worried about all the controllers, but they all sync to one. I just velcroed it to the light switch, and yeah. I'm gonna try them all at once now. Oh my god. This is so cool. I'm gonna cry. Lastly, I'm gonna organize my clothes back into the closet. I'll see you in part three. I'm so excited. Part four. This is really heavy. Feels like my birthday. Ah! These look so yummy. Glitter flip-flops, and they're my size. Oh, this is so cute. What is this? What's hot in you? Oh! Ah! It's donut chalk. Please. It's donut chalk. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. I should probably stop talking. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. This is all of my favorite candies. Daniela, thank you. Hello. What time is it? This is taking me two hours. <laughs> makeup storage. This is perfect. I have a lot of makeup I need to organize. I'm just going to take out the big one. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is so cute. Dude. Dude, this is so sweet. I'm drinking my water like this from now on, by the way. We have some more stickers. This is heavy. Icebreakers and jelly bellies. There's so much, I'm just gonna dump it off. 
Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do one last part, part five, because the rest deserves a video on its own. Um, yeah, I can explain. I had to push everything that way so it wouldn't look as bad, but that did not work. So I'm gonna try and reset my entire closet. First, I'm taking everything out. I'm gonna have to sleep on the couch. I already know. Okay, this side is great. That side, oh my god. Okay, it's finally empty. Now I'm gonna make a keep and donate pile. I kept some of this because of the memory, so I'm gonna try really hard to let those go. Okay, I'm finally done. This is what I'm keeping. And the donate pile is over there. I really wanna pick stuff out, but I just never wear them, so I'm hoping someone else can enjoy them, but I'm gonna miss them. Why am I like this? Before I put it all back, I have an idea for this closet. Putting in new lights everywhere, and I bought a bunch of organizing stuff. Most of it gets here tomorrow, so I'll see you in part two. Part two, I'm so excited. I have to take it all down because my lights broke. It's all over here now. Do I just leave it there and go to sleep? Yes, no, yeah. I feel like I'm gonna be here all night. Now I'm putting on the new ones. This looks so good. I'm gonna put the rope light up now. I'm doing the same paint drop thing like last time. I think that looks good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can finally put the cups back. This is gonna look so good. Finally, this looks so good. So this is with the lights on and the lights off. Next, I'm gonna finish decorating my room. I have to make nightstands. Anyways, I'll see you in that video. Two days left. It's fine. Everything's fine. Let's put up the tree. What do you think? It's giving my life right now. I'm kidding. I'm so- I'm gonna try to make a cloud-themed tree. So these are the raindrops, you know? Now I'm gonna stick this white garland around the tree. And the white ornaments are mini clouds. I actually got a tree topper this year. Okay, whoa. I didn't know it did that. Wow, that's really cool. I had to turn my flash on because the lighting is so bad. But now I'm adding this white fluffy tree skirt. The last thing I need is Hazel's paw print. One paw at a time. This was hers last year. They're the same. <laughs> but it's fine. It's dark so quick. But this is what it looks like at night time. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Next step, I'm gonna try and wrap gifts as that girl. So I moved back into my room, so part three of the mirror will be up soon. I'm gonna try and make an aesthetic hot chocolate bar again. First, I'm filling the sprinkles. This one's gonna be blue with white snowflakes, peppermint, marshmallow, Christmas, I don't know, s'mores, random blue one I'm gonna make. I'm gonna put them here. I'm so excited. Now I'm gonna fill the small containers. First one's gonna have polar bear marshmallows, gingerbread men, peppermint hot chocolate toppers, and these really cute snowman ones. These are gonna go on top. Now I'm gonna fill the bigger ones. Look what I found. I'm so excited to try these. Hot chocolate powder. Did not go as planned. Pretzels. Glass of hot chocolate stirs. Now I'm just labeling everything. And that's it. It's so cute. Next I'm setting up my glow spot, but it's gonna be Christmas themed. I was told very very hibiscus is back, so I'm at Starbucks. Hi, can I get a very very hibiscus refresher with extra berries, please? And can you make that a venti size, please? Yeah, I'm so excited. I haven't had one of these in a couple of months, so yay! Here we go. Wow. Wow. It's really good. Yes. I can do anything. Trick or treat. I have a lot to do today. Oh well, let's play What's Your Side. Okay. Taurus, your daughter will move out. Yikes. After you've ignored all the warning signs. Y'all need to fix that. Oh, this one just jumped at me. Pisces, you'll get a standing ovation. I'm a Pisces, but it won't stop you from moving to LA. Interesting. Scorpio, your neighbor will show up unannounced. Could be a good thing, could be creepy, which sends you right back to therapy. What? These are juicy. Aquarius, everything will go as planned. Aww. But you still won't be satisfied. <laughs> oh my. Leo, it's time to be honest with your therapist. Do, 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 and it will fill a void you didn't even know existed. These are getting a little serious. Let me know if you guys like these and I'll do a part two. I want to scream, but I won't. I'm going to turn my hot chocolate bar into a smoothie bar. Ah! First, I got to get everything off the counter. Oh. Now I'm just spraying and wiping everything down. And we're cleaning. Yeah, cleaning. This is the new tiered shelf I got. It's so cute. Got these cute candy jars. You can find them on Amazon. Let's fill them. I'm filling the first jar with taro powder. This one with boba. Vanilla ice cream protein powder. This one is getting filled with oats. Oh. And chia seeds. I'm putting the jars on the top shelf. I'm using another jar for dried mangoes and dried strawberries. These smell so good. These are going on the bottom shelf. This jar that I found for honey is so cute. Ah, oh my gosh. I'm filling this one with super greens powder. I love this in my smoothies. I'm putting my magic bullet on the side here. I use it all the freaking time. It's so old. <laughs> this is the last cup I have. I might as well put it here. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. Am I in a Pinterest app? forgot the scoops also i wanted to say hi to all my new friends we're almost at four million thank you so much for following me part two resetting my room I'm actually proud of myself it's been worse i'm gonna start with the obvious issue well at least i can see my floor now i'm gonna clear off the nightstands now this is my favorite part ew now i'm gonna clear off my bed and put some new sheets on almost done now i'm putting everything back um, I forgot about the floor. This is so bad. It's so quick. 
Next step, decluttering and redecorating my dump site. I mean my bad. My family makes fun of me for the way I make my orange juice, but all I do is grab some oranges. I use about five, wash them, and cut them in half. This is probably going to be one of my shortest videos, but I have my cup. <laughs> Stop looking at me. I have my cup, my orange, and then I just press it down. And then I just scoop the pulp and put it back into the orange juice. Why don't you just eat the orange? Because I like to drink it. It just hits different. Yo, what up? I love the way I organize my makeup and skincare. It's so convenient until I have to do my everyday makeup. I basically use the same products every day, so I have to go through every single drawer just to find them. So I got these bathroom trays to put the product. Uh, this is the next day, guys. I can't go. I'm going to put the products I'm currently using on them, so I only have to go to one spot. Vanity drawer. Vanity. I don't know what to do. I'm going to try the drawer first. Starting with makeup, my favorite primer right now is this one. Colourpop Tinted Moisturizer, I'm always using these. It's gonna chill in the back, but I'm gonna put my beauty blenders in it. Fenty Contour Stick, It Cosmetics Blush. More blush by Colourpop. Benefit and NYX for my brows. I use clear mascara on my brows too. Better than sex mascara. I'm actually gonna put the smaller items in here so it looks less cluttered. Baking and translucent powder. Too Faced Lip Injection and NARS Lip Tint together. Yes! An eyelash curler. And some setting sprays. I forgot to change it to three minutes, so really quick, this is skincare. Bye. Now everything is all in one spot and I can switch out products when I want. <laughs> Yo, what up? I'm gonna try. This is gonna go so bad. To make a snow globe glitter cup. Here's my glitter. Yikes. I also got some strawberries because grab some strawberries. You know, because of the recipes, grab some strawberries. Elmer's glue. Resin. Whatever it's called. Alcohol wipes. Distilled water. I forgot to buy a drill. Well, at least now, now you know how to make a glitter cup. I'm gonna make this video tomorrow, so excuse me while I go buy myself a new drill. It's been about a month since Kelly has cleaned her room. Let's see what she's up to now. Eating freaking Cheetos and watching Love Island. Very productive. Oop, she's on the way to her room. Let's see if we can get her to notice it's dirty. On the count of three, yell, Kelly, clean your room. One, two, three. Kelly, clean your room. It doesn't look like she heard us. One, two, three. Kelly, clean your room. Will Kelly ever stop eating Cheetos and watching Love Island instead of cleaning her room? I guess we'll have to find out in the next episode. I'm going apple picking with my family, so let's get ready for it. First, Starbucks. Instead of my usual refresher, I'm going to try the apple crisp macchiato. Mm, that's good. Here's my apple basket. I'm going to bring a picnic blanket, some water, snacks, and some hand wipes I just put in this. Almost forgot a portable charger. We're going to be taking lots of pictures and videos. Okay, I think I'm ready. I'm so excited. We are out here and it is beautiful. It's so cold and I lost a nail, RIP, but I got apples so it's all good. Part two, I'm going to finish sanding it, then I'll add the spackle. Now I'm going to try and move this so I can clean up all the mess. So much better. I'm going to add the plaster now. I'm actually really scared because I don't want to mess it up. I'm almost done. This is so fun. It's like icing a cake. I'm gonna cry. This took me three hours. It's fine. It's gonna be good. It's three o'clock now. This is gonna turn white when it dries. Hopefully it dries quick. It did not dry quick. It's the next day. And it's not even dry. It's also cracking. This is not good. My only option. Oh my god. My only option is to get this on here somehow. Let it crack and then fix it when it's on the mirror. Well, oh, here goes nothing. I'm just gonna slide it off. You guys, I did it. There is a lot of damage, but I did it all on my own. I'm so proud. Now I'm gonna fix the cracks by adding another layer. Okay, I think we're good this time. There's no way this is gonna dry tonight. So see you in part three. Wish me luck getting it up the stairs when it's done. Let's all just cross our fingers. Hopefully. Yo, what up? I lost the paint to my spackle, so I need to get more, but they're closed. They open in six hours, so instead of sleeping, I'm gonna try and unpack my filming room. First, I'm building my makeup drawers. I'm almost done with this one. Not bad. Now I'm gonna put the drawers in. Also, it's morning now. I'm gonna go get the paint. I got the paint, and I'm putting these on top of the boxes so I can get the edges. Here goes nothing. I just hope I don't make a giant mess. Almost done. I'm so excited. These are so cute. I really- I was worried for a second. It turned out so cute. I can't wait to hang them up. I keep decorating my room when I wake up, but I'm so tired. Good night. Still trying to become that girl. My style is next, but first I'm going to make an aesthetic clothing rack. Blah, I can't talk today. Okay, I'm almost done. I just need this side, but what are those extra screws for? These are so cute. I found them on Walmart's website at 3 a.m. They're LED signs, but I'm going to use them as hangers. I'm also going to use normal ones in white. Wow, I love it so much. Now I'm going to add some of my favorite clothes. Just kidding, I don't have any favorite clothes. Just these shoes. And this sweatshirt I got two days ago. It's so cute. Yeah, I want to dress cute, but I don't know how to. So if you guys want to help me, comment your favorite clothing brand. Next step, I'm going to be doing some clothing try-on hauls once I get some stuff in. So yeah, wish me luck. Just in case, the rack is on my Amazon storefront. These are from Pretty Little Thing. That's from White Fox. Those hangers are from Target, and those are from Walmart. 
I'm gonna try to paint these baby pumpkins. I have all the colors for each design I'm gonna do, so yeah, wish me luck. This one's gonna be cute, just wait. I don't have a blow dry. Okay, first one done. That one took forever to dry, so I'm gonna do the first layer on all of them first. This one's green, yellow, white, this one's tan, light purple, and another green. I couldn't help it. I finished the culprit one, now I'm working on this one. It has stars on it. Now I'm doing this abstract smiley face one. I don't know if it's gonna look good, but it's my favorite one. Bye. Now I'm gonna work on this one. Oh yeah, I did that. Don't know how I feel about it, but think about it. I am the only one in the universe at this exact angle at this is exact moment i'm just redoing this one I regret doing that oh my gosh don't mind that one but the rest of them like i would separate them and put them all around my house but they just belong together you know why i haven't posted in two days it's because of these so bye part two the led lights have arrived i was like why are you so obsessed with me i'm putting all of the cups on this table because i gotta flip that upside down just kidding i'm just gonna put them behind these two things okay i'm at the bottom of the other side oh okay Gosh, it's so pretty now i have to figure out do i color code do i go by type okay but where does this one go blue green or pink purple because of the red it's gonna have its own section this one can go anywhere but i'm gonna put it here because that looks good now i'm switching up where they are i'm doing black on top then blue pink and purple as i get more cups i think the last two shelves will look a lot better oh my gosh guys it's so pretty oh my gosh i don't know what that was but oh my gosh ta-da it looks so good oh my god oh my god this is just casually in my living room this is off this is on you know what song is playing in my head right now <laughs> i cannot believe what came in the mail today Too Faced sent me a gift Too Faced! i can't stop smiling i don't understand Too Faced is one of my favorite makeup brands you guys already know i use the better than sex mascara and the lip injection lip gloss it yet because i wanted you guys to see a raw reaction so here we go oh, oh my god what is this the whole what is this the whole line oh my gosh i didn't even know they made eyelashes what whoa dude yeah yes literally where is it mine is almost out oh my god i don't mean to cry but this is just so nice These were on the side of the box. Thank you so much, Too Faced. This is the best gift ever. Okay, for real this time, I'm right here and I'm back to posting every single day. I still haven't unpacked, so let's do that. First, I'm taking everything out and putting it in a pile. I didn't even use half this stuff, so why the f did I pack it? Mm -hmm. Now that everything is in a pile, I'm gonna disinfect everything and put it in that basket. I'm almost done. I gotta make another pile for the brushes because I'm washing those. Hmm, do I put it away now or watch Love Island? Forget about it and put it away later. Okay, I'm gonna put it away and Hazel's gonna help me. I'm trying to make this satisfying and it's just not working. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow. I'm gonna go watch these and start filming my next TikTok. I'm still trying to become that girl. I can't be that girl without a houseplant, so I'm gonna try and plant one. First, I have to make the pot look cute, so I'm doing blue. It looks like a sky, right? Now I'm gonna try and add clouds. What is that? Fake clouds are better. So cute, the little clouds. Okay, so now I have to put in the potting mix. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't decide on what seeds I want to plant. Do I do the mystery flowers from the Billie Eilish concert? Or do I go pro and do veggies from Coachella? JK, not a mystery. It says wildflowers. I'm supposed to soak these overnight, so I'll be like an hour is good enough. I'm gonna put that on top. Wish this came with instructions. I'm gonna pour more potting soil on top. Just a little. Found this water bottle by Urban Outfitters, so now I'm just filling. There's a hole at the bottom, and I've just been standing. Figured that out. Uh, this is so cute. Okay, so now I'm watering it. Like, actually, it's Hazel's plant. She's still trying to become that dog. Anyways, now we wait. I don't think I did this right, but if you want an update, Instagram. Okay. Part two, let's stock the mini fridge. First, I'm filling the mini bottles. Pomegranate juice, I'm probably gonna spill everything. Coconut water. Glass four with just water. I'm gonna put these on the bottom shelf. Now for the fruit, I'm doing raspberries and blackberries. Baby Bell cheese. Lunchables and Gogurt on the side. I found these snack containers at Target and I'm just filling them with grapes. I bought four more, so I'm just filling them with chocolate. Can't forget Capri Sun, because I'm addicted. I've never had these, so hopefully they're good. Pickle Ricks, these are the best. Found this really cool looking soda. Strawberry applesauce. And watermelon hints. Okay, this is so worth it. It's so cute. Welcome to my car. I don't even want to show you the back. I'm going to try to clean and restock my car. First, let's go to the car wash. Now I'm going to throw away all the trash. This is really embarrassing. Ew. Why does Hazel have so much hair? Now I'm cleaning the windows. Time for the car slime. I've seen people do this. Oh, it actually works. Okay, now I'm gonna restock. I'm gonna take everything out and replace it. Now I have a use for this bucket that's been in my car for so long. 
and my ghost keychain. This looks so good. In here, I just have lotion, a pen, teeth whitener, nail brush. Yeah, I found these zip bags on Amazon. I thought they were so perfect. Hair stuff in this one and girly things in this. I'm gonna stock the doors now. This is so cute. I have no more time. Lights are in, cars clean. Yay. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. <laughs> Waited outside for three hours in the dark for cups. Oh well, this is the first one. She cute, she cute. Okay, this one's kind of ugly, but I didn't want to have FOMO, so I got her anyway. I think I'm gonna trade it for something I do like. This was my favorite one. Oh, girl. Hi, you guys must have gotten here pretty early, huh? I just pulled up like five minutes ago. Oh, look, they're opening the doors. Yeah, someone did that, and they got a whole bunch of these. I got this blue stainless steel one, the straw, though. It's so cute. Like, everything matches. I usually don't get water bottles, but this one was so cute. Am I right? Like, they all go together. <laughs> This one was so hard to find, so I hope I don't break it because it's glass. I also found this one. These remind me of Jello, so I've been calling them the Jello Cup. I don't know what I feel about this one. I might do a trade. And this one, also a trade. Now I get to organize them. I'm so excited. What? Resetting my entire house part nine. Just kidding, I'm moving. First, I'm going to pack my Starbucks cups. I can't wait to show you my new place. Anyways, here's my box. There may not be a good idea, but I'm taking the straws off so I can lay them in the box like that. Now I'm going to put this paper on top. I have to hurry so I'm not here till 3 a.m. So please enjoy this day tomorrow. Bye, honey. Boo. I'm gonna keep the keychains in this container. That didn't work, so I put them in here. How to get a second box? Also, how do I pack the straws? Found a basket with the lid, so I'm putting them in here. I might as well put these in there too. I wrapped the glass ones in foam, and I'm done. Oh my god. Yeah. So I have to pack my entire house. So I'll see you in part two. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and make Valentine's Day themed mystery gift bags for my sister and niece. So yeah. each bag has a theme. So I'm starting with self care. I got them both strawberry sugar scrub. It's my new favorite. It smells so good. Face mask, this lip care set, and bath bombs. Next bag is DIY themed. Got them cake pop kits. They're so cute. This is random, but I got my mom a grow your own strawberry patch kit. I'm excited. Next bag is candy. Please enjoy this ASMR. Just kidding. That was very bad. It is 2 a.m. The next bag is something cute. So I found a teddy bear holding a marshmallow on a stick. Forget the s'mores kit. That's cute. And then this donut and milk. I think that's milk. I'm not sure, but it's really cute. Now I'm going to put heart-shaped candy boxes in the big bag. Another donut plush. And a chocolate bar. It's really soft. Lastly, for my niece, I got a color-changing salt lamp, watermelon body glaze, and a daisy grow kit. For my sister, I got a journal and some Sharpies, flower grow kit, and a Fruit Loops body glaze. Now I'm adding tissue paper, red for my sister and pink for my niece. They look so good. I can't wait to see their reactions. Also, I did one through five, and they'll open up one per day till Valentine's Day. Redecorating my beauty slash filming room part three. I have to organize all of this back into there somehow. After I'm done with that, I can finally work on the rest of the room. I can't wait to eat this wallpaper. I'm gonna start by building these wickered baskets from Ikea. I have six of them, so the first one is gonna hold my wax supply. The second one is going to hold anything to do with lashes, so my lash extension, lift, and tint supply. I'm going to put all of my small disposable items in this six-drawer container. Running on supply, maybe I'll do a restock video. I decided to put it on the shelf, and next to it, I'm putting my wax sticks and strips. In the third cube, I'm going to be keeping my favorite things, like my microneedling pen, my ultrasonic skin scrubber, and my high-frequency machine. The fourth cube is going to hold any extra disposable supply, like gloves, Q-tips, things like that. The fifth cube will hold any extra nail supply. On this shelf, I'm keeping my towel warmer, my wax machine, and my skincare fridge. These two baskets are from Home Goods. I'm putting cleaning and disinfecting in this one and hair tinsel in this one. I didn't know what else to put in here. Put those on the top shelf and look at this plant. It's so cute. I'm putting it in the middle. The closet is finally done for the most part. I have a plan for the rest of my stuff like makeup and skincare, so I'll see you in part four. I'm going into a five below for the first time. They have makeup, clothes, so much candy. Oh my gosh. They have a party section. Look at this disco ball. This is so awkward. I was being followed majority of the time I was shopping, which was kind of fun, but awkward because that's never happened to me before. Usually they say hi and leave. I literally didn't know what to do. But if you're watching this, sorry for being awkward. They had the mini washing machine and I just had to get it. How cute is that? I got the disco ball for my IG story concerts. If you don't know about those, go to my highlights. This is what I'm most excited for. Yeah. I got a yoga dice, cup noodles, and Oreo lip balm. Why are these so cute? Makeup removing cloths, squishmallows. I was really bored, okay? Aww. Are you serious? A back scratcher keychain. <laughs> and this board game. Yeah, I don't know. I'm getting my nails done again. This is what I'm asking for. Or these. I can't decide, so here's the before. Just wait for it. Why do they always just break off? I have never wanted to cry coming out of a nail salon. First of all, they were so rude to me. Second of all, this is how they left me. Just, I mean, some of the nails are okay, but there's fuzzies in every nail. You can kind of see it on this one. The thumb 
is fine, but look how bumpy the rest of them are. They're literally bumpy. They kept burning me with the drill, and it took a total of three hours. One of them was me waiting in the waiting area. My choice, it's fine, but to top it off, I have gel top coat. You can see it right there, kind of, all over my hands, like all over. Okay, I just got back. They said they would redo it for me. Oh, I don't know what I did. Like, I don't know why they're just being so rude to me, but I don't know if I should go back because I just feel so uncomfortable. Like, oh, what do I do? DIY hot chocolate bar part two. This is what I was most excited for. Let's fill them up. My favorite chocolate mint truffle. Wow, so aesthetic reality. Next we have pumpkin spice hot cocoa. I even like pumpkin spice. Oh, it's good. Next we have marshmallows. I just launched my marshmallow lip collection. Check it out in the sun. And these your lips look so fluffy. And you can't forget the candy corn. Then there's these things which I cannot pronounce. And milk chocolate truffles. I forgot I had one more, so I'm just filling it with Oreos. Got these chalk labels and a chalk marker to label the jars. The labels are done. I'm sticking them on now. Wow. Cookies are going back here. Truffles back here. And the hot chocolate up front. In part one, I told you I was going to show you what the smaller ones are for. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Coasters. Storing them on the left with a pumpkin on top. Ow. Now I just got to figure out what's right on these little things. I wrote chocolate bar, cozy, to go, and fall vibe. Adding a candle, leaves, and pine cones for decoration. And that is it. Oh my gosh. Hot chocolate central. You want to follow me, right? For more DIYs like this one? Yeah. Please do not do this at home. Let me do it for you. Okay. Plugged in. You know what's stuck in my head? Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. Putting some parchment paper down and I'm gonna use tweezers so I don't burn myself. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. I'm not gonna do it. Putting another piece on top and gonna close it. Oh my god. Ew, it stinks, but that's what it looks like. I'm holding it like this until it cools down. Wait, did I do it? <gasps> okay. Tried to put it on and it broke. Hold on, let me make another one. I'm gonna try to do my name. I did it, but they're so easy to break. Watch. Whoops. Um, very creative though. I'm still trying to become that girl, and I can't be that girl without an aesthetic mirror, so I'm gonna paint mine. First, I'm taping it. It's supposed to look like a portal, so I'm doing three sections. First section will be pale blue. It's not going back now. Okay, that's cute. That's actually cute. Wait, yeah, next dark blue. I'm gonna try to aesthetically paint this for you guys. It's not working out. I give up. No, I don't. Now I'm peeling the tape off. Um, I don't think I did this right. It's peeling off because I didn't prep it right. What about a nice ombre? I'm gonna peel all the paint off and try this again. Maybe not the same design. Can't wait to see you in part two. And yes, it is 3 a.m. I'm doing it. I'm deep cleaning the laundry room. Viewer discretion advised. Hey, yeah. Oh, there we go. It's basically, it's pretty much, I obviously don't take care of it. First, I gotta get everything out of the laundry room. I'm gonna set everything on the table. Before I do that, I'm taking all the clothes out and putting them away. This is a cool angle. I feel like I'm on the show. So, uh, now that all of that is out, I'm starting to take things off the shelves. It's so dusty and dirty. Okay, so now I'm on my dryer and we're gonna use this multi surface cleaner and I'm just gonna wipe everything down because we just got a letter. We just got a letter. I'm gonna clean the outsides of the washer and dryer. Well, let's see if I can get this. <laughs> Somebody come get her. Wow, this is what it looks like so far. Here's everything I'm gonna use to decorate with. There's still a lot of work to do. I gotta fill the boxes and the jars with the detergent. So I will see you in part two. Fall deep cleaning my closet day four. Since I don't have an actual linen closet, I use these shelves. I bought this first basket to hold my duvets. These two baskets will hold my pillowcases and my fitted sheets. I don't have time for flat sheets, so they ain't got a spot. This gray basket is going to hold my iron and it has a lid so you won't be able to see it. Yeah. On the same shelf, I'm putting cotton rounds and cotton sewabs. I'm also putting makeup wipes here. Literally no point to the shelf, it just looks cute. I rolled up some washcloths and put them in this basket. The next shelves hold my towels. Also, don't be fooled. I bought these towels for three bucks each in hopes you would get inspired by this video. Those are what my towels actually look like. This basket, yay, that used to have a liner in it will hold my toilet paper. Yay, we love Oh my god! Now I'm gonna label them. For the labels, I just tied them to the top of the basket. The last part of the series will be uploaded tonight. No excuses, I'll see you in a sec. Part two, I got different color tape for all the boxes. This room's gonna be pink and I've already done that side, so I just need this one. I have a feeling I'm gonna be here till 3 a.m. Oh well. First row done. This is kind of sad, but I can't wait to set everything up in the new place. I'm putting all the loose lip glosses in this container. I'm so proud of myself. I got rid of a lot of palettes I don't use. These are mine and I kept a pile for my sister. One day I'll wash my makeup brushes, but for now I'm throwing them in here. I'm almost done. I just need the workout drawer. Do I just skip this and start my pantry? Yes. No. Yes. No. See you in part three. Hello. Yo, what up? I'm dropping Hazel off to get surgery. She has a cyst on her head that they have to surgically remove. <laughs> no, we wait. It's 
It's raining. That'd be cute to get her some of her favorite things. I got her this cuddler bed. I just want her to be comfy when we take her home. Got her a new blankie. She loves this material. I don't know how to describe it, but it's super soft and plush. Most of all her toys have names, so this is Spot. And Spot is very cute. Got her a lick mat for yogurt and stuff. For obvious reasons, I had to buy these. This whole thing makes me so sad. And then she's gonna have a cone. A cone. Hi, baby. Yo, what up? Let's restock my house. And be that girl while doing it. Cute place for toilet paper. I mean, gum off. Scent beads. I'm putting my fruit in a sealed container this time. You guys said it would last longer, so I'm gonna try. Raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, and strawberries. Honestly, I never buy these. I just really wanted to... Do that. Wow. Flour. I always make the biggest mess. It's not even funny. Chunky Chips Ahoy, microwave them for 10 seconds. Look at this masterpiece. Beautiful. Capri Sun because I'm addicted. Cucumbers and grappas. Now I'm just restocking the lemons for my lemonade bar. Toilet wand refills. That's it for now. Next I gotta restock my beauty room and clean it because it's a mess. You know how a while back I reorganized my entire bathroom? My skin? Feels so dry. I clearly don't have the right product, so I need to try something else. I'm gonna try Olay's body wash and rinse off body conditioner. Growing up, all my mom ever used was Olay. She still uses it, and she is so soft. Goodbye, dry skin. I'm so excited. This stuff smells amazing. This, I still believe. It's time for the body conditioner. Wow, so far so good. I'm gonna see how I feel tomorrow. This is only one week later. My skin feels so renewed and hydrated. Yo, yes, I think I found the one. Still trying to become that girl and i can't be that girl without an aesthetic mirror my old one broke r.i.p but i have a better idea for the new one and that's what i keep telling myself this might go so bad I've never seen a poster board this big but i have to tape them onto the mirror now i'm chasing the mirror and then i'll draw my design okay here it is this could be so good as long as i don't mess it up i have to cut this as carefully as possible i messed up i'm done never mind we're good I'm laying down the tarp because it's gonna get messy now i'm gonna spray it with this liquid foam stuff i have to do this so carefully this is gonna be my first <laughs> like, i think i got the hang of it ready I need more foam. Okay, I'm back. I need to fill it in more because I'm going to sand it down when it's done. Finally done. I'm going to let this dry. There is still so much I have to do, especially with those buckets. So see you in part two. I've got to try this. Grab some strawberries. Wash them and cut the tops off. Now cut out the middle so they look like strawberry cups. This part is optional. You can cut the bottoms off so they stand up. Set those aside. Grab a bowl. You'll need eight ounces of cream cheese, half a cup of powdered sugar, and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix everything together. I'm going to get some help because I can't do it with one hand. It's going to look something like this when you're done. Put some graham crackers in a Ziploc bag and crush them. You can also use a cup if you don't have a rolling pin, a food processor, or a blender. Put that in a bowl and start filling your strawberries with the filling. I'm using a cereal spoon because I haven't done dishes. Please observe. There you go. Dip the strawberry into the graham cracker like that. And now you know how to make strawberry cheesecake bites. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is really good. Wow. Part two, let's take them out of the freezer. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. She's gonna love them. I'm gonna store them in a mason jar. These are the cutest dog treats I've ever seen. Just set everything up. Let's see if she likes her treats. Ready? Okay. It. She's very gentle when she eats, so she's not gonna take a big bite out of it. Let's see if she likes the watermelon one. Yep. <laughs> she's so cute. Girl, high five. <laughs> Time to open presents. It's a look. Go through it. Toy. Oh my gosh, she's so happy right now. <laughs> get it out, baby. Oh my gosh, I gotta open these for you. What else did you get? A mini pool. <laughs> Here you go, baby. Happy birthday. I've gotten a lot of requests asking me to make a smoothie, so I'm going to show you how to make my favorite breakfast smoothie. I'm going to grab my Magic Bullet cup. This is the taller one. I just filled it a third of the way with ice. Two scoops of the Super Greens powder, which is about a half a tablespoon. One scoop of protein powder. Now I just stuff it with a whole bunch of greens. Add in half a banana and freeze the other half for next time. Fill the cup halfway with almond milk and the rest with cold water. And we're blending! Yeah, blending! And that is it. Wow. Let me know if you want to see more smoothie recipes. Also, I am filming part five as we speak. As you can see, there's paint all over my hands and fingers. I tried to wash it off, but it didn't come off. Redecorating my living room part six. I found a rug. Not that one, that one. And I found everything else to finish this today. It's a gray and white rug from Ikea. I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'll just have to show you. Staying Jerem? I don't know, but it's perfect. Now I'm going to work on the two sides. I found these at TJ Maxx. I know they're for plants, but I'm going to use them for my lamps. Yes, 
I think it looks so much better higher up. Now I can decorate in front of it. I got this at Home Goods. I'm adding this plant because it makes me feel like I'm on vacation, and that's basically the theme of this whole living room. I'm debating whether I should paint this or buy a whole separate planter. We'll see. Now I'm adding this thing, and I ordered a small blanket to put on top of this to break the colors up. That's it for the right half. I did the same thing on the left side, and I'm adding this basket for blankets. I like to roll my blankets up before I put them in. Ah, so cute. They look like gray cinnamon rolls. I can finally start decorating the TV stand. I'm leaving this over here. Everything is Love Island inspired. I have a problem. Somebody watch it with me. I also got some fairy lights to put into each of these. I'm doing a separate reveal video this time because last time I didn't have enough time to show you my room. But at least you'll be able to see what it looks like during the day and nighttime. I will see you tomorrow. I'm freaking out. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Some of you may know I work at a call center. I quit my freaking job. I quit my freaking job. I'm unemployed. Here's my equipment. I'm about to turn it in. I'm going to put these on one last time. I quit my job. I know. I'm going to do my call center voice one last time. <clears throat> Hi, thank you for calling blah blah blah. My name is Kelly. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with today? What's that? You're being rude for no reason? And you're attacking me personally? Ba 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 ba. All seriousness, this is probably one of the best jobs I've ever had. I made so many good friends. If you're watching this, by the way, I'm going to miss you so much. And good luck, because some of those customers are just bad, just crazy. Oh my God, like, all I've ever known was working for somebody like... I did not think in a million years I'd be able to, like, work myself and have, like, the biggest support system. Hold on! Let me compose myself! <laughs> Hi, I'm Kelly, and I work social media full-time now. This is all because of you, so thank you so much for making my dreams come true. Wow! Starbucks, congratulations on 50 years, and cheers to many more. They also gave me this really cute gift box that I will be keeping for the rest of my life. Um, let's open it. It did come with this cup, a note with a gift card in it medium roast coffee beans and a hot cup it's so cute thank you starbucks and happy 50 years yo what up i'm gonna make a disney gift basket and give it to someone random i'm gonna put everything in a backpack but i can't decide this one or that now i'm trying to find the donut ears it took me an hour but i found them now let's go to starbucks okay the line's way too long i'm gonna get this hat so cute lollipop beach towel why not now i'm gonna pick out some pins you know start someone's collection little mermaid also there's a duck ricky star wars mystery pin set favorite one of the castle look how cute mermaid hand sanitizers oh my gosh they're so cute i to get one for me too also i love how i'm just on the floor. this pen got this lanyard now i'm gonna fill the backpack this view right here is so aesthetic oh my now i need to find someone to go give this to hi um so i'm filming a tiktok where i just made this gift basket and i'm giving it to someone random so i'm just gonna give this to you that worked out perfect she was actually a fan so that was great i literally love you if you're watching this okay yo what up i'm back time to restock the pantry first popcorn Saw this on Pinterest, it's so cute. Cereal. Dried fruit. Rice. So scared, okay, flour. Sugar. Now I'm gonna fill the snacks. Please enjoy this ice marble honey bubble. Look how cute the pasta looks. Running out of time, this is it. I love it so much. I can actually see everything. Yo, what up? Anyone else feel like cups I've been giving grandma's couch? Karen's kitchen towels? Casino floor. Until today, look how cute these are. These ones color change. Let me get some ice. Okay, what? The water looks blue. And red. Well, found the triangle cup. I'm actually going to use it. This one looks like a disco ball. It's so cute. This one is so cute until you turn it around. I'm going to keep it facing forward. This one's my favorite right now. The straw, the texture, everything. Look at this masterpiece. It's beautiful. This reminds me of the Very Very Hibiscus Refresher. Summer 2023, maybe. Please bring it back. I got this one in Florida. It's perfection. Lastly, this one, the straw. Oh my god. And this one. Eee, it's so cute. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm going to put everything away. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. I don't even know what Stony Clover Lane is, but I saw an ad for it before it dropped and I had to go get it because I mean, come on. First, this cooler. Yeah. Kelly, you need me. And that's why I bought it. Dog toy leash and bandana for Hazel. Okay, hold on. I think she likes it. This cute paddle set. I found these patches and duffel bag. I'm going to put them on right now. There we go. I got to just stick them on. Oh my gosh. Wait. Now I'm doing cherries for the fifth time. I can't get it centered. I feel like it's. I think I got it. I don't know. But, anyways, I got this bag too. It's so cute. Next, this clear backpack and a beach bag. Sandals and a beach towel. Lastly, these cups. The straws are heart shaped. And I got a charm set. I feel like I need a new routine. I can't keep doing this. I don't understand how the time changes so fast. Like, I feel like I've only been standing here for a minute. That's probably my sign to go. Yo, what up? I made it to Vegas for my birthday. So let's set up the hotel room. First, I'm laying out my makeup. Isn't this bag so cute? You can actually hang it up. Forever 21. Don't know if they sell it anymore, but if they do, you need one. Anytime I travel, these are my makeup must -haves. Also, there's a whole bench in the shower. I just bumped into that and now my hair is wet. I was gonna say, I don't think I've ever had a hotel room this big. I'm very proud of myself. The only clothes I packed are in here. I'm an overpacker, so this feels very off. This is us. <laughs> 
organizing my makeup and skincare, I kind of just put everything on the floor so I can start fresh. I have an idea of what's going in each drawer, but I don't know how I'm going to organize it, so let's see what I come up with. This drawer is going to be my lip and lash drawer. I've been waiting so long to unbox these and put these on display. I got these frosted trays from Target, and I'm using them to organize my lip glosses. You know those lashes that you can wash and reuse a couple of times? I never know what to do with them after the first use. At Home Goods, I found this pack of three trays that come with the lid, and I'm just going to store them in here. This is what the front of the drawer looks like. I still can't believe that Too Faced sent me my first makeup PR box. <laughs> storing all of my makeup palettes in this drawer and I'm going to organize them by using these palette organizer things. I'm putting the most aesthetically pleasing palettes in the front and instead of having them stand up like this, I'm using this container to hold them at a slanted angle. And as you can see, I have an addiction to BoxyCharm. Well, this is what the front looks like. But how am I already out of time? I just talk too much. Let's be real, I'll probably end up finishing this around 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, so I'll see you in part 2. I'm getting my nails done. Couldn't decide between these two, so I asked you guys on Instagram and this one was. They're so cute! I'm just going to hope for the best. I picked out all the colors except yellow and green, and I was called complicated. I'm so confused. I'm done. She kept burning me with the drill, and every time I would be like, oop, or ow, she would look at me and laugh. I, I can't make this stuff up. They cut me with the drill. Trigger warning. I'm going to show you that. Look at that. Like, ow? It was bleeding earlier. Maybe she was nervous? There was a girl next to me watching her laugh at me. Girl. Anyways, here's what we have so far. They had a mustard yellow and a lime green. I tried to see if they can mix white in it to make it look more pastel, and it just looked like caca, so I told her I would do these on my own. I'm gonna mix these two colors with white. Well, wish me luck. Okay, okay. Never mind, it was way too clumpy. No cute nails for Kelly, I guess. At this point, I'll go somewhere else, and I'll post a picture of them when they're done on my Instagram. First thing in the morning, because I'm not staying like this. Yo, what up? I'm gonna go last minute Christmas shopping for Courtney, so if you're watching this, please stop. She doesn't even know. We don't have Duncan where I live, so I'm getting this, that, and that. Oh, they're out of the cream. Now I'm gonna get some gift wrap. I'm thinking this one and this one. Still have to organize everything because, uh, yeah. It's giving Valentine's Day, but let's just say candy cane. Yeah, candy cane vibes. I like that better. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Grab a bowl, pour in a big bag of m ms add in two eggs. I'm just trusting the process. And one bag of vanilla cake mix. I broke my whisk, so I'm just using this giant fork. I found this recipe on Pinterest, and it was just a video, so instructions were not included. So I'm on my own from here, I guess. I just don't see this going well for me. So let's preheat to about 350. That sounds about right. I'm just gonna leave it in here for like 10 to 15 minutes. That was 15 minutes, and I'm hoping the bottom didn't burn. Wow! Now just cut it in a circle, and now you know how to make a cookie cake. Let's try it. It looks good. Look at that. Mm. Okay, here we go. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's so good. Yo, what up? Got a package in the mail from Courtney. It's only open because I had to rip off her address. This is a swap and I have no idea what's in here. The only thing I do know is that our theme was pink, so whatever's in here is pink. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's a note! This is so cute. I'm just thinking about the note I gave you. It's not as cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't even know where to start. I'm probably gonna say cute a lot. Oh, <gasps> this is so soft. Yeah, it's my favorite lip oil. A surprise ball. Let me open it real quick. You're supposed to unwind it and I got this little fortune. Yeah. <sighs> Oh my god, this is actually really fun. So far I've gotten a tattoo and this pocket crystal ball. Nice. Next we have some Oreos. <gasps> yes! Thank goodness, I've been eating some of these. Truffles, I've never had this flavor. Ooh, there's something inside. This is so cute, they're erasers. I'm taking some of this out. Crayon lip smackers. This mask is so cute. This is everything so far. The box is still really heavy. I'm running out of time, so part two will be up in like five minutes. Part 5 of the mystery box Daniela sent me. Wanted to do a close-up of all the candy she sent me. Like, look at these! Cocktail gummies and a cocktail lollipop. Some Lucas powder candy. I used to get these from the ice cream truck when I was little. Kool-Aid, Warheads, soda candy. Oh my gosh! These are so good. Next is this. It's wrapped so cute. It's a cocktail shaker set with the little umbrellas and the freaking cactuses. Some fruit discs. Kool-Aid gummies. Some more sour belts. And this Christmas tree racer. It's so cute. Oh, it's for your pencil! I knew it. I knew you were gonna go for the ball. <laughs> Excuse me, she be <laughs> No, you can't have that. That one's not for you. Girl, thank you so much for everything. And again, show her some love at Candy Boulevard because, oh, she got some good candy. Oh my gosh, I just can't stop looking at everything. This is just so sweet. 
So I saw these at Target and they reminded me of a very small inconvenience that I have every time I do my makeup. Let me just show you. So they're these things and they stick onto your mirror. Let me just clean the mirror really quick. They're really weird. There's no adhesive on them, but they stick. Just like that. Like what? This is how I have mine set up. I'm gonna reenact what happens to me all the time. Disregard the fact that these are all dirty. So I go in and I use a makeup brush. It's clean, I use it, it's dirty, put it back. I end up having to wash all of them at the end of the week because I can't remember which ones are clean or dirty, especially the darker ones. Now when I'm done using them, the dirty ones will have their own spot. I'm using the smaller ones to hold beauty blenders. And when you're done washing the brushes, boom you hang them to dry it gets better this thing holds your beauty blender when you're not using it wow it's like a whole system like hold on let me back up like that's cute it's the little things i do at 3 a.m good night <laughs> I have to restock random things around my house. Starting with scent beads. You guys talked me out of getting another dog. I really want Hazel to have a little sister. But still, talk me out of it. More laundry stuff. Cereal. Moment of truth. <gasps> Whoa, that's cool. Next, my bathroom drawer. That's pretty much it. Next, I'm organizing and restocking my car. It's so bad. Oh my gosh, look at my hand. It's so swollen and stiff, I can't fully straighten it, so I'm kind of scared, but... If you want a story time or an update like this to so let me know, I am going to be taking it easy today and answering questions. When I record, I just use my phone. I don't have, like, a fancy camera or anything, and I even use my phone for YouTube videos. For lighting, if I'm going to film anything in this room, I just use my vanity lights, and then sometimes I'll use my box lights. Bam, there they are. I got these, like, three years ago. They're either the Mount Dog ones or the Limo Studio ones. I can't remember. I get my bulbs from Amazon as well. That's the wattage in case you want to buy them. This is the tripod I use. I love this tripod so much. I got it at Best Buy. I love it because you can adjust the height and it's so easy to use for my recipe videos this is the kitchen i use and this is the counter i film on google change lights to ivory i use the phillips hue lights in my kitchen for the lighting and i always use filter f1 and that's how i'm able to get my recipe videos to look like this I always keep an extension cord around and if i want color in the background of my videos i use this thing got it off of amazon you can change it to literally any color you want using this dial and that's it Yo, what up? I'm trying this again. This time I'm doing a Halloween theme. I'm putting tape around the edges so the glitter doesn't go everywhere. I'm gonna try and do a green and black ombre, so wish me luck. First layer done, now I'm mixing green and black. I'm on the last layer, this looks so cool. I just discovered something, so if you go like this, it makes these little swirls. Oh my god. I wanna seal them at the same time, so I'm working on the orange one now. I'm so excited. To seal the hole, I'm using cabinet bumpers. I have my nail lamp, now I'm pouring UV resin on the top, like that, kind of. It says to leave it on for 60 seconds, so I'm just gonna lay it on the top like that and kind of balance it, oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, dude. They're so cute. Hi guys, so I just got a package from the American Influencer Awards and kind of freaking out. This is so crazy. I was nominated for Lifestyle Influencer of the Year for 2022. I just wanted to come on here and thank you guys so much. I wouldn't be able to do any of this without you and <laughs> just freaking out. I don't even know how to like make words right now voting ends august 31st you can vote every single day and i would truly appreciate your vote i keep doing this just because i'm just so excited i just want to jump around <laughs> thank you so much i love you um link will be in my bio i'll be in the lifestyle category just scroll all the way down and don't forget to vote for all your favorite creators too okay love you. spring cleaning part four the pantry part three i got the buckets and i filled them let's put them in oh yeah i also picked up this really cute woven basket i'm gonna be putting waters in it Okay, room temperature water or ice cold water is the question. So I bought these chalk labels and a chalk marker and we're gonna start labeling the gray boxes. A -A -A. <laughs> all done, my favorite is saucin for all the sauces. This is the last one. <gasps> wow! I have a lot more to label, but I wanna fill the containers first. I got these cute jars at Walmart for five bucks and I'm gonna be filling it with flour and sugar. Oh gosh, here we go. They are so cute. I also got one for cookies. We're going to be doing Chips Ahoy for this one. Now I need to find a place for my pre-workout. I'm thinking about emptying that bottom shelf there. And then put all the cereal into the containers and label them. And then I will be done. I will see you surprisingly really soon. This is one of my 3 a.m. purchases. This is already, I feel like this is going to be a series. It's such a problem. But I'm going to try and make a break of a heart. I bought some colored chocolate. I'm going to start out with these black sprinkles. And I need to figure out a way to make swirls. I'm moving them around with this popsicle stick. And I think that's good enough. I bumped it. Let me try this again. Now I'm going to melt the chocolate. I'm doing pink, white, purple, and blue. I'm mixing them after every 30 seconds until they melt. I'm so 
so excited. I hope this works. So I'm going to put some white over here. And now the blue. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just putting it in random spots. Now we have pink. I'm just going to kind of throw it around. Now I'm just going to cover everything else in the purple. Like that. Gosh, no. I'm kind of regretting this decision. Let's just hope this comes out okay. <laughs> but at this point, all I can do is trust the process. I'm going to leave it in the fridge overnight to make sure it completely hardens. I will see you in the morning for part two. Deep cleaning my nail cart because it's so bad right now. I'm just going to start by taking everything off the cart. <laughs> wow. Okay. The first shelf is done. Let's see how long this takes me. It's about one o'clock right now. The second shelf is done. Oh my gosh. Wow. Now I'm just going to wipe it down with the Lysol with hydrogen peroxide. This smells so good. <laughs> There's so much dust. I took everything out of the bins. Now I'm going to disinfect them with barbicide wipes. My setup is pretty much staying the same. I'm putting my most used products up top. I'm still keeping my nail tips and dual forms on this side. Um, wow. I forgot to mention I wiped all the little stuff with barbicide too. I'm finally on the last shelf and it's three o'clock. Are you ready? Bam. Oh. My. God. Woo. Let's restock my mini fridge, but first I gotta clean it because... <laughs> I'm gonna use Scotch Brite's Advanced Scrub Dots Non-Scratch Scrubbers and some soap and water to give it a good deep clean. I dropped chamoy paste so it's super sticky, but look how easy it is to clean. And then use the other side, and it's gone. Literally, like, what? Next, I'm using Scotch Brite's One Step Disinfectant and Cleaner. It literally does five things all at once. So much better. Now let's stock it. Water. Starbucks caramel macchiato and pomegranate juice, blackberries and pomegranate seeds, rapas, pickles, Capri Sun, and that's basically it. It's so clean. Also, if you want to try One Step and the Advanced Scrub Dots, you can find them at Amazon or Walmart. Yo, what up? I just got back from a hiking trip. I'm feeling fit. Not the point. I have to unwrap, <laughs> unwrap, unpack all of my stuff. But first, I'm opening a box that TikTok sent me. I always feel so appreciated. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. As you can see, I'm opening it a little late. Oops. But I have forever florals. Oh my god. Oh my god. Aww, so cute. It says they last up two years, so I'm keeping them on my vanity. A mirror and a pop socket. Hey, I love it. It's so perfect. So you pull a card and follow what it says, and this really means a lot to me. Like, look at the kind of cards that they have. Each night before bed, remind yourself of something great you did today. Like, this is so nice, and there's so many more of those. Again, thank you, TikTok, and to everyone who put this kit together. You did amazing. Do you guys want to know how ridiculous I pack? Let me know, and we'll unpack it together. Organizing my makeup and skincare part two, I'm going to start to fill the drawers with these containers. I'm going to clean the drawer really quick because there's a bunch of dust everywhere. I'm doing two of the larger containers from Target in each corner. And I'm putting five of the smaller ones in between. Oh man, <laughs> yikes. I think the best way to do this is to put everything in little piles and then put it in the drawer. Okay, I made some progress. These are my little piles. The first container is going to hold my face palettes. This one will be for highlighters. I actually like the way they look if I stand them up like this. So cute. This one will hold blush, powdered bronzer, cream and liquid bronzer, setting powder, baking powder. This area is kind of all jumbled up, so it's just powder area, I guess. As I learn more about makeup and try different brands, I'll be able to fill the back of the shelf. But for now, wow, I love the way it looks. In the next one, I just spaced out five of the larger containers. The first one is for tinted moisturizer. BB and CC cream, full coverage and stuff I want to try, powder foundation, blur sticks, and concealer. I still need to fill these and my whole skincare and lifestyle section. I'll see you in part part two. I'm going to try to make spackle art for the wall above my bed. Should I do this in the garage? Yes. No. Yes. Covered the couch so it's fine, I hope. I drew up my design so I don't mess up. Now I'm supposed to mix this. hope I don't mess this up. Okay. It's flat. It's actually really fun. Okay, now I'm going to use this to make the wave. I almost fell on this corner. I'm going to hurry and do the top now. I feel like I'm decorating a cake. Okay, this will turn white when it dries. I'm going to work on the second one now. Let's look past the dump site I just made and look how cute these are. <laughs> now I'm gonna let them dry before I paint them, so yeah, I'll be right back. Fall cleaning part, I don't even know anymore, the closet. Your discretion advised, hey, yeah! <laughs> this is horrible! <laughs> but it's fixable! <laughs> First, I'm gonna start by taking everything out of the closet. I cleared my office space, so everything is temporarily going here, on the floor. I'm starting with the floor first. Sorry if you see anything embarrassing, everybody has chonies, okay? This will be load number five. The floor's done, now I have to take out all of this stuff. First, I'm going to do a load of laundry. I use a fourth of a cup of detergent and put it into this little compartment. Next, I use the blue downy and put it into here. Cheers. I don't even know why I said that. Next, I use these scent booster beads and I sprinkle them all over. Laundry booster. I know it's a lot, but this is how I get my clothes to smell so good. And lastly, some laundry sanitizer. I wish I had one of those fancy washing dryers, the ones with like the touch screen, but this will do. This is great. This does the job. Back to the closet. I'm going to start with the top section. <laughs> I am over it. 
period. This shelf is now cleared. There you go. <sighs> I knew this was gonna take a while. I'll be back. Usually I can explain. This time I can't. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. Look how cute this is. I can't. I cannot. It comes apart just like the real cut. Just like the real cut. I got two of the icy white sets because I'm planning a giveaway. I found this dark green gridded cup. It reminds me of grass. Okay, I'm just gonna go quick. <laughs> I had to get two just in case one broke. Everyone's calling this one the jeweled cup. I got it in peach and dark green. Pink and black and green water bottle. Dark green stainless steel. This is a color changing cup. I'm not sure what color it changes into, but... Both of them. Couldn't find this one in a venti, so I went with Grande. Stainless steel one, as you turn it, it changes colors. Same with this one and the straw. <laughs> Try not to get Grandes, but this one reminded me of candy cane. Never seen one like this before. This one is a mixture of those two put together. What? I'm running out of time. Those two. Looks bad in a mess, but it's a sorted mess. So this is my pile, which is probably really bad. But this is for gifts and some giveaways I'm planning. Yolo. Follow me. <laughs> I'm gonna try and organize under the kitchen sink. Okay, first I'm taking everything out. Now I'm gonna fill the mini drawers with all the small stuff. This one's gonna hold sink cleaning stuff. Magic erasers, scrub daddies. I have to put them in like this or they won't fit. Dishwasher pods. Next, please. And cleaning sponges on the side. I'm excited about this one. It's a cup cleaning drawer. Lastly, cleaning rags. And trash bags. Now I'm going to put the drawers back in the cabinet. I'm putting four on this side. And the other four like this so I can stack cleaners on top. Putting a few more on this side in this bucket. Lastly, a section for lotion because I always keep it by my sink. This looks so good. I actually want to clean now. If only the rest of my house could look like this. But if it did, I wouldn't have a TikTok. So I really want to start Christmas decorating. So guess what the next video is going to be? Redecorating my living room part four. I finally figured out the couch and pillow situation, so I'm keeping this blanket. She's not happy I tried to move her. <laughs> now to give it a good butt crack, I decided to keep the black pillow and I bought another one. I'm keeping the pillow I found at Walmart and I took your advice. Bam! Pattern. This is an outdoor pillow from Target. It's so cute and it was only 10 bucks. Okay, just pretend the mess isn't there. Right? Right? This is so cute. I want to start working on the walls and the ceilings, but the stuff I ordered to finish it isn't getting here until Tuesday, technically tomorrow, but I'm going to show you what's in this box instead. I got it at Ikea for $30 and I do have to build it. Let me just show you what it is. So instead of having this or having your shoes on the floor, bam, times two. Look at this. Ah! Oh, they're kind of messy. There we go. Ah! Nobody's going to know. I can't stop doing this. It's fun. <laughs> I'm almost done finding decorations for this area. So far I found this. Isn't it so cute? It's just going to go right there. Yikes. It's like three o'clock in the morning. Well, I'm going to film a haul in a few hours and then I'm going to film part five. So I'll see you in part five. See I'm going to try to become that girl, but I need an aesthetic night routine. So let's plan one out. First, hydrate. I don't have any more lemons. I'm going to make a cute snack to post to my Instagram. First, add yogurt and flatten it out. Clean the edges. Now just add some fruit and make it look cute. And granola. I like this one. I'm getting ready for my that girl shower. So I'm laying my PJs out on my bed. This stuff, so good. I always start with my hair. I use Olaplex once a week. And Moroccan oil every day. This is my favorite hair mask right now. Now I'm gonna grab a clean washcloth, body wash. It's hard to film and shower at the same time. I'm literally not even doing it. I'm gonna do it after. Yep. Now I'm gonna exfoliate. This stuff is so good. I feel like it works better when you use the glove. Time to shave. This is the best for getting dead skin off your feet. Body conditioner. Now I'm actually going to shower. I'll be right back. Lotion. More lotion. Double cleanse. If it's not image skincare, I'll still like it, but not as much. This scrub, it's giving a Mike Wazowski, but we like that. Man. Oh my goodness, this is a lot of work. I forgot toner. We'll try again next time. Serum. So aesthetic. Finally, eye cream and moisturizer. Glossy. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Always tap your toothbrush for good luck. My hair is basically dry. I'm going to put it up with this towel scrunchie. Now I'm just getting more water. Okay, so <laughs> You didn't make it. She does this every night. Here's your ice cube. I don't have a humidifier, but I do have a book. And I'm going to watch Love Island. I'm probably not going to sleep until 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, but I did it. Anyways, next step, an aesthetic morning routine. I'm gonna reset my whole bathroom while I'm gonna try. I'm turning it into a glow spa. First, I'm taking everything out. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got it. I'm gonna cry. I wasn't ready for this bucket. <laughs> new year, new me. Right? Look at this. <laughs> Stop. Now, time for the aesthetic part of the video. It is so echoey in here. Okay, this spray is broken. I'm trying to make this look aesthetic, but it's not working out. That took me 10 hours. That is not okay. But at least I'm done. Kind of. I still have the decorate. Got a new shower head, by the way. This is not it. It's this one. I'm so excited because it has mist. But anyways, this is everything I'm going to decorate with. So I'll see you in part two. My mom got me this box. It's kind of heavy and I have no idea what's in it. So let's open it. I hope this isn't payback for the lip filler break. I'm so scared. If it's a bug, I will send mountains to your house. My mom has a phobia of mountains. Okay. <laughs> okay wait, wait. Gift wrap and everything. Mm. This is a cup I've been wanting and I missed out on. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm pretty sure I know what the rest of these are. She got me the Cosmo and Wanda cup I've been wanting. I can't. These are all the cups I missed out on last year. They're so perfect. A black and gold one. And the red stainless steel. I'm gonna go put them on my shelf right now. Thank you, mom.
Okay, you guys are gonna kill me. Um, I found a few more. We have the gridded pink and blue cup. It looks like a disco ball. Look at the straw. And I found the red and purple one. Look how cute they're sisters. I found the confetti cup. <laughs> my gosh oh my gosh wow i also got one that has swirls on it i just want to say that this makes me happy it just makes me happy oh i don't know what i've done but this just it makes me happy for some reason grab a bowl i broke all of mine and i broke my nails but this will work add in two cups of heavy whipping cream whisk it and it should look like this when you're done now add in one cup of condensed milk and a fourth of a cup of sour Kool-Aid. Mix it. Zang! It's so pretty. Put it in a squeeze bottle or a Ziploc bag. Grab a pan and some parchment paper and start making little dots. It's gonna be tedious, but that's not a dot. Okay, one second. Ow, 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 ow. Put it in your freezer for a few hours. I'm putting the rest of it in this ice cream container I got at Target. And now we wait. Okay, it's been a few hours. And they're done. Well, I feel like I should have made more. Now you know how I attempted to make dots which are now called Dippin' Dots. Okay, here we go. Mm -mm. Getting my nails done, I can't decide between this one or this one. This is the closest I'll get to a bee theme because I'm actually pretty afraid of them. Or this one. Ah! Well, that didn't go well. Here they are, I guess. Okay, well, long story short, I'm gonna try and fix them myself. Day, I went somewhere else. The nail tech was like, who did your nails? Because there was extra acrylic all along my- oh, it was so bad. I just went with what I had before. I just want one set person to go to. So if you're a nail tech, DM me. If you're ever up at 3 o'clock in the morning, hit me up. I'll be awake. Here's another one of those purchases. It's a retro milkshake maker. Let me show you the best milkshake combo. I like to do about four scoops of ice cream. One banana. It says to blend it, so I just smashed it with a fork. The amount of milk depends on how thick you want it. I'm just doing half a cup. And some crushed Oreos. I just realized I've been yelling this entire time. I'm sorry. Nothing beats a milkshake at 1 o'clock in the morning, though. Okay, you're supposed to, like, clip it onto here. I'm so excited. I hope this works. <laughs> okay, I even got... Ooh. I even got a cute milkshake cup. Let's pour it in. Ooh, it's kind of clumpy. I'm adding some whipped cream and some Oreos on top. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Let's try it. I already know what this tastes like because I make it all the time, but let's talk texture. Okay. Oh, this is good. It's really, really thick is what I mean. <laughs> I need to go to bed. Part two, let's take it out of the mold. I'm so excited. I didn't realize that this is royal blue. I thought it was dark purple. What? I was reading the comments and I guess I didn't read the bag, but why does it still look purple to me? But okay, I'm just starting here. Oh my God. I'm going to be so sad if this breaks. Oh, the sprinkles didn't stick. Please, 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 please. <gasps> okay. It doesn't look like a galaxy yet. Let me try putting on the edible glitter spray. I hope this works. Let's see. <laughs> Well, I tried. It's not horrible. It's, you know, it's pretty bad. I can't find the little hammer, so I'm going to break it with this. <laughs> oh, so cool. Wow. I'm so excited. Look what I got in the mail. I got a PR package from Lush, so I'm going to do a haul. Let me know if you guys like PR hauls, and I will do more. This is the little note they gave me. They're so cute. There are so many things, so I'm going to go fast, starting off with the bubble bars. This is Elsie the giraffe. Strawberry foam. Apple crumble. It literally smells like an apple. Light bulb moment. The great wave. Silver lining. It's a cloud. This would look so dope in the tub. I couldn't find the name to this one. Puppy love. The honey pot. Miss whippy. Castle in the cloud. Now we have all the ones in brown bags. This one is called twilight. I think this is seaweed. That's cool. Matcha roll. Rainbow 2020. This is a bubble stick. It's called Mallow Drama. The rest of these are bath bombs. This one is called Dynamite. I've never seen anything like this. Frozen. Bubble and squeak? Question mark? Should we test it? Eclipse. And Ahoy. Lush! Thank you so much. I love everything I could literally cry. Thank you. I'm still trying to become that girl, so I bought a gym bag. Let's fill it. I don't even go to the gym. I work out at home. That's my drawer. But oh, first a water bottle. It's my favorite color right now. A squat band. This works really well. Waist trimmer. This jump rope. Found this really cute case. In here, I'm keeping smaller things like tampons, chapstick, hair ties. It's gonna go in the front pocket. Booty bands. Sweat towel, you know. Headband that you tie. Deodorants. Hairbrush. I found another pocket, by the way. There's a side pocket, and I'm putting hand sanitizer in here. Resistance band. Ankle weights, maybe? I don't know. And AirPods. And a tripod. And a protein bar. Dry shampoo. A change of clothes. I'm just kidding. Well, actually, I don't know. Okay, I think that's...
I'm gonna try to make an aesthetic wreath or just a wreath. What is this even called? I don't even, anyway, so first I need to figure out how to get it on, like, stuck onto here. Just finished tying the Gorland around the middle part, now I need to do the outside. Now I'm gonna spray it with fake snow. <gasps> I'm actually gonna put the pine cones on first. Okay, just trust the process, I'm gonna- <laughs> Now I'm gonna put the ornaments on, I went with gray, clear, and gray. Bought a bunch of hooks for nothing. It's so much easier to just tie them onto the pine needle thing. <laughs> okay, let's hang it up. It's not even for my front door, it is for my room. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. So you walk in, bam, like. Yo, what up? I just woke up. Broke off all my nails last night, so I'm getting them done tomorrow. Can't decide what I want, so I'm gonna let the top comment choose for me. I forgot I bought these, so let's open them because I'm freaking bored. I'm looking for Lunchables and Capri Sun if they have. Okay, that's a shopping cart. What is this? Not a Lunchable. Nope. No, but the baby bell is really cute. I refuse to do a part two. Speed round. No. Nope. 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 Kool-Aid. That's close enough. Come on, Lunchable. How many times am I gonna get this one? Nope. No. This is my last one. Come on, I just want a little Lunchable. Nope. Things are not looking <laughs> Okay, well, all that for nothing. Well, Kool-Aid. My sister is really crafty, so I'm gonna give them to her and see what she makes. Let's restock the guest bathroom. Skincare first, I'm putting it on this thing. This is gonna be the shower bar. Sol de Janeiro. And Frenchie. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Next shop's gonna have Olaplex. Anyway. Last shop is kinda random. Yeah, moving on. Found these drawers for under the sink. Extra hair stuff. Stuff to shave with. Makeup, you never know. Lastly, gentle stuff and more skincare. This is kind of how it's gonna be laid out. Perfume in case they forgot. I'm also putting these bags here in case they want to take any minis. Substick deodorant, free hood scrub, mini bath salts, help cute loofahs, and bath bombs. Let's ignore the no decorations or shower curtains. This looks so good. I'm so proud of myself. This looks amazing. Pause on spring cleaning. Let's go shopping instead. I get easily distracted. Found a cotton candy machine. Blue raspberry and pink vanilla. Pink prime, yes please. Home good. This is so cute to put homemade drinks in. Hazel's getting a s'more and campfire. This is cute. Found this, I really need it. Now I'm at five below, look how cute. Yep, getting this. Pinata for Hazel's birthday. Went to Ikea for new sheets so I can do this. My bed's pink now, I love it. Also got this new stuffed animal. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Doing another giveaway, so that's what everything else is for. Still have to get a few more things. So I'll be back in the morning or tonight, depending on if I can find everything else I need. But anyways, I'm so excited. Decorating my room part four. Coughing <laughs> helps my voice a little bit. Anyways, part four. Decorating my room. My voice! Okay, I'm just gonna whisper. I bought a few things to add. First, these LED lights. I'm gonna put them on this wall. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. I also put one on my bathroom door. I drank some tea. My voice is feeling a little bit better. I'm gonna build this chair I got on Amazon. I'm screaming. I didn't realize how, sm <laughs> how small this was until it came in the mail. I basically, just bought a chair for my dog. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I also got this really cute side table. Look how cute this candle is. It's my birthday month. I like to celebrate my birthday all month long. It's horrible. I'm adding a self-care jar because I'm sick. Snacks. This turned into a different video. And water. Everything is really cute so far. I love it. Especially the door. So cute. Anyways, bye guys. I'm going to sleep. Yo, what up? I've always wanted a boba bar, so I'm going to try and make one. It's also going to be a smoothie bar. I'm so excited. First, I'm filling the mini containers. Forgot to get a funnel, so this is going to be really messy. Next, dragon fruit powder. I paid my Billie Eilish hoodie. I'm going to cry. Matcha. Acai berry powder. Cheese seeds. And hemp seeds. These are going on the bottom. Time for the boba. I'm putting them in these containers. First, lychee, taro, black sugar, and golden tapioca. These are going up here. This looks so good. Now I'm going to fill the bigger ones. I'm so excited for the honeydew mix. Taro, strawberry, and honeydew. This smells so good. Last one's going to have oats for the smoothies. Now I'm going to fill this cute honey jar. Disco drink stir is on this side. That's pretty much it. It's so cute. Next, I'll try and make one. Yo, what up? I was going to try and unpack my room. And Glow Recipe invited me to Malibu, so I'm going to do that instead. Oh my gosh, we're here. This is the table. Oh my god, this beautiful drink. Why do I want my house to look like this now? Wow, the vitamin C eye cream. Oh my god. First course looks good. Dessert is here. I'm so excited. Really good. Watch the view is amazing. Now I'm gonna grab a gift bag. Super cute. Thank you, Glow Recipe. I'm home now. Broke two nails. Time to unpack my filming group. I'm tired. Redecorating my living room part five. All the lights I ordered off of Amazon are finally here. I'm so excited because it's gonna look so good. First I ordered these Philips Hue lights and I found these really cute lamps at Ikea that I'm gonna put them in. I'm putting one at the very top and bottom for each lamp. I am on the floor now. Where is my inhaler? I'll show you the whole thing at the end. It's gonna be worth it. Now I'm gonna work on these LED strip lights. This first box is going behind the TV. I really hope I'm doing this right, especially with the corners. Please tell me there's a better way. You know what? I'm just gonna trust the process. The second box is going behind the TV stand. Oh. My gosh, this is so cool. I told you it was going to be worth it. So all I have to do now is hide all of those cables. Yikes. Then put a rug down and all of my decorations. So I will see you in part six. Oh my goodness. I've been using Olay's collagen body wash and I'm obsessed. They now have a matching collagen hand wash. I'm so surprised to see a hand wash now have a skincare ingredient in it. It's available at Target. Now before I say I'm obsessed, let's try it. so pretty. I love how the pump extends over the bottle. 
that smells amazing. It also has 24 hour moisture, which is so nice because my hands are always so dry. My hands feel so clean and smooth. Let's see how I feel in a week. Good morning. It's day four. I just finished washing my hands and now I'm trying the hand mask. And hand serum. Look how nice this is. Ooh. It's been a week and it's giving moisturized, replenished. I love this. Yo, what up? I used to work at Bed Bath Beyond, and the one thing I loved doing was folding towels. So I'm gonna show you how I fold my towels. At Bed Bath and Beyond, they have these tables with measurements on them. Since I don't have that, I'm just gonna use my hand. First, I fold the bottom up about the size of my hand. <laughs> no! <sighs> I had to give Hazel her own towel and a bone. Anyway, so you take the bottom, you bring it towards you, and you fold it to the top. And then you do the same thing one more time, like that. I'll turn it towards the right and fold it in half like that and then fold it in half one more time and that's it. I normally do this on a table but it's full of stuff right now so I'm gonna have to wash these right after but I just love the way they look when they're folded like this. They're super fluffy. I love it. This is my linen closet and see? I like it. Hi Hazel. Yeah, come. come. You have too many toys. It's partly my fault but still. We need to declutter. Up, ballerina. Good girl. I got a smaller toy bin from Home Goods. Whatever I can't fit in there is gonna get donated. We're definitely keeping this elephant. I'm just gonna put it in there. Yeah. What about this skateboard? Are we keeping it? I'm just gonna slowly put it in there. You're literally, you have, it's not Easter anymore. Okay, can I at least have the bunny? We're getting nowhere. We're for sure keeping your Capri Sun. She's distracted. She loves this pool party toy. Oh, I walked out. Like, okay. No, she loves the bear and raccoon. Keeping Craig. Oh, welcome back, I guess. She's not really into burrow toys anymore. This one has crabs in it. It's so cute, but she doesn't play with them. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I'm just gonna take everything out. Which ice cream cone do you want to keep? Okay, we'll keep that one. Also her favorite, so I'm keeping all of them. Keeping the sunscreen because it's cute. Yay, you did it. High five. Y'all, I hope my mom doesn't see this, but her birthday dinner is in an hour and I forgot to get her a gift. Let's go do that. I did make this cup for her, so I'm going to base the gift off of this. I'll do this gift card. Maybe I'll stick it in the cup. She did say she needed more straws. Some snackies. Okay, let's go to Target. This one and this tissue paper or that one. I think I'm going to go with this one. Okay, I think I found the one. I'm back. Look how cute this is. Okay, I have 20 minutes. Open that. Okay, I'm gonna try to wrap the cup. Oh my god. Wait, this is cute. Straws, snackies, bracelet, card, and gift card. I don't even have a pen. Pinch and shake method. It's so cute. Okay, let's go give it. Grab a mini watermelon. Wash it. Cut it in half long ways. Scrape out the watermelon, eat it, or save it for later. Now grab your favorite fruit. If you're using strawberries or kiwis, cut them in smaller pieces. Set that aside, grab a bowl. Okay, wait. Can we admire how aesthetic that looks? Wow. Add in two cups of room temp water, four packets of unflavored gelatin. If you want to, you can add in a half a cup of sugar. Whisk it together until it's dissolved. Now boil two cups of water. When it's done, pour it into the mixture. <sighs> Bless you. Mix it slowly. It should look like this. Once you've added in a handful of each fruit, layer it with the mixture. Don't fill it with fruit all the way so that you can leave a layer of the mixture on top. Uh, don't mind my contraption, but leave it in the fridge overnight. I film my videos in real time and I'm tired, so I will see you tomorrow morning. I love you. Friend. Also, I think I got gelatin in my belly button. I don't know why I'm telling you that. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. I may be doing a giveaway soon. Just saying, my soul left this earth when I saw this cup. Oh my God. Shout out to the person in front of me who gave me this cup. It's so beautiful. Las Vegas water bottle and tumbler. I'm from there. I had to. And it's so cute. Here's one more thing. This box. Beautiful. I don't know how to feel about the purple dome cup, but it's there. This one is so cute for Halloween. This one. It's giving a decorative pillow. Like, let's go to Barbara's house. This is what you'd see. It's, it's not a bad thing. I love the peach straw. And this one's super pretty. I love them all. I can't wait to display them. Yo, what up? I'm in a hurry, but I'm going to try and decorate before I hit a million subscribers on YouTube. Starting with the cake, I'm just scraping this off. Same with this one. I didn't have time to bake a cake. Put buttercream in a bowl, and now I'm adding food color. Now I'm going to spread it on the cake. I don't know what I'm doing. Put these red sprinkles all over. I already messed up. Fine. Everything's fine. We're just going to go fast. This is so cute. Now I'm going to carefully add white glitter on top. I'm doing one more cake, and it's going to have these sprinkles. Pink border. And I'm using fondant for the eyes and mouth. Can't believe I just pulled that off. These are so cute, especially this one. Anyways, it's my mom's house. This is what we have so far. I'll be here till 3 a.m., so I brought some snacks. This one's going to have MMs. Okay, that was so loud. This one's going to have different types of chips. Now John's gonna help me put the numbers on the cake. Yeah. Yeah. Now, to go down. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try to become that girl. Starting with my fridge, it's giving expiration date. Um, I'm gonna take everything out so I can deep clean. Put most of it in the freezer because it's probably gonna take me a few hours. Pretty sure I can take the shelves out. Yay, it's really
really clean now. It's time to fill it back up. I got an egg container. I feel so fancy. This is so extra. Okay, in this container, I'm doing strawberries. And raspberries. This one will have blackberries. And blueberries. This is so pretty. Am I on Pinterest? I can eat a whole bag of cherries in one day. So it's getting its own container so I can use it as a plate. And grappas. These are going on the middle shelf. I cut up some watermelon, so I'm putting it in this container. Same thing with pineapple. This one's going to have cut up vegetables to snack on. Got this crisper container thing. I don't really know what it does, but I'm putting my greens in it. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it was going to take this much work to become that girl. This is just the fridge. Like, I wasn't ready. Look how aesthetically pleasing this is. Wow. <laughs> Whose fridge is this? Not mine. It's that girl's. So beautiful. Now I'm going to put the juices in separate. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Putting the cheese and butter here. Coffee and creamer are going on this shelf. This stuff is so good, by the way. It tastes like a banana milkshake. Sauces, Capri Suns will go here because I'm addicted. Almost done. After six hours, this is what it looks like. And I love it so much. This is my favorite part. There's so much space. It looks like I need to go grocery shopping, but I don't. Next step, redecorating my bed. Unpacking my filming room part two. Now I'm gonna build the makeup table. Finally got a drill, you guys. I feel very professional. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Bubble Bear. I'm almost done. I have a few more screws. Then I have to try and flip it upside down. Oh, is this? Oh, it's not even heavy. Okay. How am I gonna get this on top of the table? This is so heavy. Oh, okay. I can't believe I did that. I'm so proud of myself. Now I'm gonna screw in the light bulbs. I think I lost my patience. Not mine. Okay, sorry. I can't stop jumping around. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's like a dream. I can finally start reorganizing my makeup. It's gonna take me all night. You know what? I'm going to bed. Just kidding. Just kidding again. I will see you in part three. Good night. Yo, what up? I'm gonna use my glow spot one last time before I pack it and show you my shave routine. I'm gonna miss this so much, but the new one's gonna be a lot better. Let's do watermelon. First, I exfoliate using any tree head body scrub. This one's watermelon. It smells so good. I have really dry skin, and this scrub does the best job at removing it, so I just take some on this glove and do circle motions. And I love how glowy and soft I feel after using it. Now I'm going to use Tree Hut's Watermelon Shave Oil. Love this one because it doesn't irritate my skin while I shave. I do like two or three pumps. I always get the closest shave, and it's really hydrating. So, I'm in here. Lastly, I use the Watermelon Whipped Shea Butter. Mm -hmm. it smells so good. Super hydrating, lightweight, and not greasy, which I love. And that's it. Time to pack it up. I can't wait to show you my new glow spot. Okay, bye. I've never made boba before. I guess all I can do is try my best. Even if I fail, it should taste good, hopefully. First, I'm gonna boil the water. Now I'm adding the boba. I think I'll do, that's a good amount. Hopefully I don't need more. While that's boiling, I'm gonna make the drink. I don't have a shaker, so I'm gonna use this. I'm doing honeydew. This is gonna taste so good. That was creamer. Now I'm adding water. It also said to add hot water. I added ice. Now I'm gonna shake it. So far, so good. Now I'm gonna put this in the drink. It looks good. Hopefully it tastes good. Okay, it's not bad. It could be better, but it tastes pretty good. Grab a bowl. Do you guys like it? I got a new one because I broke all of mine. You'll need one and one fourth cup of flour. This is from a while ago, but I'm still laughing at the fact that you guys think my mom looks like Cardi B. One fourth cup of sugar. One teaspoon of salt. Add in one stick and a half of butter. Break it up into pieces before you add it in. Mix it all together. It's easier to use your hands. Halfway through mixing, add in four crushed graham crackers. Set that aside. Grab a baking dish and spray it with Pam. Palm. I don't know what to say. Place your dough in and pack it down. Preheat your oven to 350 and leave it in there for about 20 minutes. Grab a cup, fill it with caramel. That's about 45 pieces or one bag. Put it in your microwave for 30 seconds. Then add in one third cup of heavy whipping cream. Back in the microwave, mix every 15 seconds. It helps if you stir kind of fast, but trust the process. Eventually, you'll get something that looks like this. Now spread the caramel all over the first layer. Try to spread it out evenly. Leave it in your freezer for about two hours to set. I'm going to let that sit. I got to run some errands anyway, so I'll see you in part two, which will be uploaded tonight. I just need a little bit of time to film it. Look at all this mess. I'm so excited. I'm making a whole bunch. I hope I got enough corn syrup to fill those. First, honey, this feels so wrong. Corn syrup in Tic Tacs. Can't remember why I was pouring that into a bowl. I'm going to store them upside down so I don't use as much. Ready? Love Island. Do you see it with the heart? Found these white pearls. I'm pretty excited for them. Pink and purple, light blue and dark blue. This one is a pink sanding sugar. It's so pretty. Purple holiday one because it's close enough. This one's my favorite. Ah, it's so messy. They don't look edible, but they're really pretty. Let's freeze them. I heard it takes five hours. Let's speed that up. I can't get over how pretty they are. Okay, I'll be back. I'm not ready for the mouth noises. I'm probably going to throw my phone at the wall multiple times editing this video. I'm doing frozen honey first. This one kind of looks like styrofoam. I feel like I did something wrong. It doesn't really taste like anything. Maybe the Tic Tac one will. <gasps> no! Got my hair. Bye. The Love Island one, maybe. Okay, it's obviously not gonna taste like anything, but. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh -uh. Why did I think these were gonna be sweet? Um, let me know if you want a part two. Trying the rest of these. Grab some Oreos. I got the holiday ones, and I'm gonna use six. Set those aside. Grab another bowl, or however many you want, and pour in some chocolate. I'm using white and red. Put them in the microwave until melted. Mix after three. Hold on. Okay, that's microwave safe. Mix after every 30 seconds. The good thing I double-checked because they're not safe for microwave use. 
That could have been bad. Now that you have your melted chocolate, place your Oreo on a fork and dip it into the chocolate like that. While your chocolate is still warm, you're going to stick mini Reese's pieces to the top of them like that. Now grab some mini M&Ms and start decorating. Put them in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Yay! Okay, time to take them out. Now you know how to make Oreo ornaments. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. Holy sh- Holy moly! Wow, these are really, really good. I like this. I'm so glad I tried these and they're so pretty. Like, look at that. They're the perfect holiday snack. Yo, what up? Part two of my at-home waxing setup. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be hosting a video this week about all things waxing. So if you're interested in that, you'll love that video. Part one was all about the waxes. Let me show you the supplies. I keep a big bottle of hand sanitizer here. And then up here, I have my barbicide wipes and my liquid barbicide. I use the barbicide wipes to disinfect anything that I touch, basically, like the bottles, any surface areas. And then I use the liquid barbicide to disinfect my tools. Everything here I got from Amazon besides the mini drawers. I got those from Bed Bath & Beyond. In this container, I keep my lint-free cotton pads. And then I have my pre-cleanser, my wax remover oil, aloe vera gel, and lotion. After an eyebrow wax, I like to put Maybelline's Great Lash Clear Mascara on. I love using this on my eyebrows. It makes them look so fresh and dewy. And then I just have my tweezers and scissors. One day I will replace these with tweezer men because I think they're the best and they work so good. And here I just have my waxing sticks and strips, which I just organize in here. My bigger body waxing strips are in this photo keeper. And here I keep small, medium, and large. And I do the same thing with the sticks. I store everything here. Yo, what up? I hope my mom doesn't see this. But it's her birthday and I'm last minute again. So what I have so far, a makeup brush holder with a lid and some makeup. Just got back from Sephora. Got her one of my favorite shampoo and conditioners. This hair mask. Mom's hair is blonde, so I also got her the purple shampoo and conditioner. This lip butter. So good. This scalp massager. Too Faced came out with this recently, so she's gonna try. It's going on a trip, so I want to find her a makeup bag. Let's try here. Mm. I hate going to that location. They're always so rude. What did I do? Anyways, I found a makeup bag. It's really cute. I found this mini flower bouquet. Time for the pinch and shake method. I don't know. It just always works. Hey, not bad for last minute. I think she'll like it, hopefully. My vision board for last year really said, Kelly, dreams do come true. So I'm going to make a new one for this year. First, I'm going to organize all the pictures and then figure out the layout. I made piles. These are quotes I need to cut up. Home goals, LOL. Being more productive, eating healthy, brands I want to work with, milestones, career-related stuff. This one's thick. I got too excited and skipped ahead, but three hours later, I'm almost done. That is by Amber Shaw. She's so inspiring. It says, don't ever let life be anything less than everything you imagined it would be. I still make a wish every time I see this number. You never know. My angel number is 111, and I wanted to piece that in here somewhere. My sister-in-law got this for me. It's so perfect. It's going right here. Always do a center quote for everything to revolve around, and it's always this one. It's already yours. Now I'm going to take down my old one. This is kind of sad. Wow. I'm so excited. I'm going to be rating my year on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe to see that mess. I'm so excited for this year. Maybe I should start some stuff, because... Spring cleaning, even though it's not spring, the bathroom part two. Woo, it's time to decorate. I just picked out the ornaments I want to use. I'm going to use what's left for a future DIY video. I chose the glitter ones. I'm putting hooks on them and setting them to the side. I'm just keeping the same shower curtain because I like that it's white and I'm hooking the ornaments onto the rings. As I'm putting these up, I realize I forgot to change out the hooks, so they're just going to stay blue. I just hung this up. It is temporary. The one I actually ordered hasn't come yet. Oops, but I kind of like it. For the main towels, I decided to go with a dark gray. And then I got this hand towel set that has snowflakes on them. I just folded them over like that. I think it looks super cute. I made this glitter pine cone decoration. I'm putting that on top of the toilet. For the towel ring, I did white with a gray snowflake towel. At the top of the sink, I'm adding this candle, this frosted cranberry soap, and this lotion dispenser. I'm also going to try this toilet bowl light. I don't know how I feel about it, but here we go. Oh, that's cool. I've never had memory foam bath rugs. These were like five bucks at Home Goods, but I am obsessed now. Wow. Ah, I love the way this turned out. It is so cute. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in episode two. Hi! Oh my gosh! The mess looks worse on camera! Well, there's at least one of you that's done this before. I want to dye my hair, but I don't know, like, what color to do. So I got this, like, hair makeup stuff that I'm going to try, and we're going to see if it works. Okay, here it is. Hair makeup. It's blue. I don't know if it's going to show up or not, but I'm going to start separating my- Okay, so I'm just going to do a tri -oval. Is that even a shade? <laughs> Wait. I'm going to tie the rest of my hair backies. Ah, I look cute like this! Sign me for the next Christmas movie! Oh, it smells like hand sanitizer. So they say the more you apply, the more vibrant the color gets. So let's try this. Oh gosh. I'm gonna do a little more on the ends. There we go. So I'm supposed to let it sit until it dries and then brush it out after. Okay, this stuff feels disgusting, but at least I can get a sense of what it would look like if I were to dye my hair like this. So what do you guys think about blue? I'm doing pink and green tomorrow. So rate this on a scale of one to 10. Let's see what color I choose. If I choose because I'd be scared. Fall cleaning my closet part two. Okay, well, let's continue taking everything out of here, starting from up there. Got my stool because I'm short. What lotion you guys use? Because I'm always ashy no matter what I do. Yeats. <gasps> A unicorn costume. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
making so much progress. Just kidding, I'm literally moving the mess to a different room. This was my prom dress. I use it as a scarf now. the hanger so I'm just putting them in this bucket. How do I even approach this? Let's see. This is what I have so far. I put all the shoes in this box. I'm gonna try and separate the linens in one spot. Wow! Now I just have to vacuum. And we're vacuuming! Yeah! Vacuum! Now I just have to sort everything. I'm gonna make a donate, trash, and keep pile. So uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> I try not to open this door to avoid what's inside. Yeah. Reorganizing my cleaning closet, I'm gonna start by taking everything out. I'm debating whether I should DIY Hazel a mini closet. She has so many clothes. Look at you waiting. She loves when I take them out. The first shelf is done. I'm so glad I'm doing this. And why do I have pillows in here? Okay, wow. I just gotta grab this now. Whoop. I'm taking this out and I'm gonna use it in a different space. I can't wait to show you what I got instead. I got these two cube organizers. I already built one. I'm gonna hurry and build the second one. One more screw. First one is going in like this. I put the second one on top and I secured them together so they wouldn't move. Yeah, my IKEA was out of stock, but Target definitely came through. This is exactly what I wanted, minus the little space in the middle. Now I have to put everything back in and organize it. I'm also going to be decorating, so I will see you tomorrow for part two. Yo, what up? I'm going to try to be that girl at Disneyland. I just to get a bubble maker because, yeah. Next, key drinks and snacks. This is the confetti cake shake. It's so fruity. This is a lollipop and a piece of cake. It's really good. A cookie. Cotton candy. And the blue milk. Also, it has glitter in it. It's kind of cute. Space soda. Carne asada fries. Not cute, but really good. Popcorn. Next, shopping. I need to find the Starbucks cup. Oh my god. Ice chai is so good. This is cute. I need this. And this. Can't decide. I think I'm going to go with Snow White. Yeah. Two of these. Popcorn. These are all gifts, by the way. I forgot to mention. I'm trying to convince myself not to get these. Mint julep. A beignet. I wrote a bunch of rides, but I forgot to film it. <laughs> I got this tie-dye soap making kit, so I'm gonna try and make some soap. Okay, it doesn't seem like it'll be too hard, so I have white soap and clear soap, molds and instructions, and some soap colorant. I'm supposed to choose one of these and cut them into one and a half inch squares. Now I'm supposed to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds. With my luck, my kitchen's probably gonna explode. I'm mixing it now. As you can see, this is take two. I'm pouring it in now. Ooh, that's cool. I'm excited! This one's gonna be yellow and red. Now I'm just swirling it around. I don't know if this is gonna look good. Oh my god. These are gonna look so ugly. It says to leave it here for 30 minutes, so I'm gonna go watch some Love Island. I'll be back. Time to take them out of the mold. Let's see if I can do this. Gosh, this is the last one and just won't come out. Wow, they're not that bad. I really like them. This one's my favorite. I'm gonna go to my sink and see if it stains my hands. Okay, here we go. Oh, okay. Oh my god, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases, but for my new house. First, Hazel's new bed. It's a flower. It's so cute. I also got matching food bowls. You can take them off the stand, but I'm going to leave them. Out. This gumball machine. I don't know. A mini portal mirror. I'm going to put this on my entryway table. Balloon dog with a balloon poop. <laughs> ah, too. Checkered blanket. It's really soft, and it's going on my new couch. Steven, a.k.a. Benson, in plush four. This rug from Lonely Ghost. If you're watching this, by the way, I love you. Also, everything before this rug is on Amazon. I'll link it on my storefront. This candle from Target by Tabitha Brown. It's so beautiful, and it smells amazing. Urban Outfitters cutting board. I'm getting a massive cutting board out just for one orange, so this will be good. More cloud pillows from Amazon. On, they're so soft. This mushroom cup, also from Urban. A bubble maker and all of that. I'm waiting for the paint to dry and I'm so bored, so I'm gonna read some of these cards. Going all out, I'm using one of these thingies. Okay, there's my foot. What do we have? Okay! When your class returns from gym and they smell like onions, bro, there's always that one kid that's smelling like B.O. Oh, this is like my worst nightmare. When you can't figure out who keeps carving. <laughs> carving go. <laughs> When a kid flicks a booger at you, and you find it in your hair four hours later. Okay, one more. This is fine. When you accidentally stick your hand in the gum under the desk, this is fine. It is not fine. This has happened to me so many times as a student. The room reveal will be uploaded tomorrow. I can't wait. Yo, what up? I've been so busy moving, I kind of forgot to take care of myself with my normal body care routine. You know, with all the products, all the moisturization. Look at this. I'm only going to show you once. That's so bad. I'm going to try to fix my dry skin ASAP. I did start using a lace hyaluronic acid body wash, though, so I guess I have been doing something. I've been loving this body wash because it helps lock in the extra moisture my skin is probably screaming for, and it smells really good. Something new I haven't tried is their hyaluronic acid body lotion. I used to put on lotion straight out of the shower, and then again once I'm dry, you know, to seal it in, so let's try it. Okay, first off, immediate difference. I'm glowing. Second, I feel very moisturized. <laughs> I'm gonna try that for a few days and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. So, mm. hello. After finally trying the lotion, I feel moisturized all day and finally my skin doesn't feel so dry. The difference is insane. Can you see that? Definitely adding this to my daily routine. Okay, I'm going in and I'm asking for this. Possibly this. I can't decide. This is what we're working with. Wait, it gets better. 
What happened? Oh my gosh. <gasps> you guys! I just got back. Ready? Can we? Round of applause, please. These are so cute. These are easily the cutest nails I've ever had. Oh my gosh, I can't stop looking at them. They're so cute. Jump charms. Jump charms. Hazel's trying to eat them. Hot legs. I was sitting too long. <laughs> they sent me so much. I'm so excited. This is my favorite cup. Charm goes on the cup. Hearts or stars. Why not both? Jump charms. <laughs> Thank you, jump charms. Hot legs. <laughs> I love them. I love them. I'm sweating. Love the little personalized note. I'm going to keep this for the rest of my life. There's so much in here. Cue the fashion show. I'm going to live in this. You can also wear it like this. Bam! There's a lot back, but just, it's gone. It's gone. Where is it? <laughs> Thank you, Pop Flex. Kiehl's! I can't open it. Thank you, up. Powerful strength, line reducing, and dark circle diminishing, vitamin C eye serum. Hyaluronic acid. Excited to try. Thank you, Kiehl's. Typo sent me this candy dispenser. I love them. And these bags. Thank you, Typo. That's it. Yo, what up? I'm sure you know what this is. First, I got this blanket for my couch. I've never had a weighted blanket before. This thing is so heavy. Or I'm just weak. It's really pretty. I love it. Next, I found this ring display. I'm going to show you how cute this is. Hold on. I'm trying to organize my jewelry, so I also got one for bracelets. Oh. So cute, I'm excited. Next, I got me bare lamp. I have a collection of nightlights because I'm still afraid of the dark. I just get so claustrophobic in it anyways. This is cute. Next, I bottle organizer. Ziploc bag organizer. There's a theme with everything. I think I was in a cleaning mood. This 11-11 necklace, a Pisces necklace, and a wooble. I saw it on Shark Tank. Yeah, you can learn to crochet a penguin. Anyways, that's it. That's you know what up. I should be packing, but I'm going to make an ice cream and soda bar instead. First, I'm filling the sprinkles. This one's going to be pink. Found Craig the Flamingo sprinkles, so I'm mixing those in too. Next, yellow and yellow stars. Purple, green, blue, and some flowers. This one's my favorite. So cute. Oh my gosh. And orange. I'm going to put them on top of this clear tray. This is going to be so cute. Now I'm going to fill the bigger containers. This one's going to have some <laughs> granola, sour punch straws, and the last one's going to hold the ice cream cones. Now I'm going to put the sodas in these organizers. I got these syrups at Starbucks and they gave me pumps. I'm running out of time, clear shelves. Dried fruit. Well, I tried. I'll see you in part two. And then I'll pack my pantry, which I really don't want to. I'm putting Resetting my entire house part five. Now I'm going to restock the mini fridge. First, I'm filling the mini bottles. Pomegranate cherry juice. This stuff is so good. Next, water. These ones are glass and they're a little bit taller. So I'm just going to put it in. For fruit, I'm doing mango. Blackberries. Raspberries. Lastly, strawberries. I love fruit. I'm putting these on the bottom shelf. It looks so good. Next, Lunchables. Capri Sun. Go-Gurt. Yeah. Baby Bell cheese. Coffee. I'm filling the smaller ones with jelly beans. Oh. And chocolate eggs. I didn't know what else to put in here, but this looks good. Next step, I'm organizing my cup collection because it's so resetting my entire house. Part six, this is so bad. I got new shelves, so first I gotta build those. Also, I just took everything down. It's so dusty. <laughs> Three days later, and the shelves are done. I get easily distracted. Now I'm putting up this rope play. I'm trying to make it look like paint trips, but it keeps falling. I'm gonna have some patching to do when I leave. I didn't do it everywhere, by the way. It just did little dots here and there. Now I'm putting lights behind the shelves in a zigzag pattern. Um, what? Hold on. Okay, it's real. Time to put all the cups back. This is gonna take me forever. I should probably dust these. Okay, so I color coded everything. <laughs> Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Bubba Bear. This is the best thing I've ever reset. It looks like a store. I could cry right now. Like when? Next, I'm restocking the guest bathroom. Nobody's coming over, but I really want to do it. One more thing. I'm cleaning my entire house on my Instagram stories right now. So if you've ever wanted to see what my house actually looks like, go follow me on Instagram. There's probably 20 plus videos on there already. So if you're bored and want something to do, let's hang out and clean my house. Anyway, I'm already bored of the way my bathroom looks. So we're going to redecorate it again. Just stick down. The shower curtain and liner, and now I'm putting up a new one. I'm using actual curtains, but my mom inspired me to do it like this, so that way I can open them like that, maybe hook it onto the side. I don't know. I just took out the old bath mats, and these are the new ones. These are the towels I'm using. <laughs> I can't go on. I'm sorry. This is a redecorating fail. Like, what? I don't even know where I'm going with this. If you guys can comment some ideas, I would appreciate it. I'm still trying to become that girl, so I'm starting a bullet journal. I'm going to decorate the outside first with these stickers I made. Hold on. Wait a minute. That is so cute. I feel like I need more though. I have a really good idea for the first page. Also, I almost paid $25 for a six pack of these markers when I found this 120 pack for 36 on Amazon. Please. It'll all be on my Amazon page in my bio. Skipped a few pages for the index. I'll do that later. I've always wanted a follower tracker. I'm adding in some cow print. Not sure if it's going to look good, but gosh, I messed it up. I don't even have white out. Anyways, I hit 6.2 today. Thank you guys. So we get to fill that in together. Kind of ugly, but I'll get better. I have a lot more pages I want to fill out so I can do a part two or I can move on to the next that girl video let me know. i'm gonna try to become that girl but i need cute petting to do so so we have her white or sage green i have a dog and i eat in bed most weekends cry mascara we're gonna go see it. my style is next because i need help 
I'm also getting this pillow because I have one on my couch and it's really comfy. White pillowcases, lunch bowls, and y'all already know. I'm taking two of these. I hate going outside. Can't be that girl without a cute candle, so we're at home goods. Let's see if you have psychic abilities. I think I'm gonna do two of these. I'm just kidding. I'm back. This is my situation. It's giving echo, it's giving live, laugh, love, it's giving monotone. I'm gonna paint new pictures for my room tomorrow, but for now, hey, gleamy. Oh, White sheets, white duvet cover. Ow. I made an egg glue. Now I'm throwing the pillows on and adding the butts. Look at this masterpiece. Tell me why this was at the back of the shelf. Like, we don't get enough attention as it is. Got these glow bar things from the checkout lines. Let's see if they work. Wait, what? $10 at home goods. It's so worth it. Almost done just adding a laptop. Notepads and pens because that girl is productive. Shiba Inu. Yay, I'm done. I'll figure out the wall situation later. But yay, I'm done. This is what it looks like during the day. And night. It's so cute. <laughs> Like, I'm just kidding. Next step, an aesthetic nighttime routine. I've been wanting to buy this for so long, it's basically chalk wallpaper, and I'm gonna make a chalk wall. First, I'm cleaning the wall so that it sticks better. My walls are textured, so I'm using command strips to stick poster board to the wall so that it's smooth. Just like that, and I'm leaving a little gap on the side so the wallpaper has something else to stick to. I'll try my best to film me putting this on, but with my luck, I'm probably gonna mess it up. The start of the first side is up. Past all of the mess, you can see my clock. It's 9.05. Let's see how long this takes me. <laughs> it's 12.40. But I finished, and now I'm going to take some magnetic tape. I cut nine strips, now I'm sticking them to the wall. I'm taking the same tape. The scenery is divine, by the way. And I'm cutting squares like this. Oh my gosh, these are rectangles. And I'm dabbing a little bit of crazy glue on it. And then you just lay the marker right on top. I wanted to make sure these were secure, okay? That way, I can do this. Can you imagine what it's going to look like with all of them there? Exquisite! It is now three in the morning. I talk too much and get distracted, so I'll see you in part two. Because I'm going to bed. After three hours of looking for this glitter, I found more and hopefully it works this time. Universe, hear me. Yo, what up? I need this glow in the dark cup. Now I'm just putting the tape on. I'm not sure if liquid is the way to go. I'm just going to wing it and fill the whole thing. Pushing in the cabinet bumper. Yes, God. I'm cleaning it with an alcohol pad before the resin. I'm using UV resin this time and my nail lamp. I don't know if that's okay to do. I guess we'll find out here in a second. <laughs> That smells so bad. Looked it up and it's normal. Thank goodness. I'm gonna open a window. I'm also sealing this one. Oh my gosh. I did it. Okay, let's test it. This is what it looks like normally. This is the other one I made. It's like a snow globe. Hold on, let me shake it. Wow. Do it, guys. Just do it. Mike, welcome to the fam. I know what up. I was going to paint my spackler, but then I forgot I was going to Vegas for JBL Fest. So, here I am. Okay, okay. I'm here. And my feet hurt so bad. It's oh, Hey. Don't you restaurant called Tao and they have all the necessities. I think it's really cute. Anyways, yeah, I gotta go back. Now we're at a Doja Cat concert and look what I got. Well, now let's figure out how to get James in the suitcase. So, okay. James the suitcase. I'll see you when I get back. Resetting my entire house part seven. Now I'm going to restock the guest bathroom. The bathroom is really small, so I'm going to put everything in these acrylic drawers and make a guest bath cart. On the first shelf, I'm doing shampoo and conditioner. A lot of few different kinds because I wanted them to have options, you know. <laughs> Lastly, hair mask. The next shelf is gonna hold these cute mini razors. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Shave cream and body wash. Last shelf has bath fish, sugar cubes, and loofahs. I don't know. Almost forgot. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Bobo. Now I'm gonna fill the drawers. This one's gonna be for skincare. Mini micellar water. Oh my! Is it micellar water? Cleanser, serums, and moisturizer. In the back, I'm doing face rollers, wax kits, mighty patches, and cleansing balls. Top ones for extra washcloths. This one's for hair. Got some extra brushes, bobby pins, and hair ties. This one's body slash hair, so I have some deodorant. Running out of time. Lotion. Olaplex. Dry shampoo. Chapstick. Toothbrush. Toothpaste. Mouthwash. Blah. Also made a manicure bin. That's basically it. Next, I'm gonna try and organize my pantry. It's really bad, so I don't know if it's gonna. Yo, what up? It's time I redecorate the hot chocolate bar. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm gonna take everything off the counter. Oh, cow, this is heavy. Look at this pine cone living its best life. Is this real? Now that everything is moved out of the way, I'm going to wipe this area down. I'm starting off with this mini tree skirt I got at Michael's, and I'm just placing the tray on top. I love candy canes, so I'm filling up two jars full of them. Eventually, one of these will be filled with the Jolly Rancher ones. I'm filling this jar with mini M&Ms and peanut butter cups. Now I'm just refilling the hot chocolate powder. Holiday Oreos! I just labeled everything with the chalk marker, now I'm going to put everything on the top tier. I'm going to fill the bottom tier with these really pretty mugs. I'm using this as a base. On that, I'm putting these stirring sticks. I stuffed the bottom with paper towel. It kind of looks like snow, and it keeps them standing. These are my chunky coasters. I'm putting my clock on top of them. Look how cute the sparkly tree is! I bought these paper straws that looked like candy canes, and I can't find them, and they were supposed to go in here, so I'm just putting pine cones in there, I don't know. I'm putting these really cute candles in the front. And one. Oh, it's so cute! I love it! 
Yo, what up? Oh, do I have a video for you? I'm so tired. I really think you're gonna like this one. I'm posting that video later today, but for this video, I don't know why I yell. Oh, look, my hair kind of looks like a bow or a big butt crack. I went to Sally's and I got this quick dip kit. The kit comes with nail tips, glue, and a fox. It also comes with the activator, brush on glue, and three dip powders. I'm gonna be using white. So yeah, let's do my nails. I've never used a dipping powder before, so we'll see how it goes. Starting off by filing and buffing my nails. I'm not gonna be using the nail tips that come with the kit because that's just too much work and too much filing to get the shape I want. I just bought some that cover your entire nail and their coffin shape, which is my favorite. I'm only doing one nail at a time in case I mess up. Ooh. Applying the glue. And I guess you just dip it in. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the aftermath. Um, <laughs> I need more practice. I ripped my nails off because I filed them down too much. They looked like a birthday hat. Grab a bowl. Add in one cup of flour, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt. Can you chew with your mouth closed, please? Set that aside. Grab a grater and a block of cheddar. Yay! Use the side that looks like this. This is gonna look like a lot, but if you were to squish it all together, it would be able to fit in this one cup. Add in your one cup of cheddar and mix it. Now add in four tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of water. Now mix that all together. It's easier if you use your clean hands. If it's still crumbly like this, add more water. When you're done, it should look like a ball of Play-Doh. Preheat your oven to 375. Line a pan with parchment paper. Roll out your dough. You're going to want it pretty thin. Frequently push in your edges so you can avoid the cracks. Carefully transfer that over to your pan. With whatever you have, I was lucky to have this, cut out little squares. And then, I think you already know where this is going, poke little holes into them. Bake for about 10 to 15 minutes. Let them cool for about 5 to 10 minutes. And now you know how to make homemade Cheez-Its or cheese crackers. Let's try them. Okay, here we go. Besides the thickness, they literally taste like a cheese. Why do I shop at 3 a.m.? Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. This one's good, though. Right now, my collection is hidden behind these cabinets, so I got these clear floating wall shelves, a whole bunch of them, so I can display them. Ah. I'm also putting neon lights on these. It's going to be so cute. The lighting is so bad in here. Okay, so this is the wall, and I already put a shelf up. Oh, I'm so sad. Long story short, I can't put up the rest of the shelves. Plan B, I got this at Lowe's for $30. Yes, but it did take me three hours to build, so hopefully this works. gosh it's so cute don't mind the holes in the wall i gotta patch those i'm gonna throw all my cups on here so i can get an idea of what it's gonna look like <laughs> can't wait to sort everything i'm probably gonna color code and my lights will be here in about a day or two so i will see you in part two. Oh my god yo what up i'm finally gonna unpack my starbucks cups i'm so excited i'm gonna move all this to a different corner and deal with it later okay that's embarrassing i actually have a lot of space now i'm gonna take all the cups out and lay them on the floor keep going but there's too many layers so there's a problem i didn't think this through i don't know what straws go with which cups so i'm just gonna wing it this looks kind of right now i'm gonna put the keychains next to their matching cup okay kind of it's not done yet I still have a lot to do like putting my lights up i need to reorganize this because it's not doing it for me see you in part two yo what up i'm doing a giveaway the first prize is vacation theme the second one is self-care for the vacation one i got you this starbucks cup and water bottle pineapple tree hut scrub it smells so good this travel set and this one i really want one now my favorite palette my favorite candle pina colada sunscreen cleanser vacation to me smells like this lotion so i had to put it in lip injection liquid bronzer lip balm more lip balm waterproof mascara a cute makeup bag we're twins because i bought myself some too. pineapple squishmallow lastly a starbucks gift card now i'm doing self-care i got you this starbucks cup and water bottle lavender scrub this one's my favorite tatcha cleansing and hydrating kit my favorite eye patches and eye cream when i light this candle i feel so motivated it's actually scary but that's why i love it face roller laneige lip mask a hair mask lotion cleanser and moisturizer glow recipe mist lip balm and all of this sorry i'm running out of time this giveaway is being held on my instagram the rules to enter will be in the caption of my most recent post good luck part two i'm at my mom's house i hope she answers the door hello hi you didn't hi. answer me last night <laughs> First John to come too. He's very judgmental. Dun, 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 so dun. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, take one for the middle. Okay. Yeah. Do you approve? You did it. Really? <laughs> Are they like moms? Yeah. Ah! Ah, I'm scared. <laughs> Damn. You're not even chewing it. I'm so much. What are you doing? <laughs> She's really out here making more. <laughs> 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 
can explain. Question mark. Walked into Target and there they were. So I found these keychains. And the matching cups. I found the mint one. The jelly pink one. I'm actually going to use it and not put it on display. And dark green. Look how cute they all are. Also, the keychain's actually open. Look at this. I can't believe I found this one. It's the prettiest cup I have. This one reminds me of Barney, but it's really cute. Water bottle. They did such a good job. I love it so much. The swirls. I got this one because it looks like it's glowing and I thought that was cool. Found the mint puffy cup. It's so cute. And these two. I love this one because it's matte. They did so good. This is my favorite round of cups so far. I want to design a cup so bad, but I'll keep drinking. Deep cleaning my closet part five. I'm finally almost done. I got two more of the half sized bins to finish lining the shelf. Like that. Wow. These bins are going on the top shelf. A, B, C, D, E, F. Yeah. I ended up doing three on each side. Now I'm going to start hanging my clothes. I'm using all black hangers. There we go. I decided to color coordinate this time. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but you know, I'm just gonna enjoy the moment. I'm evening out the space between the hangers because I don't know, it just looks better. For the shoes, I'm using the same rack. Out of all of these shoes, these are the only ones I'm keeping. Now I'm just adding in this rug, a random plant. On this cube organizer, I'm adding a DIY decoration I made for winter and a candle I'm never gonna light. And that's it. Wow. I'm probably sleeping in here tonight. If you guys want to see what's in my bins and how I organize them, I'm uploading a full closet tour to my YouTube channel this week. Make sure you subscribe. We're trying to hit 50K, so are we going to be able to make it? Question mark. Subscribe, link, and bye. I don't even want to stop recording. Hello, guys. This is my closet. It's so great. I love it. I'm sleeping right here. I need, like, a carpet. Yo, what up? I found it. I found it. I didn't just find one, though. I found four. <laughs> this is what it looks like without the filter. Like, wow. I'm obsessed. And the straw. Let me show you the straw. Wow. It's just so cute. Anyway, okay, they're not all mine. These two are for family members. That one is mine, and this one is for you. These are not easy at all to find right now, unless you're paying like double or triple the price. So I hope this finds someone that was looking for it, and maybe it'll give you a chance to win one. This is an Instagram giveaway because it's way easier to track and select a winner. All you have to do is follow me on Instagram, and on the Instagram post about this giveaway, just comment whatever you want and tag one person that loves Starbucks. More details about this giveaway will be on my Instagram post, so have fun, you guys, and good luck. Decorating my first Christmas tree, part two. I'm gonna unplug this for a sec. First I'm gonna put on the garland. This is the one I chose. Yeet. This is what it looks like so far. As I'm going, I'm brushing the fur the opposite way so it looks more fluffy. All over the world tonight gathers hearts all over the world. Good morning. I fell asleep but I woke up 3.4 million friends. What? Thank you. I got these pine cone pine needle things so I'm gonna open them up like that. Now I'm just gonna stick them into the tree so it looks more full. I'm starting off with black ornaments. The way I like to set up my ornaments is to start with a checkered pattern like I did with the black. See how there's like a diamond? I'm placing the white ones in between. I'm so excited. Now I'm going to put the tree screwed on. Miles, if you're watching this, first, I literally love you. And second, thank you so much for inspiring me to decorate for the holidays early this year. He has the best content, period. So go check him out. And that is it. Wow. I've always wanted a black and white Christmas tree, and I'm so grateful that this year we were able to get one. I just can't stop looking at it. It's so cute. Wall cleaning part six, the sink. Come over here, guys. Let me just show you how dirty it is. Ugh. First, I washed all of the. Okay, okay, okay. Daniel washed the dishes. Now I'm just throwing away these nasty sponges. Now I'm taking everything out and off of the sink. These are the last two things. And there we go. I'm giving the sink a good rinse with hot water. I clean my sink using baking soda. I'm just going to pour that all over. I like to add dish soap, and now I'm going to show you a satisfying rinse. Wow. Okay, not that satisfying. I don't know where I learned this from, but grab half of a lemon, squeeze it all over your sink. Take what's left, scrub your sink. After you rinse it, it's going to be smelling good for days. Now that I've cleaned the top of the sink, it's time to decorate. First, I'm taking these sponge holders. I'm putting one on each side. One side will hold this sponge and a copper scorer. I'm also hanging this straw and bottle brush set on the handle. And this side for bigger cleaning brushes. I don't know what this is called, but I'm going to show you what it's used for. Pour soap on top, and it makes washing utensils so much easier. Now I'm just adding in a cute basket strainer. I've got some hand soap and a lotion dispenser. I added some leaves and this moonshine decoration. And that's it. You can get everything off of Amazon or Home Goods. Grab some Oreos. This time you'll need about 37. Crush them in a food processor. Bye. Or a Ziploc bag. It should look something like this. Measure out about a cup and put it into a separate bowl. Eat those to the side. <gasps> Yikes. Grab six tablespoons of butter. Bye, baby. Can someone come clean my fridge? Put it in the microwave until it's melted. Oh, my camera's dirty. <gasps> wow. That was terrible. Add the butter to the bigger bowl of Oreos. It should look like uh, wet dirt when you pat it down. Grab some liners and line your cupcake pan. Add in about one tablespoon of the mixture to each liner. Now pack them down as hard as you can. Preheat your oven to 350. Bake for five minutes and then take them out. Grab that same bowl. 16 ounces of cream cheese. <laughs> Add in one fourth cup of sugar, a splash of vanilla extract, that was too much, and two eggs, then whisk everything together. Once it looks like this, add in your leftover cup of Oreos. This mixture should look like cookies and cream. I film my videos in real time and I have to let this sit overnight, so I'll see you tomorrow in part two. Bye!
Yo, what up? I messed up. I forgot to get the stuff I needed to finish painting my room and I can't do part four until tomorrow. So I hope this will hold you over until I can do part four. I'm gonna try Nair for the first time. I'm gonna do a little patch test because I'm not trying to get burned. Let's go to my bathroom. So the directions say I need a damp washcloth or sponge. And I've got three just in case. Sorry, my back's itchy. <laughs> Just hold the phone. Okay, here we go. I'm so scared. It says to spread it evenly. So I'm so scared right now. Oh my god. Let's see if it worked. Ooh, okay. Personally, I don't like it because it ended up leaving blotches of hair no matter how long I left it on for. So I'm just gonna stick to waxing and shaving. I chose green and white this year. I think my mom is gonna freaking love it. Here's her basket. I'm gonna show you how I fill it. The basket is from Home Goods, and then I tied ribbon around it. First, I'm filling it with air pockets and paper so I can position everything nicely. Putting green and white tissue paper in the back, I'm gonna start with the taller items. I found this at Target for $5. My plan is to put it in the back as decoration. This is what I have so far. I got her a bottle and a cup with a gift card in it and her loofah set. Some more of these, and I'm gonna put her onto my favorite micellar water. She didn't even know. Caffeine solution thumbnail, a jade roller, coconut lime sugar scrub, this beauty pillowcase, a really cute bracelet, and some lotion. My mom hates her tweezers and she always forgets to buy them when she's out so I just got her some. <laughs> this really pretty palette and my mom's hair is dirty blonde. Isn't she gonna look so cute in this hair tie? How cute is this card? Target, run. It came out so cute. I'm also doing rose petals around the gift. <laughs> I'm hoping this helps with gift ideas in case you were looking for some. And siblings, if you're watching this, don't show this to mom. Yo, what up? I was gonna clean my car, but I'm not feeling good today. It's that time of the month and all I want to do is lie down and go to sleep. And I'm gonna show you what I got for it so far, and I'll restock and organize it tomorrow. First, a visor makeup mirror. My car lighting is yellow, so I like that you can change the color, and there's two mirrors. LEDs for the inside of my car. I'm most excited for this. Swinging Craig for my visor. This bag to organize stuff. For some reason, I like eating in my car, so I got a vacuum to pick up the crumbs. Any trash cans, so I stopped throwing stuff on the floor. I got the car slot. Hopefully, it actually works. I like to keep affirmation cards in random places, so I got these for my car. These are some of them. I think they're so cute. Registration holder. Bunch of hand sanitizer. This cup, nothing to do with anything. I just thought it was cute. Cleaning stuff. This is one of my favorite brands. And this acrylic box. That's all I have so far. Next, I'm actually gonna restock and organize my car. See you in that video. Good night, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm moving again. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm so kidding. Can you imagine? Anyways, we're opening PR. Okay, I'm doing the colorful one first. <laughs> Watched that back and realized I need lotion. Oh, I have a good idea for a flavor. I can tell you an honest too. Like grape soda, it gives water that was left in the car in 100 degree weather, but it's the only thing you have to drink because you're choking on a piece of chip. But if it's from Potsy, if you like grape, you would love this. This is my flavor. I drink this multiple times a day. Thank you, Poppy. Tasteify, the only phone case I use. They let me pick these out. So cute. Thank you. Char charms. I buy this stuff anonymously. Yeah. Charms for your cups. Look at this one. Oh, I forgot to press three minutes. I'm not used to it. Anyways, I'll see you in part two. Yo, what up? I've never had a snack drawer, so I'm gonna try and make one. First, I'm filling the mini containers. Mini m &Ms. These are so good. Sour Patch Kids. And cocoa pebbles. This is so cute. Now I'm gonna fill the bigger ones. First Oreos, blue tackies, and cheese dips. Oh, now I'm gonna fill the even bigger containers. Anyone else like to snack on waffle cones? This one's gonna have fruit snacks and fruit strips. So excited! Time to put everything in my nightstand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I can properly binge watch Love Island. Goodbye. Part two. I just put these up. They're a little loose, but oh well. Now I'm putting LED lights pretty much everywhere, starting with the sink and around the mirror. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna finish the ceiling. Starting on the shower now. I got these acrylic shelves from Amazon. They're so cute. Also found matching hooks. I'm putting them on this side to hold my loofah and razor. Back to the shelves. I forgot I got these. Okay, what? How is this my bathroom right now? Since my bathroom is pretty small, showering is even worse, so I bought a curved shower curtain rod. Hopefully, it'll make it feel bigger. For my shower curtain, I was going to use this cow print one, but when I put it up, it made my bathroom look so small, so instead, I'm using a clear shower curtain liner with these curtain lights. Oh, that's different. Okay, these are waterproof, by the way. It's 4 a.m., by the way. That's what it looks like with the lights off. Terrible. I like it better with the white shower curtain, but the outside is one thing. The inside is a whole experience. I have so much space now. Look at me. I'm crying at 4 a.m. because I love it so much. All I have to do now is fill with product, make a DIY bath cart, fill my drawers. I'll see you in part three. Part three, finally, the pantry. I'm going to be here all night. First, I'm taking everything out and putting it on the counter. Thanks for watching. Bye. Just kidding. I don't want to do this. Okay, kind of. Now I'm gonna try and find all the expired stuff. I just found a mini pie and donut maker. Also, the sun's up now. <laughs> Gotta have these. Now I'm gonna check the can. There's so many crumbs. This expired in 2018. Ew. Oh my gosh, you guys, I finally did it. I'm gonna go pack my glow spot. Forgot I had this. It's a cherry toilet cleaner. Anyways. This is so sad. Well, I'm not crying. You are. See you in part four at the new place. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try to make an aesthetic hot chocolate bar. <laughs> 
how I love how it's 11 at night now. First, I'm putting up LED lights. They make everything look good. I'm gonna use this laptop stand. Now I'm gonna fill the pop jars. First one's gonna have these cute marshmallow toppers. They melt into your hot chocolate. It's so good. Snowman ones too. Next, hot chocolate stirs. I didn't even know this was a thing. I also got them in spoon form. Hot chocolate bombs. I'm trying to make a back and forth pattern so it looks better. And these, not sure what they are, but they're really good. These are going in the back. I found Starbucks hot chocolate powder at Home Goods. And I'm gonna put them in these jars. I don't have a funnel, so I'm hoping that this works. I'm using a white chalk marker to label them. Toffee bits, crushed candy cane, and more marshmallows. What do we think? I just made it. This was a 3 a.m. purchase, but they'll be on my Amazon page. I'm adding this thing I made and some cow straws, you know. Ooh, why do I feel like crying right now? But <laughs> it's just a hot chocolate bar. It's so cute. Trying foods I normally wouldn't start right. Never thought I'd be eating a tomato like this. <laughs> Mini peppers. Mm. I hope these aren't hot. Hazel with her squeaky toy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe they all taste the same and they're different colors, like Fruit Loops. Strawberry cream cheese with graham crackers. I'm excited for this one because it looks like it's going to be good and hopefully it is. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Life just hit me hard. So hard in the last few days and in the middle of my series. I'll freaking rude, but sit around and cry in a corner forever. We have a room reveal to do. This is everything I'm gonna decorate with. I'm gonna start with the wall. My dream board is going behind my door and she believes she could so she did. It's perfect. The theme of my room is a vacation in Vegas. One, because I'm from there and two, I miss going on vacations and these palm trees are so perfect. I wanna get a custom made neon sign, but those are expensive. So these will do for now. Shelf number one, I have my TikTok skateboard and this cute thingy. I'm putting this cute plant on the second shelf. A basket of lush that I'm standing on this thingy. Just like that and then a fairy light. This plant and a sign that says babe cave so cute and then on this side i have another plant and some makeup brushes and then i have this cool weather predictor a candle and a crystal more random stuff and more fairy lights these are from ikea by the way last shelf blah 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 hi morphe love you <laughs> what is this doing open you guys told me to get a rug so i did and this is my new chair look at that pattern it just screams casino let's turn this on cue the music <laughs> Grab a bowl. You'll need one cup of cornmeal. I'm using bun. One cup of mozzarella. A little bit of salt. I'm just eyeing it. Set that aside and grab a pot. You can either do a cup of milk or a cup of water. My mom's probably watching this like, girl! While that's warming up, let's open the griddle I just bought for this recipe. The milk is ready. Now pour it into your bowl. Um, don't pour in the milk all at once like I just did. While it's still warm, add in some butter. You don't even have to use a griddle. I just bought one because that's what my mom uses. And you just kind of go like this. Okay, mom, I got this. I have my stick of butter. Putting it in my hand to like lotion. Take a little bit of this. I don't have gloves. I only have Ziploc bags. When it's in a ball like this, you kind of go like this. Transfer it to flatten it out. And then you hit the edges like that. <laughs> Technique. Keep checking on them and flip them once the bottom goes brown. Now you know how I attempted to make arepas for my Colombian family. It's almost 1 a.m. I'm going to see if my mom's awake to get a reaction. I'll see you in part two. We had a Halloween party in an hour, so I, I'm, gonna, blah, 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 I'm gonna make some last minute treats. One bag of brownie mix, fourth of a cup of water, one egg, and a third of a cup of veggie oil. Mix and spray a cupcake pan with pan. Preheat your oven to 325 and leave them in there for like 35 minutes. Yeah, don't fill them too much, they're going back in now. I'll grab a bowl and fill it with cream cheese frosting. Add in some green food coloring. Once you take them out of the oven, grab an ice cream scoop and press down to create a bowl shape. Mix and put it into one of these things, I forgot what they're called. Fill them with frosting. Now I'm just adding big and small pearls. Add a pretzel stick, and now you know how to make bubbling cauldron brownies. They're so cute. I also made these. So cute. Okay, here we go. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, it's really look at my PJ set. It's so cute. I got it at Target. Anyway, I want to see what I look like with freckles. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. This is something I would normally do on my own, but I thought I'd record it. <laughs> Making s'mores after this, by the way. I'm just gonna foot cramp. I don't know. I don't know. I'm using the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I'm doing another concert on Instagram. Should I? <laughs> wow, this is close. Okay. Oh my gosh, that scar right there. I got bit by a dog when I was younger. Okay, I gotta have a steady hand. Oh, okay, well, oh man, now I'm just tapping it in. Bye bye, pores bronzer. Just all over. We're experimenting. A Cosmetics is doing things with this too. Okay, just a little bit. Hold on, just wait for it. A little bit of base. Well, you can't really see the. Oh. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases, literally just wearing them on my feet. These flower things, but I don't think you understand. 
they go in your bin. So now my car is cute and stuff. Top print pillow covers. These bins for like skincare, they're so small. I thought they were cute, you know? I finally got a sunset lamp. Expect this to be in every single video I do for the rest of my life. Thank you. So everything I just showed you is on my Amazon page under 3 a.m. purchases. Also, update on the mirror. There is no update. I bought clay though. Just, I'll see you in part. I'm late again. Let's hurry and pack my little sister's birthday gift. I do a theme every year. This one is neon and musical theater. For the first bag I got her a Playbill puzzle, a Broadway tote bag, and some Broadway socks. In this bag, some eyeshadow palettes. I found a Playbill charm bracelet on Amazon. And this Hamilton necklace. It says, not throwing away my shot. Pop it and some earrings. Next bag, a yellow water bottle. This cute yellow wallet and a note because there's something inside. A yellow pop it and her favorite gum. Thought this would be so cute to hold her jewelry. It actually goes in this bag. For the last bag, I got her one of these things. I don't know. Neon wire lights to decorate her room. Pizza pop it and some icebreakers. Just random stuff. And some more random stuff. She likes to practice acting at home, so I thought props. I don't know. Light blue for the tissue paper and then I made this card. Now I'm gonna go get balloons. I'm back. She loved everything. Redecorating my living room part one. <laughs> a disaster right now but this is what i'm working with and i'm really gonna miss our old couch it's broken and ripped though so i'm excited to build the new one before i start tearing everything apart literally everything is gonna get replaced i'm gonna give you a little haul of what i got so far I'm going for an outdoor vacation vibe because that's what's most relaxing to me so i got these stream lights at target and i'm gonna hang them from my ceiling it'll make more sense once they're up there and then i got these from home goods i can't wait to show you where i'm gonna put them these two are from ikea i could cry of excitement right now oh hold on let me do a thumbnail there we go. These are also from Ikea. They were on sale for really cheap, so I got a whole bag of them. <clears throat> the living room is also going to have pops of peach. Pops of peach. I'm so excited. Bath and Body Works has some new scents of candles, and I am obsessed with this one. And it matches. Also, this one is really good, too. She loves the new couch. Oh my gosh. How did I get so lucky? Well, the real work starts. I will see you in part two. Yo, what up? I forgot I had this shirt, by the way. It's my Denzel Curry shirt. Anyway, I've never tried slime before. I don't even know what the heck it feels like. So I'm going to try it for the first time. This slime was sent to me as a gift by Boba Bell Slime. So thank you again. We're going to start off with the cookie. Don't mind my dry, ashy hands. Oh my gosh, this is going to be like an ASMR. Oh, oh my, what? Whoa. I don't even know how to describe this. Oh my, that was cool. This one is a crunchy slime. I've always wanted to try it. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is so cool. <laughs> this one is called Baby Yoda Boba. And you can see the little boba balls inside. Oh, this smells so good. Oh my. I don't know if I'm doing this right, but I'm pretty sure this one goes at the bottom. And this one at the top. Put the straw in. This is so stinking cute. Wee, this is so fun. I do how they do. Woo. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, what up? I haven't done laundry in about a month, but I thought it'd be a good idea to refill on the supplies and maybe I'll be motivated to do it. Please enjoy ASMR by Honey Boba Bear, episode one. Laundry. That's a long title. Next we have scent beads. Oh my god. <laughs> Stain remover. Dryer sheets. Okay, that's everything. Let's put it back in my laundry room. Also, thank you for all the love in my last video. I promise I'm okay. I was just really tired. Well, I'm gonna get started on laundry. I'm still trying to become that girl, but I can't be that girl without a cute room. First, I gotta build this. It's 10 p.m. by the way. I'm gonna cry. Good morning, kind of fell asleep. This is what I have so far. It'll be easier if I move the bed frame closer. Yeah. Hope this doesn't break the bed. Yeah! Now I'm putting LED lights under the bed. Now that I have a giant marshmallow, I'm gonna add the pillows. Okay, this is what I have for the room so far. So much more I need to do, like a whole other side. I also need to redo this mirror because it broke, so yeah, I'll see you in that video. Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. Well, a few. A honey pot plush. Now I have <laughs> honey boba bear. This. I'm just kidding. Um. This stuff, though, like... Oh, I'm spraying sour spray on my face and then this really wait I should have made a three minute video water bottle drawing rack and it holds strong okay so like you have a cutie right and then you just go like this with the little ring thing and it's just easier to open. I get really motivated at 3 a.m so I bought a shelf basically when I buy something for a video or a company sends me product for a video instead of throwing it around my room on the floor or just random places I will organize it on here <laughs> there you go 
Grab a bowl. You'll need one cup of chocolate chips and about a fourth of a cup of peanut butter. Mix it. I'm not trying to make anything gourmet, so we're gonna use the microwave. Mix every 15 seconds until it's melted. I'll grab a pan and line it with parchment paper and pour the chocolate in. This one is a seven by 11. Spread that evenly and freeze it for about 20 minutes. Grab another bowl. Add in one cup of powdered sugar, one cup of marshmallow fluff, Oh and one fourth cup of peanut butter. Mix it. I just used my hands and it should feel like dough when you're done. Put it on top of the first layer and even it out. Now take some peanuts and layer that on top and gently press them in. Set that aside and grab about a cup of soft caramel. Melt it in your microwave and mix every 15 seconds. Once it's melted, spread it on top as fast as you can and then push it in. The last layer is the same as the first one. One cup of chocolate chips, one fourth cup peanut butter and melt it. Whee! Okay, almost <laughs> almost dropped that put it in your freezer for 20 minutes cut them up and now you know how to make homemade snickers let's try them okay here we go part three it's dry i'm gonna sand the edges so it's more smooth first side's done this is the only sandpaper i have left so it's not gonna be the smoothest but oh well here goes nothing i'm gonna try and paint this now i decided on pale blue with a glow and dark layer on top just got done with the last layer now i'm gonna turn off the lights and we're gonna see what it looks like okay why does that creep me out no thank you now i have to figure out how to get this on the baby i can just slide it all oh my gosh i did <laughs> i'm gluing it together with this but there's a problem not all the edges lay flat oops i'm putting weights on them here it is oh my god oh my god oh my god it's perfect don't mind the mess in the background but oh my god Deep cleaning and redecorating my living room part two. All of this mess and this needs to be moved out. I'm going to start with the storage cubes. Oh gosh, what is in here? Oh my gosh, I think this is my stepdad's, but my brother and I would play it all the time. See, that stands for Andrew and Kelly. Can you tell I love card games? It's so cute. It's all sorted. Now I'm going to clear off the table. This was my little call center desk, and it's still so weird not seeing a computer on it. Yikes, I'm glad I'm cleaning this. This does not work anymore. I'll be using this in a different room. It totally looks like I just moved in. And there's even an echo. Caw -caw! I have five boxes of stuff I need to build to fill this area, and I can't even bring them in because they're so heavy. I'm going to be honest, it's probably going to take me all day to build them, so I will see you at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning for part three. <gasps> You're still here. Okay, you get a little sneak peek of some more things I bought for decorations. And don't, don't mind me, it's one of those days. I'm really proud of this one. So I found one of these knitted ball seat things, and I found it for 30 bucks at Home Goods. What? I saw this and I just had to buy it. It's so cute, but I'm actually going to repaint it. Another plant, why not? This basket is so cute. It's from Target and I'm going to use it for my blankets. But I'm spray painting a different color. I have to try this. Grab some Oreos. You'll need about 27. Put them in a Ziploc bag and crush them. I've been through a lot the last few days. Set that aside. Grab a pot. Pour in one bag of white chocolate chips and a can of sweetened condensed milk. Put that on the stove on medium heat. Constantly stir it until it's melted. Take it off the heat and add in your Oreos. Mix it all together and then pour it into a baking dish and flatten it out. Um, oh my god. I forgot the parchment paper. If you want, you can add extra Oreo pieces to the top. Leave it in your fridge for a few hours and I'll see you in I'm just kidding. There's not going to be a part two. Yeah, yes, it's been a few hours. Now I got to cut it into squares. Now you know how to make Oreo fudge. Let's try it. <laughs> how do you guys do that? Okay, here we go. Wow, it's really good and it's really chewy. I didn't. I thought it was gonna be hard as rock. I thought I was quick. No, I could not find the gold cups anywhere. But I did get some cute ones, and I want to make a cup collection shelf now. Honestly, I'm just grateful I was able to get this one. <laughs> Our ice machine has been broken, so we've been getting pebbled ice from the gas station. Imagine pebbled ice in here. Ah, look at them together. I'm gonna start by taking everything out. Oh my gosh, they're so cute together. I've never had them all in one place at the same time. I'm gonna clean the shelves before I put them on. I should do it this in a year to see how many I've collected. I'm using these two for now. The random cups are going on the top part. I'm a huge fan of Love Island, so I got the cup and I use it every day. I don't even know why I'm putting it away because I'm gonna use it, but the drama on the show is so good. Anyway, that's the first shelf. My Starbucks cups are going on the bottom. These two are staying together though. I just don't have the heart to separate them. <laughs> Gosh, you guys are witnessing the start of my Starbucks cup collection. Bye. Redecorating my beauty slash filming room part four. I finally have all the things I need to paint. And Starbucks with my own eyes because the girl didn't put enough. I'm painting my entire room, so I need to get all of this stuff out. I'm going to shove as much as I can in the closet. I just took out the big mirror, and I'm finally getting rid of this stinking shelf. I put all the stuff that was on it on this shelf. This is only temporary. I have a plan, and I cannot wait to show you. How I'm gonna organize my makeup and skincare. Oh, it's gonna be a dream come true. There's tape on my floor. I'm almost done. I just need to take out this drawer and this one. I just have to take down this wallpaper. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be, but I'm almost done. I brought up all of the things I needed to paint. Now I'm just taping up the edges of the molding and the ceiling. This is the color I 
chose. It's a light gray and I'm so in love with it. Here's the first coat. Oh my gosh, my voice. <laughs> first coat on all the walls except this one which I'm gonna start in a minute. We're so excited for part five but it's going to be delayed by a few days because the organizers are ordered are not here yet. We love it! We're finding a whole bunch of stuff from just random things on the road so I'm gonna show you some of the stuff we found. Look at this dragon. I think it's made out of like tire. Tires! That's cool. I found Craig! He's so cute! A giraffe! That's cool! He got poop on his shoe. Mm. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow, so cool. This is so cool. I feel like I should add music to this. I'm going to try and make a that girl tote bag. I got this one at Cotton On. It's so cute. First a hair clip. I'm going with this blue one. Sunscreen. Yeah. AirPods. I can't decide between this case or this one with a smiley face. I'll just bring both. I don't even know where I'm going. Glossy Yay or Glossy Yay. -er. I've never had this brand before, but hand cream. Now some aesthetic rings. I chose these flower ones. Essentially everything's supposed to match. So I'm doing a pink smiley face necklace and angel number. Aesthetic lip products. We have chapstick, lip plump, lip oil, and lip gloss. Snacks. And just pretend I didn't just eat those. Sunglasses, but I can't decide. Do I match the sunscreen or the lip gloss? Hmm. I made paper ones. It's for the vision. Perfume matches the hair clip. Mascara that matches the ring. And cloud paint. And gum. And some bracelets. And a scrunchie. This Plant. Putting all the makeup in this bag. Yes. Love your carpet. I was going somewhere with that, but never mind. Anyways, okay, I think I did pretty good. Step a that girl sick routine. Whoa. I bought a freaking cricket and I'm gonna go hide it in my brother's house because I'm an evil little sister. This is payback for the pimento cheese. I'm in his basement. I'm putting it in this ramen box. That one was this. <laughs> so and some things flew. There wasn't just a smoke. Porch. Oh. I thought they were bats. <laughs> All I gotta say is pimento cheese. Oh, hell no. Why? Just why? Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. Also, I just got my nails done. I love that. Basically, a giant cube that lights up and you can use it as a chair. But I'm gonna use it as a nightstand. Just kidding, a chair. Just kidding, it's 4 a.m. and I can't decide. What? What? Oh my gosh. Can you imagine the pictures? <laughs> why I shop at 3 a.m. Okay, do I use it as a nightstand or a vanity chair? Also, if you want one, search Glow Cube Chair on Amazon. It'll pop right up. Or if you want a link, I'll put it on my Amazon page in my bio. Yo, what up? I'm at Coachella. I'm going to try and make one of those get ready stations. I think they're so cute. And this table is perfect. First, the hair section. Next, body makeup. All the other makeup's going in the middle. We have the lip section. Screenshot. These are all my favorites. Blush. Base makeup. I don't this has like primer, concealer, all that. Eye makeup. This section has eyebrows too. Contour. Brushes and highlighter. Last section's gonna have perfume. Favorite makeup wipes. And jewelry. I got this on Amazon. When you open it, there's like a mirror. Necklaces go behind the mirror. It's so cute. And that's pretty much it. I love it so much. It's so perfect. I'm posting all my outfits on IG, so if you want to see them, just in case, you can go there. <laughs> Bye! Yo, what up? I got a package in the mail today. It's from Daniela. We did a swap. I have no idea what's inside here. All I know is that the theme is summer. Look how massive this box is. And it's really heavy. I'm so excited. Okay, let's get this out. Oh, that's so cute. Girl, where do we even start? We'll start with this. <gasps> it's a hibiscus beach towel. Oh my god. This is my favorite flower and my favorite drink at Starbucks, the hibiscus drink. Thank you. Okay, let's open this next. This is so cute. Okay, so we have a ball. Hazel's probably going to steal that from me. A tie-dye kit. Reusable ice cubes. Oh, a Grogu pop socket. What is this? A watermelon fan. That's cute. I'm going to take out some of this. A squeezable bottle kit. Bubbles. Oh, it says bubbles. Okay, we have some stickers. Hello Kitty zip top bags. These are little dessert baggies. This is so perfect. I'm making Oreo balls for a family gathering and this is going to work perfect. Daniela, you went insane. This box is still so heavy. I'm going to have to do a part two, but give me like 20, 30 minutes while I film. The mess I make after one TikTok is... It's so bad. Let's just clean this. Scotch Bright sent me their advanced scrub dots non-scratch scrubbers, and I'm going to see if they really work. I'm going to put everything in the sink first. I'm just going to usually hold my scrubbers awkward like this, but it's shaped like a hexagon, so it makes it way easier to hold. And it rinses clean without trapping the mess inside the sponge. Well, that was easy. It's nice I don't have to worry about my countertops because they're non-scratch. And look, it stands on its side. Now I'm finishing up the dishes. Okay, it's all clean and ready for the next mess. If you want to try them, they're available at Walmart. And if you purchase in store at Walmart through October 23rd, you'll earn points too. Just pretend I did. 
Grab a bowl, pour some chocolate into the bowl, melt the chocolate in your microwave and mix every 15 seconds. Your chocolate should look like this when you're done, and I got different colors from Amazon. Yay. Grab your chocolate and place it into the mold. You're gonna spread it around the walls. Also, you can use whatever molds. I'm using pumpkins, acorns, and cubes. Once the molds are filled, stick them in your fridge for 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, grab a baking pan and fill it with liners. They're done! Once you've taken them out of the molds, put them in your pan. That is just so cute. Fill in the bottom half with hot chocolate powder and top them off with marshmallows. Grab the other half and place it on a warm pan to melt the edges. Once the edges are melted, place them on top just like that. Put them back into the fridge for about five more minutes. Take them out and that's it. Now you know how to make hot chocolate bombs. There's the acorn, the red pumpkin. Okay, let's just try them. Here's my warm cup of milk. I've decided we're going with blue acorn. Hope this opens in time. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's bubbling. <gasps> that is so cool. Yay! And it's blue! Yo, what up? I got a package in the mail today from Miles. This is a swap, so I have no idea what's inside here, so I'm excited. All I know is that the theme is self-care. Can I just say, this box smells like blueberries. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, I love this. Kind people are my kind of people. I love anything watermelon. Is this Haribo or Haribo? How do you pronounce that? This is so cute. It's a makeup brush cleaning mat. And it ha oh, it sticks onto your wall. Oh, mirror counter is what I was trying to say. This is a lychee sleeping mask. <gasps> Some chocolate. I've never had these before. This is so fun. You guys should tag a creator you want me to swap with next. I'm trying to figure out what smells so good. We got some eye masks. I love strawberry pocky. Oh my gosh. Next we have this. It's like wrapped up. Let me unwrap it real quick. <gasps> no, you freaking didn't. Miles, it's wet. There's still so much in the box. I'm going to have to do a part two, but it should be up right now. Yo, what up? This is a video I never thought I would ever make, but I'm going to show you guys my laundry routine. First, I bring the laundry basket down. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Okay, we're at the laundry room now. I'm just going to throw the clothes in. I'm mainly doing dark clothes right now. There we go. This is all in order. I start with the detergent. My washer has a pull-out tray. For a large load like this one, I usually do a fourth of a cup of detergent. And then about a fourth of a cup of laundry booster, and I just sprinkle that all over the clothes. For the scent beads, I use a little less than fourth of a cup, and I sprinkle that all over as well. For the softener, I kind of just eyeball it, but it goes in this blue compartment right here. Let's see if I can... There we go. I also eyeball the laundry sanitizer, so you can give it a little one-two. I've only ever used one setting, and that's cotton normal. Whee! These are already dry from earlier, but I gotta clean the lint trap. I don't know why, I just love cleaning this thing. Keep all of my dryer sheets in this box. If I did need to dry anything, I would just pick one up, throw one in, and start the dryer. I just love it in here now that it looks nice. No excuses, but what am I to do now? Ta-da! I bought a mini fridge at 3 a.m. Before I stock it, I'm gonna decorate the outside. I couldn't find a white fridge, so I'm wrapping it in this vinyl. Now I'm cutting out these shapes and sticking them onto- I don't think this is gonna look good. It's kind of cute, I guess. <laughs> Last one. It's so ugly. <laughs> I had a totally different image in my head. very much Yoshi is on the way to my house to retrieve some eggs and not my intention. <laughs> Next step, stocking the fridge. Yo, what up? I'm gonna try and make a giant advent calendar for my sister and niece. Wish me luck. Boxes in the middle and then bags on the side. Now that I have the layout, I'm gonna decorate them and then fill them. I'm gonna start with my nieces. I'm sticking these lollipop things to the back of the poster board. Okay, yes, and that's my sister's. So cute. Now I'm taking these ornaments and hanging them on the side. I wrote 1 through 12 in silver sharpie and now I'm sticking them onto the bags. I added some bows too. Oh my gosh, time to fill up. My niece loves turtles, so day one is a turtle ornament. And my sister gets a microphone because she loves to sing. Candy canes for day two. Day three, I'm doing bath bombs and a snowman. Oh my gosh. Day four, I found these wallet lanyard things, but there's an extra pouch for extra stuff. I don't Day five, a beauty sponge. Day six, these candles. They smell so good. I'm gonna have to put extra tape on the bags, though. Chapstick for day seven. Found these really cute hair ties for day eight. And some makeup removing towels for day nine. I'm excited for day ten. It's gel pens. Day eleven is an Oreo house, but I'm trying to wrap it. And necklaces for day twelve. <laughs> Yo, what up? I got two packages in the mail today, and we're gonna open them! They're from Boba Bell Slimes. Thank you so much. I love the packaging. I think we're gonna open up the lighter one first. I haven't seen what's inside yet, so I'm super excited. <gasps> no way! This is so cute! I love jelly beans! And we have 20 flavors. I'm opening this right now. The boba plushie! Get it, honey? Boba bear? Ah, I love it! The last thing in here was candy cane ice cream, and it comes with a little cone. Time to open the second box. This one is really heavy. Oh, it's a note! This is what the note says. Thank you so much, Christy. And there's a holiday restock on December 12th. See what's in the bow? Oh my gosh! We have brown sugar boba. I think this is for the DIY slime. Yup, I can't wait to play with that. This one is called the North Pole. I think this is crunchy slime. Never had a crunchy slime. And this one is called Baby Yoda Boba. Eggnog cheesecake. And this one is Christmas cookie bars. I can't wait to smell this one. A slime cookie. I want to eat it, but I know I can't. This is a really cute bag. Let's see what's inside. I've never played with slime before, so come back for part two where I try slime for the first time. 
Yo, what up? Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases, but for my new house. <laughs> Took me 17 times to say that. First is cutting board from Nordstrom. It's wavy. I've never seen a wavy cutting board. Once I clean my dump site, it's gonna go over here somewhere. This is from Etsy. It's a cloud and a cube. That's all. It makes me very happy. You can't stop looking at it. It's really cool. Next, an oil diffuser from Seasons. It's giving very much a life in the dream house. I'll figure out how to use that later. Everything else is from Amazon, so I'll just put it on my storefront. But next, I got these disco ball drink stirs. Hazel, so stop looking at me. Next, I found this tray. It's also wavy. I think I'm gonna use it for my kitchen sink to hold my soap and lotion. This face, it's so cute, and I'm putting tulips in them, which are also from Amazon. But anyways, they feel real. But they smell like chemical. Really bad. Hopefully that goes away. I saw this in pink, but I really like the green. I'm running out of time. I'll see you in part two of decorating my room or unpacking my filming room. I can't decide. Part three of the mystery box Daniela sent. She took the time to wrap and put stickers on this. That's so cute. A freaking glitter beach ball. Hold up. Oh, the glitter moves. Oh my god. Next is this. We have some nail files. This cute scrunchie. This is a scrunchie with tails. That's so cute. And some hair ties. I actually really needed these. I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, cute. It has the Candy Boulevard sticker on it. Thank you for taking the time to wrap these. It's so cute. Oh my god. Gosh, no way. Oh, this is way more than I expected. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, I'm just cutting onions in the background. A magic towel. My sister would love this. A pineapple keychain. What is this? Oh, okay. It's like a roll-on aroma thingy. That smells amazing. Some Listerine pocket packs. A cranberry hand sanitizer. And a transparent case that has Mickey Mouse on it. Some sour belts. <gasps> more sour belts from Candy Boulevard. Yay! I think I'll be able to finish this in part four. I'll see you soon. Grab some strawberries, wash them, grab a small spoon, take your spoon and cut into the strawberry, but not all the way, and pull out. Do this until you make your way around the whole thing. Don't mind my nails, by the way. Now that you have your first layer, start higher up and make a second layer. Once it looks like this, you can either leave the top like that or cut it in half. Now grab a skewer and poke it into the bottom of the strawberry. Put a whole bunch in a vase, and now you know how to make a strawberry rose bouquet. Every Mother's Day, I like to make my mom a DIY gift basket because she loves anything DIY. I'm doing a Mother's Day series so you can see how I make and what my mom's basket ends up looking like this year, so hopefully you can pull some ins. I'm gonna take a bad girl bath. Bath boom, but it smells like banana. Some Epsom salt, and can we appreciate how aesthetic this looks? While that fills up, I'm gonna get everything I need to put on the tray. I just decided on a watermelon theme. This mask for my face, eyes, lips. I'll do this bath bomb. This is so pretty. Can't forget to hydrate. I'm using dried raspberries and blueberries. A book. Almost done, just need a candle. I almost forgot these little watermelons for your eyes. That's pretty much it. This is so aesthetic. Even the freaking water. Oh my gosh, look at the- I'm still trying to become that girl, and I can't be that girl without a body skin care routine, so let's plan one out. This is everything I'm gonna use. First step, dry brushing. I always brush towards the heart, and this is the best for exfoliating. Next step, a body wash that has skincare ingredients in it, like collagen and vitamin B3 complex. My favorite is Olay's Collagen Body Wash. It always makes my skin feeling super soft and hydrated, and it smells good. Body conditioner. Time for lotion. Olay now has a matching collagen body lotion that includes all the same skincare ingredients as the body wash. Since using it, my skin is visibly firmer and more radiant and it smells amazing. There's no greasy residue, which is amazing. I just feel fresh after using it. And that's it. It's a pretty simple routine since these products already have amazing skincare ingredients in them. Yo, what up? I'm so excited because I'm doing another giveaway. That thing is so cute. Anyways, let's pack the box. Got these bags and I filled them with all my recent favorites for makeup, skincare, and hair. Before I continue, I got you guys a Craig Picnic basket. It's so cute. I have one too. For makeup, I got you my favorite lash kit, papaya beauty blender, blueberry buzz lip injection, Fenty Beauty gloss bomb. I love anything Fenty Beauty. Hair Beauty mascara. Favorite palette. Lash glue. For skincare, I got you this drunk elephant kit. Favorite hyaluronic acid serum and eye gel. Cookies and clean mask by Fenty Skin. I've gone through three of these already. It's so good. Supergoop daily moisturizer. Niacinamide nice dew drop. Totally. Cotalee. One of my favorite brands that I can't even pronounce right. That's kind of embarrassing, but this, I swear by this. If you don't have this, go buy it right now. And eye mask. Okay, the sun's going down and I'm running out of time. This is what I got you for hair. Shower stuff, hand sanitizer, these two cups, and a beach towel. And a stony clover lane tote. This giveaway is being held on my Instagram. Just look for the giveaway post. But yeah, good luck, you guys. I love you. And thank you for 8 million. The sun's gone. I should probably go inside. I've been loving my case to five phone case, and I may or may not have ordered a few more. Oops. But how can I not? They're six foot drop proof, so I can drop it on purpose like this, or an accident. Either way, my phone case is going to be protected. See? And I couldn't just get one. There are so many different styles to choose from. I couldn't resist. Like, look at this cow print one. Even celebrities like Kylie Jenner and Dua Lipa use them too. Now I'm going to show you the cases I got. First off, the packaging is beautiful. They even gave me sanitizing wipes to keep my phone clean. And yeah, times three, I got the cow print case. I still can't believe how cute these are. I also got these two. How cute would it be if you got the same case? If you decide to get one, be sure to use my code 15HONEYBOBA for 15% off. I just thought of the cutest date idea for me and my dog. Using these floats from What Do You Mean? I'm gonna need a lot of space, so yay! Two chairs tied to sheer with hair ties. Now I'm adding some pillows. <laughs> and some blankets, sorry. Extra mile, that's my last name. <laughs> 
can I say? I'm cute. Bottom line. Four snacks, I'm doing blueberries for me. And four treats for Hazel. And we'll scooch over for Zach. What'd you say? And from the back, told you. Trust the process. Spend the day with me in LA. This is my outfit. First, Erwan, and trying it for the first time. I forgot a knife. Like, I'll sit out mac and cheese. Got a smoothie, I forgot what it's called. 10 out of 10. Now we're at the Grove. These are cute. I already did damage. I need these. So pretty here. Now we're going to the Hollywood song. I'm gonna fill these with dried fruit. First, strawberries, bananas, raspberries, blueberries, mango, and cherries. I'm gonna put them on these shelves I got off Amazon. I'm gonna put everything on my Amazon storefront, by the way. Anyways, let's fill these. This one's gonna have crushed Oreos. This one's gonna have chocolate chips. You can twist these and everything comes out so easy. That's why my favorite toppings are in them. Putting the chocolate and caramel drizzle up here. Put some tea down here. Now I'm gonna put the sprinkles in rainbow order. Why did you do it? Except that's pink. Lastly, I put these lollipops in this mushroom cup. Now let's make some soda and ice cream. This is my favorite thing I've ever made. Too bad I have to pack it up. And I have to pack my pantry because I got my keys to my new place, so yeah. My brother left a fake cockroach in my drawer. I wasn't planning on moving it, but now that I'm moving it, I have to fear my brother. I'm coming for you. I might be right behind you. I'm too scared. Put paper towels on top of it so I wouldn't have to look at it. Wow! <laughs> so bad right now. Can you see that thing? It's huge. Put double sided tape on the Swiffer. I don't want to touch anything that's touching it. Just been scaring Kelly all afternoon with this fake roach in her room. <laughs> She's downstairs not even paying attention. Went ahead and I planted this little roach right here. Hopefully she comes in here to do her next video. She will come across that thing and freak out. Payback for the for the cricket. Still trying to become that girl and I can't be that girl with dirty makeup brushes so let's clean and organize them. Got some new makeup brush holders and they just make sense. They have a lid. No more dust. Okay, let's go wash my nasty makeup brushes. I'm gonna use this because I can't find my baby shampoo and I'm pouring it into this bowl. It's been two hours. I'm halfway done and I'm on the floor. <laughs> Yay, I'm done. I'm gonna let those dry. I'm gonna use my old beads because the new ones look kind of yellow. Everything is pretty much dry and I organized it by color. I'm doing smaller brushes on that side and bigger ones over here. I'm hoping I don't need a third one. Oh my, I've never, what? <laughs> These are so nice. Let me close the lid. Like, whose makeup brushes are these? They're that girl's. Let's restock my fridge as that girl. First, water. Filling two of these with cucumber. This one with limon. This is so aesthetic reality. You got some trash? Just dump it at my house. Next, Capri Sun. Pacific Cooler. Friggin' oatmeal. Well, this is awkward. It's turning into a pantry restock. Halloween cookies. So good. Granola. Do you guys like that? <laughs> these are for my refresher bar. We have blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries. Cute container for lemons. I know this is not food, but I might as well. Could go on and pretend this is all I have to restock, but there's so much more. <laughs> Starbucks followed me. Of course, I'm going to celebrate at Starbucks. I'm getting my favorite drink, a new drink to try, and my least favorite drink. Hi, can I please get a very, very hibiscus with extra scoops of berries, please? And then can I get a venti pink drink with salted cream foam on top? Matcha green tea latte with soy milk, please. A matcha green tea. I meant to say salted cream cold foam. I'm so awkward. I hate ordering. I always forget my lines. The car in front of me paid for me. That was so nice. So I paid for the person behind me. It was like 20 bucks, but I don't care. This is my favorite drink. Very bare hibiscus. Extra scoops of berries. Ah, I love it. This is beautiful. Okay, so this is the pink drink with salted cream cold foam on top. Let's try it. Wait, this is bomb? This is 100% my new favorite drink. This one, I'm not even gonna take a drink of. I'm just gonna give it to my BF. It's his favorite drink. It just tastes like grass to me. I just can't do it. Organizing my makeup and skincare part three, I'm gonna hurry and fill the makeup side so I can move on to the skincare side. I'm gonna make little piles again because that just makes things so much easier. I'm doing five of the longer containers on the left. One for mascara, eyelash glue, lip liners. I feel like these two need to go in the top drawer though, so I'm probably gonna move them. Black liner and colored liner. These two trays are gonna hold my eyebrow stuff. I can't decide. I think, I don't know what I'm thinking. I think the primers are just gonna go here. I don't know 
know how I feel about the front, but the ones that can't stand are going back here. To finish off the drawer, I'm doing setting sprays on the right. I've been practicing this line for the last 20 minutes. In the back, I am keeping my brush cleaning product and an extra beauty blender. And an extra eyelash curler, I don't know. For the last drawer, I'm using these marble trays. This one is for any product that brands send me or that I buy that I want to try or even do a video for. And the last one is going to be like a workout drawer. I think it's so cute. So I have decorations. I can't wait to show you those and I'm working on the skincare section tonight So I'll see you in the morning. We're finally here. Deep cleaning my laundry room part two. It's time for my favorite part Decorating! Okay, let me get down. First, I'm gonna fill these jars. In the first one, we're doing detergent. I'm gonna try to pour it all at once. Oh my gosh, cross your fingers for me. Oh yeah. The second one is going to hold the laundry booster. I cannot do laundry without this stuff. It makes my clothes smell so, so good. This one is going to hold scent booster beads. There you go. I used about a fourth of a cup for each one of these, so I'm just going to stick this into the jar. I found this really cute jar for the laundry sanitizer, so I'm just going to pour that in. And I'm doing the same for the laundry softener. It kind of looks like milk. I got labels for each of these, so I'm just finishing up the last one. I got this bin. I thought it was perfect to put dryer sheets in. I also got one for kitchen towels. I'm putting these in order of how I use them. So excited! Don't know what I'm gonna put there, but this one's gonna hold my wallflower. I added this rug, and I'm so happy with the way it turned out. Ah, so Here's another one of my 3 a.m. purchases. It seemed like a good idea at the time. You can do it with any fruit. I'm using a watermelon. Ah, first, you screw these into the bottom to make it stand. But you're supposed to cut the top off. Scoop all of the fruit out into a bowl. And we're blending! I just put the tap in. Now I'm straining out all the chunks and seeds. Oh my gosh, let me put some ice in and let's try it. Yes! Yes, this is what shopping at 3 a.m. is all about. It leaks a few drops after you've used it, but other than that, I have no regrets. I'm going to recommend this on my Amazon page because it's so stinking cute. In case you want to try it, the link is in my bio. It's Hazel's birthday, and she's one years old now. <laughs> she's growing up. Let's make her some treats. Grab about a cup of watermelon, put it in a blender, and then add two scoops of plain yogurt. And we're blending! Once it looks like this, grab some molds and pour it in. I'm just using a measuring spoon. Aren't these molds so cute? For the next treat, all you need is one or two strawberries. Smash them with a fork and then put them in the mold, but don't fill it all the way. Fill the rest of it up with plain yogurt. Now put them in the freezer for a few hours. I also got her this gift and I put a little bow on it. One more gift I have to pick up, but her reaction to everything deserves a video on its own, so I'll see you later today. Resetting my entire house part four, I got a desk. What? Way better than my bed. I'm gonna be so productive. Since I have no drawers, I got these from Target and I'm gonna use them to organize everything. Please enjoy this ASMR by Honey Pop. This one's gonna hold highlighters, gel pens. Last one is for editing. It's gonna hold batteries, SD cards, headphones. So I just put my desk in this room. Now I'm gonna decorate the wall. The lighting is so bad in here, but it's so cute so far, and I put that up. Fast forward, I added lights. I stacked these two because I thought it would look better, and now I'm adding a plan. I usually have my to-do list on my phone, but I thought this was so cute. I got it off Amazon. That's going right there. Lastly, an ice cream candle. I'm gonna be so productive, hopefully. Next up, I'm restocking my mini fridge. Yoda. I'm still trying to become that girl, but I can't be that girl without a cute entryway. <laughs> Okay, one of my lights just fell on me. Anyways, first I'm gonna hang up the mirror. Okay, this is my favorite 3 a.m. purchase I've ever made. I have to clean it though, it's very dirty. Got this acrylic table from Home Goods. That's gonna go in the middle. Now I'm gonna decorate. I found these books on Amazon. I thought they were so cute. I'm gonna use the orange and yellow. Look how cute this chunky mug is. I'm gonna put it on top of the books. And a squiggle candle right behind it. Not sure what to do with the other side, so I'm going with this plant. A bubble candle that smells so bad, but it's really cute, so it's fine. Lastly, a tray. Clear or checkered though. Yep, that's pretty much it. I love it so much. Next, I'm finishing part two of my Starbucks cup. I think it looks better without the rug. Anyways, okay shopping for one thing and came home with so much more haul Boop. So this is the reason i left my house mouthwash it's really cool i gotta fix that got the 35g palette by morphe it's so pretty and the morphe 2 concealer also if you want to support me next time you shop at morphe use code glamfam 1650 for five dollars off your next ten dollar or more purchase wow that's pretty i got a makeup sponge kylie did a restock on her birthday lip balm so i had to get those i will be repurchasing this set just for these three they smell amazing my favorite is a watermelon and then these this one just smells like old like my grandma's house it's not a bad smell it just i don't know how else to describe that and then this one imagine leaving a peach on your counter and leaving for vacation for one month and coming back and taking a whiff that's better than sex mascara because i'm always running out a watermelon sugar scrub i'm addicted to these this necklace with a k on it for my name anti-frizz hair wipes shave cream and peel off mask i heard they were really good this lotion super thin that's why i like it and here's everything else because i'm out of time part two let's take it out of the fridge ah, i'm so excited 
So in part one, I told you to use four packets. I don't know why I said that. I meant four packets from two boxes. So eight total, don't forget. All right, I have my cutting board. I'm gonna cut it straight in the middle. This is what it looks like cut in half. I'm gonna cut it one more time. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Pff, I'm a little dramatic. Now you know how to make watermelon fruit slices. Let's try it. These are so cool. They're frozen in time. No, jelloed in time. Oh. Okay, here we go. What? What? This is so good! You know what? For me, it needs more sugar. Maybe put some vanilla extract in the mixture, but you need a little bit more of something sweet. But other than that, it's good. Mmm. Also, what is going on? Last night I had 3.1 million friends. Now I have 3.2 million friends. Oh my god! Hello, oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm done with the smoothie bar. I'm gonna make a lemonade bar. It's 11 11, make a wish. Making this into a lemonade slash refresher bar. I don't know what else to call it. These kind of look like fish bowls. I feel like there's a popcorn kernel stuck in my gum. I can't get it out. I'm filling the first jar with monk fruit. This one's gonna have freeze dried strawberries. Oops. Can't forget the mangoes, blueberries. This is for a thumbnail. Raspberries for the last one. Life hack I put a Ziploc bag in here to make this jar look more full. Ah cycling. Wait, this is so cute. Okay, I got this from Home Goods and I'm gonna put the lemons in it. Now I'm just topping off the honey. I got these mini reusable straws from Target. And I'm just putting them in this jar. Stirring sticks. And my favorite tea. Oh my god! Well, this is the best one. We're almost at 5 million. I'll get a tattoo if we can hit 5 mil in the next 10 seconds. Yo, what up? I'm getting my nails done because that thing destroyed them. Worth it though. It's beautiful. I'm gonna show them this. I put it together myself. Thank you. Girls don't cry and the sad face. So cute. Here's a little before action. The other side. My nail tech is gone till March. I'm going to a complete stranger. Same place though. Cross your fingers for me. Probably my favorite nails. It says, girls, don't cry. Ah, I might cry over these. Other side. These are the longest nails I've ever had, too. <laughs> I love them. Yo, it up. My nails are fire. Literally fire. Look at the flame. Yeah. Mm, mm. Time for our daily hug. Bring it in. You're so warm. Hey, we're going to be decorating my very first Christmas tree. I've always decorated family Christmas trees. Never one of my own, so I wanted to include you guys in it because it's special. Let's do this. This is where I'm going to put it, so I'm going to move all this stuff to a different area. <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> Duck! Now I gotta mop it. So pretty! The first layer is down. I'm opening up the branches before each layer. Listen up, y'all, because this is it. The beat that I'm playing. Wait. Oh. My God! Wait for it. Wait for it. filming room i feel like the series is never gonna end the shelves are here let's put them up yay it's up oh man i'm looking rough i'm working on the fronts of the drawers first and then i'm sorting my skincare by brand this is what the front of the first drawer looks like now i'm organizing the second drawer i'm matching the amount of containers on the makeup side to the skincare side my floor is finally going to be clean let's start filling them also i'm sorry about the audio going from low to crazy loud i think it's happening to more people now so hopefully tiktok is working on that Got to film the process but this is what the second drawer looks like I'm doing five containers in this drawer also drop your favorite makeup remover i'm looking to move away from makeup wipes i don't know why i keep using makeup wipes it's so bad for your skin but i heard micellar water is really good so i'm gonna try this this drawer is like the body drawer we have the pumps the sprays and the oils extra body scrubs and after one leg i realize that this is gradual tan can you imagine what my leg looks like right now this one has serums and toners this top one has cleansers and exfoliators i don't know i was just trying to fill the space three more drawers decorating cleaning and i will be done i will see you in a couple of hours this is probably gonna take me hours but i'm gonna try to make a glow-in-the-dark starbucks cup now i'm putting tape in the cup so the glitter doesn't go everywhere this is glow-in-the-dark glitter you can get it on amazon or michael's oh my god i'm just gonna do the whole bottle because why not now i'm gonna make the snow globe mixture it's one third cup elmer's glue and two thirds cup of water i'm just putting it in the squeeze bottle now we're gonna gonna mix this up okay here we go oh my god i think i used too much glitter and everything clumped together it's gonna take me hours to wash this out so i'm gonna work on another one in the meantime i'm just hoping this one doesn't clump because it's really cute I sealed the hole with a cabinet bumper you can get them at target i heard the best way to seal it is with resin i don't know what i'm doing i'm just gonna pour it on top <laughs> the resin takes a day to set let me show you the potential this cup has i'm gonna buy some more glitter to fix this so i will see you tomorrow redecorating my beauty slash filming room for the second time part two i'm so excited because i was able to find everything i needed to finish this closet today i have to build a couple of things but first i'm gonna put up my cloud lamp 
This is so cute. I got it off of Amazon in case you wanted to get one too. I've sorted all of the hardware. Now I just have to build it. Finally, it's one in the morning. I have one more thing to build. One hour later, now I'm going to install these LED puck lights. I found these at Target and they're really cool because they're touch activated. Since I have wired shelves, I just took some tape and wrapped it around three wires. I did that so the double-sided tape on the light has something to grip onto. I'm just working with what I have. Oh my gosh, this is what they end up looking like. I love it. Now, I have to put everything back. <sighs> the only thing I know is that my nail cart is going in this corner. It's three in the morning. I'm going to go to sleep <laughs> and organize this when I wake up. I'll see you in part three. I promise I'll hurry. Part two, I gotta finish putting these on. That took forever. If they're on now, let's put them up. A lot of you said I should store these horizontally, which makes sense, so I'll just fix them later, and then I'll update you on my Instagram or something. This is the last one. I'm so excited. <gasps> wow. It's not perfect, but I'm just happy it came out decent. I'm starting to draw on it, and I've already messed up. These markers are not the best, but this is my fifth time doing this, so it is what it is. I'm also making a calendar, which is the main reason why I wanted a chalkboard, and I think it looks really cute so far. I went a little overboard with all the colors because I was really excited about them, but I love this thing so much and I think I'm going to redo it. But for now, this looks great and I can't wait to fill it out. Yay! I'm excited for this one. Everything I'm going to show you is on my Amazon page. If it's not, I will let you know where I got it from, but the link is in my bio. I'm so low on everything right now. I haven't done lashes in a few months because my focus is somewhere else, but I think I got this container at Bed Bath Beyond or Home Goods. Up here, I have micro and lip applicators. I use these for so many things like adding pre treatment or sealant or even removing the lashes. Keep my under eye pads. I've tried so many. These are the best ones I've found so far. For any service before I set up, I like to lay a dental bib down and then put my stuff on top, and I just keep them on that bottom drawer. Spoolies, cotton swabs, and tape. If you're willing to spend a little bit more on tape, Next Care is so much easier to remove. Oh my gosh, and it's more comfortable for your client. I get my tiles from Home Depot. I thought these ones were so cute. I got this at Michael's. When I make my pre made fans, I just store them in here. My Nano Mister. It's so cute. Lash shampoo that I love. This manual air blower. Honestly, I just use this fan. I know I should try other lash brands, but I just love Minky's lashes. When I practice, I keep the tiles in photo boxes. These magnifying glasses come with a light, super helpful. If I missed anything, I'll list it in the comments. My beauty slash filming room is basically done, so I'm going to do a mini tour. Also, I ordered this off of Amazon. It's for my room, but I can only show it to you at nighttime, so if you want to see what it is, I will post a video later tonight. Where I do my makeup, of course, but I also film my YouTube videos here. I got the desk from IKEA, this I DIY'd, and then the chair I got from Home Goods. The neon signs are from Amazon. That I think I got at Ross as well as Lowe's. When you turn around, this is what you'll see in my YouTube videos. This is kind of like my esthetician supply closet. So over here, I have my nail cart. This basket system is so helpful. So this unit is from Target. This long one is from IKEA as well as the basket. Back here, I have my LED lights, which I framed on my closet, and these were from Amazon. And I also have a train case. In case you do want to see what's in my drawers, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Channel, I'll be posting a detailed room tour and I will try to link everything possible. This unit is from Ikea and you can customize it so I just got two of the biggest ones. This side is for all of my makeup. It's my side hobby so I wanted one spot for all of it. This side holds skin, body, and hair products. And then my mirror and I'm gonna put slippers here. And that's it. Yeah. This is so last minute but I'm gonna try and wrap gifts as that girl. First I'm wrapping everything in white gift wrap. I suck at wrapping so I'm using boxes now. Don't know why that took me two hours anyway. Now I'm gonna try and draw an aesthetic pattern on each box. Wish me luck. First two done, they're cow print. I don't even know what this one is. This one's cute from far away but when you get close. Using a chalk marker for this one. This one's gonna be like a drippy smiley face. Yeah. <laughs> this one's kinda cute. Oh my gosh. Putting a silver bow on all of them and now I'm gonna put them under the tree. Are you ready to open presents? You already know what's going on. Hazel's gonna be opening all her gifts on Instagram stories, so I'll see you there. Yo, what up? I don't think I've ever- Well, this can only go two ways. I'm scared. Matches my nails. Okay, I got this. Let's plug it in. It's spinning. I'm supposed to wait five minutes and then pour the sugar in. Let's do blue first. Turning it on. Look. Okay. Oh, I don't want it to catch on fire. It's stuck. It's stuck. It's smoking. Uh, trying again. <laughs> I'm gonna try it one more time. Maybe I need a new coat. <gasps> what am I doing wrong? It's working. It doesn't sound good. This is good. I'm happy with this. Soda. <laughs> Yo, what up? Decorating my room part three. I need nightstands, so. I'm gonna try and make them. Hopefully, I don't make a giant mess. Throwing that hope out the window. This is gonna be so messy. Now I'm putting on primer. Not sure if you have to, but just in case. Next, I'm putting drywall tape all over. Time for the messy part. I'm gonna mix everything in this bucket. I'm gonna start with two parts plaster and a cup of water. Well, I already messed up. It's very watery. Okay, I figured it out. I'm pouring the whole box in here. Then I'm adding water and mixing until it looks like frosting. Yeah, I did it. Okay, first layer. I'm done. I'm never doing that again. Mess because it was that bad. Anyways, I primed it with this. Now I'm gonna put them in my room. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. I think they're so cute. I still have a lot to do, but I'm gonna take a break and start working on my kitchen. L O L. Yeah, it needs. 
Yo, what up? I'm gonna try to make a coffee candle. Don't know what I'm doing, but I've been winging it my whole life and it's gotten me this far. So that's what I'm gonna do. First, I'm making the caramel drizzle, so I'm melting some wax for that. I'm heating up the jar and Hazel's going crazy. Now I'm just adding in a few drops of this candle wax dye and a few drops of this caramel latte scent. I'm waiting for this to cool down a little bit and my plan is to put it in this piping bag. <laughs> It worked! It actually worked! I'm using clear gel wax as my ice. Now I'm making the coffee. Here goes nothing. I'm trying to make a creamy brown color. I'm so excited. My place is going to smell like coffee all the time. I'm so scared. I don't want to mess this up. Here we go. Oh my gosh. There we go. Oh my gosh. Ah, it's so cute. Now let's make the whipped cream. I broke up a whole bunch of tea light candles and I'm going to melt them in the microwave. Now I'm just whisking it and then I'm going to put it in this piping bag. Okay, it kind of looks like whipped cream. Oh my god. Wow, it looks so real. Ah, it smells so good. It's so cute. Yo, what up? White Fox sent me $1,500 worth of clothes. Um, I'm gonna cry. Best part is, I got to choose every single piece, so I'm gonna show you my favorite outfits. I'm so excited. First, this really cute sweat set in the color gray. It's so cute. And it's really soft. I got another color. I can't decide which one I like more. Like, this green is everything. Okay, keep these two in mind for just a second. I'm going to Florida, so which one of these should be my airport thing? Before you decide, look at the back of this one. See what I'm saying? What do I do? I also got this really pretty bodysuit, and it's all the way open in the back. <laughs> Last thing I want to show you are these bike shorts and shirt. I just want summer to be here. It's like 12 degrees outside, so I'm gonna have to wait on these. But for the summertime, you will see me in this. There's still so much more. They also gave me a really cute code. It's Honey TikTok. I'm doing a try-on haul of everything I got on my YouTube channel. As a thank you to White Fox for sending me these. I'm so excited to wear everything I could cry. Part two of the mystery box Daniela sent. There's so much in here. Again, thank you, Daniela, for sending this. We have some ring pops. She has her own shop called Candy Boulevard, so if you see any candy in here you want, you can order from the link in her bio. This is so cute. It's a bath gift set. Oh my gosh it's oh my gosh pink lemonade candy straws thank you thank you just thank you flamingo lollipops my heart cinnamon discs oh perfect a sticker that says you deserve it i don't i really don't it's a binder zip case i don't have a binder but my sister does my voice is starting to hurt ketchup and mustard on a chair on a freaking bench strawberry sour power straws yay slaps i see these on her page all the time and i've always wanted to try them Are these bullies yes they're bullies helados well i tried i'm trying to learn how to speak spanish fluently i know i'm colombian and i don't speak spanish that's a story for another time how please explain how there's still stuff in here and it's still so heavy okay part three is coming part two i'm at the nail salon let's see if they can fix this okay square one they removed the polish I asked them to remove the whole thing they said they can't so i'm stuck with this bought them for a refund over the phone they kept telling me no then i got there i almost left and walked out the door once they took my nail polish off and then they said we'll give you half your money back <laughs> at this point i'm done let's Turn see if Bluetooth on. let's see if the next place can help me do i even dare ask for this or should i just go with a solid color <laughs> okay i got something even better ready so cute finally i tipped very well they're so cute please they compliment my skin color and just oh my gosh it's just so beautiful finally yo what up i just bought my dream couch and it's on its way right now it's white time to build it should be pretty easy just screw in the legs oh my gosh. i'm gonna set up the pieces not sure what i want to do i think i'll do a u-shape actually so i found this cup today it's really pretty anyway moving on should i keep this on probably is this real just pinch myself <laughs> It's 3 a.m. and I'm decorating a couch. Hi, Kelly. What? Checkered blanket and these round pillows. That's all I have so far. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cry. How is this happening right now? Well, good night, guys. It's like 4 a.m. <laughs> This is so bad. I'm gonna try to become that girl, but first, I need to clean and restock this room, so let's do that. I wanna keep these up forever, but. <laughs> first, I'm picking up all the trash. I'm gonna make two piles for makeup and skincare. Now let's put it away. Now I'm going to organize my drawers and restock. Now I'm just going to wipe everything down. can't remember the last time I cleaned this mirror. It's pretty disgusting up here. I'm just trying to watch Love Island and I'm over here cleaning my room. Like... Oh. Finally! I'm done! Oh my gosh, that took me all day. This weekend I'm doing a tour of this room, so if you want to see that and help me get to 100,000 subscribers, go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay. Take it off.
all in. I just woke up and I couldn't wait to make this video. I went to Sephora and I got a wet wax. I'm trying it for the first time. Hopefully it can help my hair. I've been straightening my hair every day since 7th grade, so yeah. Also, Faith Force sent me this whole goodie box. I'm gonna be trying their one minute mask. Got the shampoo, conditioner. My ends feel so soft. Now the mask. I don't use that much. It smells like vacation. Ah! It feels kind of dry, not gonna lie. I also trust the process, so I'm gonna use this Smooth For Sure Blowout Cream. It's supposed to be a heat protectant as well, so I'm gonna let it finish air drying and then I'm gonna style it. Okay, my hair is dry and it's so soft, I was worried for a second. To straighten my hair, I use the Silk Elements Heat Spray and then the Wet to Straight Straightener from Walmart. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I'm gonna use Texture Spray and Shine Spray by Air. <gasps> okay, wow. Yo, what up? My family coming in an hour, so I'm gonna try and make a mini snack bar. I have to hurry. First, I'm filling the bowl. This one's gonna have strawberry cream marshmallows. I have to tell you guys why my family's coming. It's really exciting. Hershey's Kisses. These are so cute. I was nominated for Lifestyle Influencer of the Year. They're announcing the winners today. I don't think I'll win, but who knows? I just wanted to celebrate that I was even nominated. That in itself is crazy, so thank you guys so much. This one's gonna have mini eggs. I got mini tongs for these two, but this one broke, so I'll just use a scoop. Putting everything on my island. Putting all this stuff on the stand. Popcorn in the middle, strawberry soda, I don't know. So I did not end up winning, but I'm so grateful that I was even nominated. Like, that is insane. I don't, even, I don't even have words for it, but I just want to thank you guys for even putting me in that category, like being put amongst five other incredible people. That is insane. So thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Let's open some PR. If you want to know why I was gone, check my IG stories later. Maybe I might post a story time. You guys, I'm First, we have Morphe. Thank you. We have the Cherry Coke collection. Look at that blush. It actually smells like cherries. And look at the palette. It's so beautiful. I'm definitely going to be using these colors. And we got a lip gloss. You can use my code for money off. Next, Ofra. There's so much in here. Oh my god. I'm crying. Thank you so, so much. I did not expect all of this. Um, I've never used Ofra cosmetics before. They're vegan and cruelty-free, so I'm super excited to try them. They even sent me some skincare. Hold on. Did some swatches. The Lippies are super buttery and they smell amazing and the pigment on the eyeshadows are unreal they're so beautiful dw home sent me some candles and this is how i know they pay attention i use this room spray everywhere it's in the back of my videos all the time and they sent me it in candle form that's all so it all smells so good thank you so much i'm totally sharing this with my mom this one came at the perfect time mccart sent me their brand new poly gel collection i can't wait to use it thank you i'm so grateful for everything let me know if you guys want a part two decorating my room part four <laughs> oh, thing helps my voice a little bit anyways part four decorating my room my voice. Okay, I'm just gonna whisper. I bought a few things to add. First, these LED lights. I'm gonna put them on this wall. Oh my gosh, it looks so cute. I also put one on my bathroom door. I drank some tea. My voice is feeling a little bit better. I'm gonna build this chair I got on Amazon. I'm screaming. I didn't realize how, sm <laughs> how small this was until it came in the mail. Basically, just bought a chair for my dog. This is ridiculous. I also got this really cute side table. Look how cute this candle is. It's my birthday month. I like to celebrate my birthday all month long. It's horrible. I'm adding a self-care jar because I'm sick. Snacks. This turned into a different video. And water. Everything is really cute so far. I love it. Especially the door. So cute. Anyways, bye guys. I'm going to sleep. Bye guys. Come with me to the ice castles. First, I'm going through this tunnel. Very narrow. Very claustrophobic. Building chairs. That's cool. It's the entrance. I'm scared. I feel like those are going to fall. This is everything during the day. This is at night. It's so pretty. Oh my God. That's cool. I must have fallen. Oh, a window. Okay, okay. They're dripping water. Look at that wall. You can't really see me, but yeah. It's doing the thing. It's doing it. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is really glowy. Ah, must touch it. Oh, that's that was fun. Goodbye. Ice castles. Redecorating my beauty slash filming room for the second time. I'm even getting rid of my boy Shando. Bye bye. I'm gonna start off with the closet. Not too long ago, I fell and I broke my closet door and I was gonna fix it, but then I was like, no, wait, I could do something with that. So this door is coming off too. Now that the doors are off, it feels so much bigger in here. I'm gonna start taking everything out of the closet and putting it in this corner. I seriously need to find a new spot for my massage table. I forgot I had this. It's a neon cloud sign. I'm totally using it for the new room. Everything is out. I'm gonna spray and wipe down the wired shelves. Now I'm gonna wipe down the molding and clean the floor. I'm so excited. I got some LED lights for Christmas. I'm gonna put them behind the frame of the closet. I'm so excited. So I'm just making sure <laughs> that was for a thumbnail. I'm just making sure that the light is behind this frame thingy. Changed my mind. I like the look of it being shown. Wow. So I'm gonna pick up my storage and organizational things tomorrow so I can start putting everything back in. So I'll see you in part two. Part two. Now I'm gonna unpack and organize the hotel room starting with the shower. The shelf is so nice. First shampoo and conditioner. Body wash. Brought some sugar scrub. Hair mask, because why not? Razor and shave cream. Lastly, my silicone loofah. Now I'm gonna organize the sink. Face towels and makeup erasers will go here. Skincare is going on the side too. Next, oral care like toothbrush, toothpaste, and mouthwash. Putting this nail brush right here, makeup right here, and my hair stuff is going right here. I'm actually putting all the makeup removing stuff down here. Body care like lotion and sunscreen is going right here. Last time I slept was the day before yesterday. 
<laughs> I'm so tired. We're gonna pretend that looks good. Next, I put all my clothes in here. These are all my Coachella outfits, and I don't even want to show you out there because it's so bad, and I don't feel like unpacking it, so. Well, this is unexpected. I'm trying to make a different TikTok that I keep having to re-record because I'm trying to hide the fact that my phone case is broken. So I decided to upgrade and I'm getting Kistify. R.I.P. that phone case. Hey. Anyways, I downloaded the Kistify app, selected my phone model and the case style I wanted. Yup, I'm doing the photo grip case with a black exterior and then I chose the grid layout. Can I just say this part was so fun? I uploaded my photos and got to place them where I wanted. It's gonna be so cute. And before I knew it, my phone cases were here. I was so excited. Look at this packaging, by the way. It made me feel like it was my birthday. We got some sanitizing wipes and pulling this bow was so satisfying. They even included a mask. <gasps> Okay, where's the inhaler? Now when I miss Hazel, I can just look at the bag of my phone and be sure to use my code 15 honey boba for 15% off. Cleaning my cleaning closet part two. I have to go to the kitchen. So I normally use these cleaners, but I'm gonna wait till they're empty and I saw these glass spray bottles and I'm gonna try and make homemade cleaner. In case I don't like it, comment down below your favorite cleaners or recipes you think I should try. But for now, I might as well be cute while I have them. If you just wanna do this and skip the homemade recipes, most containers will tell you if you have to store it in its original container. With what I read on my other cleaners, these are the only two I'm putting in glass bottles. I'm labeling them with this and a paint marker. These are so cute! Also, I saw that a lot of people wanted to know how my hand was doing. I just want to say thank you. I feel so loved and cared for. My hand is doing so much better. I'm almost able to make a full fist, and it's getting better every day. These bins are from Ikea. I'm putting Swiffer pads in this one. I almost forgot I got these command hooks. You stick them to your wall, and you can hang your broom or mop on them. My cleaning cloths are going in this basket. I'm putting the cleaners I use the most on the first shelf. The rest of them are going under here and under my sink. This is so cute. I'm adding a fake plant on the side. This basket for Hazel's clothes and that one for random things. Oh my gosh, it looks so good in here! I'm sleeping in the closet. Good it's hot. I'm gonna try some of your favorite drinks at Starbucks. Please be good. Hi, can I please get a cup of cream cold foam and caramel, please? Sorry, um, those cars behind you, I heard literally- Of cream cold foam and caramel, please? Like a, uh, like a grande cup? Yes, please. Thank you. Is that caramel drizzle in the cup? Or... Um, yes, please. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's gonna be so freaking awkward. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Eleanor, let's give this a try. Mmm, so good. Hi, can I get a grande dragon fruit refresher with sweet... So unfortunately, uh, we're all out of our dragon fruit. Oh! all the other refreshers still to order this instead oh lily i didn't even know this existed okay here we go Yo, what up? I'm finally gonna unpack and organize my new kitchen i have an island now by the way first i'm organizing all the cups i think i'll put all the clear ones on one shelf i don't know got my nails done by the way i think they're so cute little girls these remind me of being in chemistry next shelf is gonna hold my water bottles and these ones on the other side Almost forgot about these clear ones. Lastly, all my mugs are going on top. This is my favorite mug. It's so cute, except this part. Why'd they ruin it? Okay, I'm finally done. I'm gonna put my cutting board back and my flower vase. Still have to figure out how to decorate this area, but at least this part's done. Anyways, next I'm organizing my Starbucks cups. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. Yo, what up? I got two packages from TikTok. Oh my god. The bottom one is kind of heavy, so I'm gonna open the top one first. I'm so excited. This is so cute. This is so cute. Okay, I'm gonna read the card. So they sent gifts and products from Latinx owned brands to show appreciation and celebration of Latinx creators. Thank you so much, TikTok. I'm gonna FaceTime my mom and be like, I got the junk shot. Sure, a hat, some stickers and tattoos, and then this box. Whoa. Whoa, that is really cool. This one was so good. I'm scared to open this one. <coughs> I'm sorry. Hey, calm, Kelly. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. This is so sweet. Very thoughtful. I feel so supported. We have some bum bum cream, some coffee, this cute tote bag, and I cannot wait to try these hair care products. And this candle smells amazing. And we got some good chips. Thank you, TikTok. Yo, what up? I'm gonna decorate my living room for Christmas. I'm so excited. First, I'm gonna use these Govee neon lights and white lights to DIY a candy cane and a snowflake on my wall. Wish me luck. Starting with a snowflake, I'm putting it on this wall. Almost done. Just need one more. This is so cute. Time for the candy cane. I'm putting it right there. Ready for my masterpiece? I tried doing swirls in the middle and I think it looks so good. Now I'm going to add Govee Christmas string lights to my tree to give it more color. Lastly, I'm adding these Govee LED strip lights to my couch and my TV stand. Oh my gosh, you guys, everything turned out so perfect. Look at the candy cane. I DIY'd it to where it's white and red on the inside. I think it's so cute. And the snowflake, I'm obsessed. I even did white and red under the couch. And the TV stand. You can even see the Christmas tree. This room is definitely giving Christmas. Love this so much. Well, good night, guys. I'm going to be here for the next month. 
I'm gonna make a That Girl Car Essentials kit. Hairbrush, hair ties, first aid kit, anti-frizz hair wipes, waxing strips, you never know. Lip balm, look how cute this is, oh my. Lotion, bobby pins, sunscreen, toothbrush floss, and toothpaste. Wrinkle releaser, hand sanitizer, lint roller, flashlight, tahin, light. Extra ball for hazel, and extra poop bags. Some cliff bars, a mini gorilla pod, charger, and an empty lipstick bottle with cash in it, just for emergencies. A pen, and that's pretty much it. Part two, I bought clay. You guys told me to get sandpaper, so I did, and it's so smooth. Finally done, now I'm just cleaning it. Tape is on, now I'm gonna paint the whole thing white. I'm only worried about the clay part. Wait, this looks so good. Do I use the clay? Yes. No. Yes. No. Should I use the clay? I need to move the mirror, so I'm gonna trace a line around it. Oh, well, there's no going back now. Okay, okay, the first rope is done. Now I have to shape it to the black line. If this actually works, I didn't take ceramics for nothing. Oh my gosh, okay, Kelly, okay. I'm gonna let this dry and then somehow pick it up and put it on the mirror. What color do I paint this? I was thinking this one, but no, I don't know. I'll see you in part three. I'm still trying to become that girl, and I can't be that girl without a sick day routine, so let's plan one out. I'm gonna start by setting up my nightstands. This kind of looks like a lava lake. Found this cute jar. I'm filling it with honey sticks and cough drops. Can't forget the normal water. That side's done. Now I'm going to fill my humidifier on this side. This jar is going to be for a whole bunch of random stuff. Like an eye mask, hair tie, chapstick, my inhaler, moisturizer, and this hair clip. Tissue and a trash can. Now that everything is set up, I'm going to take a bath and shower. Now I'm just making some tea and I cut up some oranges for a snack. Okay, finally. Now I'm just going to hang out in my room. I brought this table up for my laptop. And write down video ideas. Just put this in the microwave. It's so nice. That's basically it. I don't know what else people do when they're sick. but Also, if you're wondering where anything is from, I put it all on my Amazon. Except this. This is from Urban Outfitter. Anyways, if you're feeling sick, I hope you feel better. Love. Part two of the mystery box. We got a whole bunch of Lush. This smells so citrusy. I love it. This is the Twilight bath bomb. A comforter bath bomb. I don't want TikTok to take the video down, so that's what this one is called. I think the flower like pops up when you put it in the water. Okay, I've got my video taken down for making brownies. Like I can see where that's like questionable, but still. Look how cute this fanny pack is. We got some gummy bears. I love to put tahine and chamoy on these. Nutella, baby. I love Nutella. More dark chocolate and it's pomegranate flavored. Some Oreos. What? Most stuffed? These exist? Oh my gosh. When I was little, I would take out the stuffing, put it in a Ziploc bag, and give the cookies to my siblings and eat the stuffing. Next, we have some pins. I'm all that in dim so That's so cute. A gummy burger? What? And this headband, it's so soft. Miles, thank you so, so much for everything. I'm gonna go run a bath right now and put on my eye mask. Spring cleaning part one because my house is a mess. Starting with the mini fridge, let's restock it. First, I'm filling the mini bottles. Green Gatorade, I'm gonna try my best to pour it nicely. Berry. Smaller ones will have coconut water. Those are going on the middle shelf. Now I'm gonna fill the mini containers. Fruit snacks. And gushers. And the bigger ones will hold fruit. Grapes. Raspberries. Blackberries. Strawberries. Those are going on the bottom shelf. Strawberry soda is going up here. Can't forget the lunch bowls and Capri Sun because I'm a whole child. Charcuterie bites, is that how you say it? The door has the coconut water, poppy, mochi in the freezer, and that's pretty much it. I give it a week. Redecorating my living room part three. This is how I spent my last two days, building this TV stand. And the TV is mounted to the wall. We're getting somewhere. I just organized most of the cables in this drawer, and I ordered some stuff from Amazon to hide these ones. It's so cold out here. Now I'm going to spray paint the basket I got from Target. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. I was gonna wait to do this, but I can't. I'm just gonna reveal the couch and we're gonna decorate it. Yikes, this place is a disaster because of this project, so sorry you have to see that. It took me a while to find the right couch because I wanted a specific color and size because I'm picky, but I finally found it and I got it at Costco and this is Hazel's new spot. I've always wanted an ottoman this big. It's basically a giant dog bed. Okay, I don't think this is gonna look good until I clean the rest of my house, but oh well. I thought this blanket was so cute. It's from Target. This pillow is from Target as well. It's from their bedding section. Can you believe I found these at Walmart? What? This is what I came up with, and I don't like it as much as I thought I would. I think it's way too plain, and it needs pattern or color or something, but I'll come back to the couch later. I'm going to start working on the two sides, the wall, and the ceiling. I will see you in part four.